I do it, I just... what it is. I click the button. Oh my god, everything's exploding. Oh my god. You alive? God. And I'll do a quick and I'll do a quick restart. <laughs> <laughs> Where be the go live button? There she is. Um, EFAP movie chat. Um. <laughs> Ew. Oh, yeah. Not while everyone is watching. Gross. That's the main time. Oh, okay. Alright, there's my quality options. Well, all of you refugees from Man of Steel, how was it? <laughs> it's called Refugees. Refugees. you. I remember that. Isn't that like an American dad joke? Camp Refugi? I don't know. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, it's actually Refugee Camp. Oh. Dark Souls Race Prep. They, that's the best way to put this, isn't it? Oh, I didn't even put that in there. <laughs> wow, you're not going to let people know what's, what's happening? I was just saying, hanging out with mutually and rooks while during super chats or something. <laughs> I mean, that's. I, I assumed you're playing Dark Souls. Are you not? I mean, I'm playing Dark Souls, yes. Well, well James, thanks for the resub. 20 months. Ew. Tier 2. Very nice. Thank you. Tier 2. All right. That's done. That's done. That's done. Chat is over there. Do, oh, do. everything is in order. Oh, Isn't that Actually, wonderful? let me. Let me pop up uh, your strobopulus here. As it goes down the Man of Steel one. You know. Wow, okay. cringe. I'm having Man of Steel distract me during this, the day of reckoning. Liar! In all the streams unlisted, it should no longer be unlisted, my good man. Chickaboom, and there you go. Some nice Dark Souls ambience in the background. Mm. Yeah, just have oh. your, your stream open in a small window so I can see what oh, you're small doing. Small window. Belt. Mm. That was such a strong one. That's how you know it's powerful. Oh, it's powerful. Strong. So you're doing Deprive 2 right now, or you're just fucking about with anything? I don't know. I was, I was thinking of maybe having chat decide what I'm gonna do weapon-wise. No. I don't know, maybe they come up with something funny. Or maybe I just ignore them and do whatever I want. You know, you, you <laughs> don't know. You can't yeah. know. Who knows? Yeah, I'm just gonna get familiar with the game again. Familiar. Pro 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 properly. Quality familiar. options park. Yes, I even restarted a stream for all y'all. Very nice. I mean, repository did a 10 out of 10 job. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, I mean, the, the, there was a... You know, Man of Steel was one where I was like, oof, we're gonna get in, get in some trouble. But um, I was keeping my eye on chat. Everybody was shitting on that movie. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, didn't expect that. And then, uh, yeah, the, 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 the references and supporting arguments, people, people were having a lot of fun with it. I think there's, nice. a, there's a huge amount of people who want <clears throat> You know, at least some form of discussion about, not necessarily just adaptation arguments, but just discussion in the alternative. Oh my god, the first super chest is high rags. Oh hi. The lol. Rags I'm so jealous. Is not playing Dark Souls. He's playing um, that other one. Just like Dark Souls. What, what do you call it? Uh, Sarg Dolls. I think that's the one. Mm -hmm. Dark Dolls too. Mm. The one everyone hates. Hello, True Don. I don't. Uh. Um... I almost spilled all my dranglers over my desk. That was close. <laughs> you fool! All right, what's the highest strength dex combo on the on this uh, lot? Oh, is BVS better or worse than Man of Steel? Oh, we think BVS is better. I think. Yeah. Yes. Um, narrowly, I guess, but still. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I can use this audio in Mod Mala's chat. All right, James, that's cool. Surely, surely this would be considered racist these days. The jubilant Katarina, you know, you can't have Everything that. Everything is racist these days. But, <laughs> saying but then, booyah is racist. Whoa, stop it! You can't say that. But the I dubious, oh, I say the B word. Sorry. Karim, that's probably racist too. The only, only non-racist one is probably um, 
this guy. The Eerie Great Swamp. What kind of name is that? Okay. Well, we're going to be a farmer, because <laughs> we, we, we were born, we grew up, we learned on a farm. What's the farmer's hair, Curly? Where did you learn how to farm? On a farm? Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's mostly how it works, I guess. I Why are you so mean? <clears throat> oh, wild. That's what my hair will be. Wild <laughs> farming <laughs> hair. <laughs> Ooh. Golden farming hair. This is this is a beautiful um, nail in it. I saw you on the Adam Friended podcast. Must say that stream was amazing and hilarious. Glad you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. <laughs> I will uh, find him. I will find him. Uh, thanks for the bits, Grey Wolf. Uh, I recently Arched finished Dark Souls 2. No death, no bonfire run. It took me Ew. two days, and most of my deaths were caused by the game's mechanics. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> I completely believe you. That's, that's uh, shit. Indeed. Today's Eve reminded me why I never finished Man of Steel before. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that yeah, that lines up. Also, I, should pro I, could, I could probably start playing the game, I just realized. Yeah. <laughs> I will coom him. What real world work y'all do outside of EFAP? The undead are real world work. I'd rather not say. Yeah, um, I'm, I, I guess the outside of just the, 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 the normal stuff you'd expect, as in uh, household maintenance and helping people do different things, probably avoid mentioning what may be like additional jobs or whatever. Um, but uh, Mel, do you want to talk about your uh, your tech support? I guess is that is that that is the umbrella. Uh, thing, uh, right? Yeah, I'm I'm a sys admin, and I'm responsible for multiple servers. Uh, and, and oh, look at I, you! I, yeah. I, I How important work you as are. a work as a consultant. So I'm basically my company slaves me out for other companies. <laughs> Neato. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's all right. It's all right. Hmm. Can't complain. I work for a pretty cool company, so it's pretty chill. Uh, if, 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 yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> and my streams, I guess, if that counts. Also, it's not work, but you know. Also, thanks, Rags, for letting me know about what happened to Arch after the hack. Um, I don't remember sure, that was. if that's something I said. I guess so. Um. Czech beer is best beer. Belgian, German, and other beers are just fakes. If you have VR, set, play Pavlov VR, best VR game ever. Perhaps. If you're, if you're talking about uh, Budweiser, that is my favorite beer, actually. So I agree. Oh, there you go. And I played Pavlov VR. I like it. I actually have to play the new, the new update they put out. I think it was like a World War II update or something. Hmm. So I need to check that out still. Yeah, can be, it's pretty fun. Like, Gun game. I think it has a terror, uh, troll and terrorist town mod as well. I remember, um, Drinko was curious what your favorite beer would be. You have Mine. To, yeah, you're gonna have to go and no. go onto his podcast and tell him. Otherwise, Canon and his podcast will not have the answer. Uh, I mean, we yeah. Can't have that. I mean, that's not my fault, but sure. Um, <clears throat> you see the newest one division? Pretty rough. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty bad. The Ooh. show is in. I think it's pretty firmly in bad territory. I'd say well, the last episode. Is, I'd happily call it bad. Yeah. Um, a as a whole, it's though, I just need to see the last were, episodes. Yeah, I, I have no, no hope whatsoever of this turning out to be good. Unfortunately, it's gonna be How's probably going? gonna be bad. Going pretty good, Tom, the movie guy. Thank you. Happy Saturday, lads. I hope you've seen my stop-motion Lego EFAP meme. If not, you should. Also, where did you learn how to game? On a farm? <laughs> I mean, gamers... Uh, gamers had... dot dot dot. I, I, I don't know if that goes on to say something else, but yeah. I learned to game on a farm. Come at me. Oh, I s stuck my broken sword in his bum. As for the, uh, the Lego thing, that might be in our selection of EFAP memes to go to on our... Oh, uh, part two, the copyright one versus the non-copyright one, which shall be going out, I guess, tomorrow at this point. I'm not sure. Uh, what are the most disappointing games you've played? Elder Scrolls Online was a massive letdown for me. Hands down, the worst MMORPG I've played. Um, Amnesia Rebirth is one of the most disappointing games I've played. 
Yeah. Uh, I'd say wait. Amnesia Rebirth is up there. Oh, fuck that game, yeah. <laughs> uh, the Resident Evil 2 remake, very disappointing. Um, I guess a lot of people really like it for some reason. Uh, I, I was immensely unimpressed with it. Um, I'm trying to think of some others. Uh, I'm not sure. Hmm, those would be the first two that come to mind, though. Mm. Um, I was trying to think, like, does Lost of Us 2 count? It's like, I guess so. Though, I, um, I was already kind of prepped with that one because of, uh, all the discussion around it was already so, you know, um, controversial. At odds, so I was, I was like, hmm. Oh, people say Mass Effect 3. Oof. The ending works. was really, really bad. I think the gameplay was really good, though. Uh, wait, what game? Sorry, I was just looking at my chat. Mass Effect. Mass Effect. Oh, I still need to play the last one. Actually, to play all of them again because I haven't played them since they came out. <laughs> I have a little memory of this. Uh, hey, Bootle, I remember you saying you watch Attack on Titan. What were your thoughts on that again? It's all right. It's I. I don't think it's nearly as good as everyone says. There, I said it. No. I still need to watch the last season. Season two was pretty garbage. Season one was okay. Season three was interesting-ish. Fucking hate the main character. He's a little annoying prick. That's anime. So yeah, I don't know. You won't see me praising it a lot. Let me say that. <laughs> Not a whole bunch. Oh. Still one of the Better-ish anim animes I've seen. Visuals are pretty neat as well. Some the Titans look kind of cool. Um, yeah. Oh, Mono's reading super chats on his YouTube. Yeah, these are ones from uh, this stream apparently. Some of them fucking don't come through quite right. I have to wait a little bit. It's annoying. I am upset by this, but oh well. This will be comboed yep. up with some older Bloodborne ones we weren't, were unable to get to. So, who mm. knows what they might say about Bloodborne or other things. Uh, you're assembling an evil army. Who do you choose to lead them? Phasma or Lurtz? Also, high rags. Hi, Lurtz. I don't know why I would choose Phasma. I don't, I don't see any yeah, reason to choose Yeah, why would you choose it. Phasma? <laughs> like, uh, Damn. Lurtz seems pretty good commandery wise. Um, Phasma killed her own people because they started to find out that she destroyed their base, or at least helped, so... Those are two things that I think you don't want to have in a commander. Destroying your base, yeah. and killing your own people. <laughs> I'm against <laughs> those things. And she will, yeah. She'll betray you to save herself. Um, she's clearly not that good at fighting because she could lose to melee combat with a janitor. Yeah. Lurtz could take on Aragorn. Mm-hmm. And he was born yesterday. That's gotta count for something. Yeah. The like bonk. Zod, he was born for this. <laughs> the bonk damage on the club is pretty good. Forgot how solid the damage is with the thing. Go kind of bad for Silent Doom. <laughs> you can't do Where does Suicide Squad fit on your rankings of the DCU? Uh, shit, where did we put it? I forgot already. Uh, uh, let me check my list. Uh, so, not to ask Rex, you put, a, you, you put up a list, I think. <laughs> yeah, this is... My personal list puts Suicide Squad at number three after Batman vs Superman and the first Wonder Woman. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, okay. It's above but Man of Steel. all of this essentially takes place in between the realms of like... Three and four? Like, yeah, oh, well. pretty much. This is all the difference between, yeah, three and four, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not like, oh, this is a six, this is a seven, this is a four, this is a five. No, 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 no. It's all between three and four. <laughs> With Wonder Woman 84 potentially being a two? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's fair. I mean, Man uh, of Steel, like, scratches into that realm, honestly. By the way, were we supposed to, to level up at all during the race? I think the, all Until we got Capra. for the race is just club straight to Capra, but then from there you can do whatever you want as long as you keep the club. Okay, so until the Capra, no leveling anything. And I think it balances out in terms of like if you wanted to, uh, you know, farm, you could. 
but the others might beat you, you know, through skill, I guess. Wait, so we can level up? Uh... Oh yeah, well, not until okay. you kill Capra. Capra unlocks. Okay, yeah, that was my question. Yeah. Okay, so I don't even need... because I'm just gonna try this now. For the lulz. Futalus. It's gonna. Oh, that was lucky. Uh, at Rags, if you saw or remember Gargoyles 1994, who is the most fackable character? Only males allowed. I go with Brooklyn, also high metal. Brooklyn, yeah. Uh, I don't know what it is. I, I, I probably couldn't tell you. There's something about Brooklyn, man. I'd fuck him before the rest. Hmm. Oh, Gunnagamer, thanks for the bits. Uh, here's the last bit. I thought I'd pass them on to you. Also, hi, Rags and Longman. Hi. Hello. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, hello, Massives. I'm playing Dark Souls right now as well. I'm fighting Artorias. I have seen earlier today that people on Reddit say he's easy. Fuck you. No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Artorias is tough, but he, uh, I think he's fair and he's a lot of fun. He's, he, I think he's the guy I think is the best fight in Dark Souls outside of ONS. It would be between those two. Yeah. Artorias. That's a... Was he a DLC one? Yep. Yeah, okay. Artorias of the Abyss. He had the really annoying boss walk because it's super long, right? I just debated Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers, this is from uh, Mark the Cyborg, over the price of a Zelda. Uh oh, it's gone off my screen. Ah, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Come back! <laughs> oh, it's so good that I can pause my video game, you know? But you can't. Uh, no, I can't. Why <laughs> does it you fool? do this? Let me see. Where did you learn to send money? On a farm? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Just a bit, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers over the price of a Zelda remaster. I said, uh, this is a Skyward Sword one, I think, uh, $60 is too mm -hmm. much for an upscaled Wii game. He said, it's fine because the market dictates the price and people will pay for it. What do you guys think? So, oh, that's an explanation, not a justification. I was going to say, mm -hmm. yeah, that doesn't actually address what you said, surely. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, he needs to take another stab at that. So, um, yeah, like, I think that $60 for just a port of a game onto a new system is too much. I yeah. go as far as saying that's fucking crazy. Dark Souls yeah. Remaster is, what is it, £30 compared to... I a, think it was 30 yeah. And, um, yeah, that's, I mean... Even, even less if you already bought the game before that. I think you get, like, a constant 15% discount would, or something, I think. Yeah, there's a lot of ways to approach this. First would be that, um... You can argue that nothing is overpriced or underpriced because the market can deal with it or something. So I don't know. That just locks the whole conversation down mm -hmm. um, if you wanted to go there. But I don't even think that addresses like. So we all think that certain things should be certain prices, I guess, um, to some degree. And we, I, I think everyone gets annoyed when they're like, video games are now going to be costing this much. And we're like, oh no, it's going to change everything. Um, as for Skyward Sword moving to Sw didn't they remaster the three, like, all Mario games, Galaxy, Sunshine, and, and uh, Mario 64, onto yeah. a Switch, like, triple set for the same price as a remastered Skyward Sword? Why the fuck? Like, I don't understand at all. Mm-hmm. If, what is the argument? Like, uh, as long as enough people refuse to pay it because they don't want to pay that much, then eventually the price will go down? Is that what we're... Yeah, so, basically. I mean, that's just... That just happens with everything, I guess, but... Yeah, I don't think that price is fair at all. No, it's way too much. It's insane. Um, and this is the thing... I'm not trying to shit on Nintendo, but their remasters are like... The the, the remaster of Sunshine, I played it for a bit, it's... It's not much that's any different, really. I don't know. But I, I certainly don't think it's worthwhile. At that point, I wouldn't... Like, if a friend was like, I'm gonna pick it up, I'd be like, ooh... Maybe, um... Maybe don't. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe it's not worth that much, precious hey, friend. Hey, kick the barrel, you bitch. There you go. Go away, ghosts. Wait, you're going down there immediately? Or come? <laughs> Wait, what's happening? There's super chat, creamy sheep super chat. <laughs> Make me laugh. Rags, it's hypocritical you criticized Star Wars Theory for crying at Luke and Mando, but you literally cried when you saw Jeff Goldblum oh. in Fallen Kingdom. <laughs> he's right, you know. That's that opening cool. when he's in the courtroom. Oh, tears. When we never see him again, yeah. Absolute <laughs> tears. If it, he put more work into the promotional material for Fallen Kingdom than his work yeah. in the movie. 
which I guess someone might not understand the gravity of that if if because you know someone could do a hell of a lot of promotional stuff I guess but like we're talking he's just in the movie for like a minute yeah and he was super duper marketed for being in it Mm -hmm. Jeff Goldblum is back and that's a big deal and he was in that one scene <laughs> where he talked a little bit for like a minute <laughs> everybody's favorite Jeffrey Goldblum Blum. <laughs> cuz he's such like a, he's such a fun actor oh yeah and they just don't do anything with him at all like i'm sh certain you'd think that he would be in it more if they wanted him in it more um, yeah, I, I, I don't get why he was in it for so little. Yeah, maybe I mean, I could because... imagine he's all for it. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm in. Like, fuck maybe that. If you uh -oh. think of his scenes and the promotional stuff, um, maybe it was like a contract thing and he didn't agree at first, and then they managed to get him really late into the process. Maybe. Because his scenes are both, they bookend the film, like, as almost like an intro and outro. Like, ah. Oh. Dinosaurs, we should probably let them die because every single time we do this, we uh, fuck everything up. See. And at the end, he's like, well, everything's fucked up. But, um, yeah, he, uh, he and Sam Neill and, um, Holdo are gonna be in Bully in the next one, so get excited, folks. No. I'll wait for them to destroy all the characters, it's gonna be fun. Uh,. Oh, I didn't get to do this last stream. Ahem. Fuck you, Lord of War 867. Fram is a terrible meme. Zoomed it up. What's wrong with Fram? I don't even remember what it is, and I'm upset on both Fram's behalf. <clears throat> well, it's on poison now. Thanks, rat. Dun, 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 dun. Um, I believe in Lutz. Yeah, yeah Lurtz would he's very intimidating. He is he is a goal oriented leader. He leads from the front, you know. Mm -hmm. He he's not much he's not really much one for logistics, but when you need to get stuff done, when you need an inspiring character to lead the way, you want to go with Lurtz. Buy Lurtz now. He's on offer on the Lurtz R us. A villain app, sorry. God damn it. Blinkist. And get lit on <laughs> Uh Muller, are you and the internet historian the same guy? I I don't think so. I think it's very clearly different. He's got that Aussie <coughs> accent, I've got the other one. He does all okay. these internet stories, internet history, and there I am being like, oh Batman is blame or something. Oh, what's him? Okay. We're so very, very different. Couldn't possibly see how you could connect us. In fact, I'm offended on his behalf. Mm. Metal, how's the YouTube channel coming? Which one? Yeah, metal. The yeah. archive one or the the the, the, the John, John Wick, Wick one? one. Yeah. <laughs> Was that I mean, John, John Wick, Wick one. This loser. Shop. I mean, it's running. It's there. It's still around. What is it, Nay? Yeah, the the video has not been deleted this time, so that's a big plus. Uh, Is that it? Yeah, all the all the views for the for the John Wick went went to the the upload on my archive channel, obviously, because that was up longer. But it's safe now on my my planned critique channel, if you will. Mm. The people they want more. Yeah, I want more time to do more. <laughs> uh, what's up, That's... Mola Rags and Mel? Hello. Oh, I've been Probably watching... just hanging about, doing a little typing, little playing, little sitting around. Game. Not too much. Uh, uh, can we kill the troop of military just not wearing helmets when everyone else does? So many people and a lot of the ring do it. Oh, like. Fuck. Oh, the thing happened to me that you said happened to you, Mel. What? Oh, did he did he push you off? Well, I didn't intend to die that way, and I did. <laughs> That's my story. Oh, but the barrel did it. For yeah. me, it was the guy that came down. All <laughs> oh, right, right. Um, well, we both died one time now. I got killed by by the boss. Wait, Capra? No, no, I don't care. I didn't make it to Capra that fast. I was gonna say, <laughs> right now. I I mean the uh, uh, fuck. What's he called up here? Uh, Forest Demon. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll be there in a, in a bit. Just, just you know, gathering, getting my bearings. 
Ow. My bearings yeah. hurt. It's really a little relearning oh. process with this game for me at the moment. After playing so much Dark Souls 3 and especially Bloodborne because it's so much faster. Oh yeah, it's a um, big old change in dynamism, that's what they say. Also need to oh Jesus, that was a lot of damage. I mean, I have like no health with this guy, so it makes sense. Mm. Um. <laughs> Metal, how do you respond to the allegations that you secretly took down your own John Wick video and pretended it was strike because you re regret criticizing a great movie? Uh, no oh. comment. <laughs> the truth's gonna come out eventually. It always does. Uh, what do you feel, Greg? Can we tell him that we, we rewatched John Wick 2 and it's probably worse? I'm pretty sure I, I, I said that when it happened. Yeah, because I mean, John Wick 2 does the most damage and then John Wick 3 is just d doing the same damage, kind of? Yeah, lots of ways. yeah. All right, yeah. 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 Uh, what do you feel like reckon will be the best DC movie? My money's on Shazam or Birds of Prey? I think that's what we thought too, right? Probably Birds of Prey. It's not going to be Aquaman, I know that. <laughs> so, yeah. It ain't going to be Suicide Squad. And I remember really not liking Shazam when I watched it with Yeah, Mel. same. So there's a chance for Birds of Prey to really make it through here. We don't know. Uh, also, Justice League. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I feel like Snyder Cut White might not be able to do it, but you know. Um, we'll see. Uh, also, I saw your bits there. I shall read your message in a bit, but I'm in the bus right now. Been watching old Twilight Zone episodes on Netflix, and boy, have they better writing and actors than anything we have now. Just taking a little break. I heard the new Twilight Zone stuff was really bad. Yeah, that's what I heard. Never watched uh, the originals, um, but I've, al I've always heard they they have quite a place in culture. You know? Yeah, I've seen some of them. Some of them are good. I know there's a references to them, but I don't think I've ever actually watched an episode of it. Weird. There we go. That was better. Uh, let's see. Uh, Great well, thanks for the biddies. Uh, I was watching a streamer play Dark Souls 2 when H Bomb's video came up. Someone in the chat said the H Bomb's video was bad, but Mollus' response to him was worse. I was about to correct this person Ow. when someone else said, What do you mean? Mollus' response was great. The other guy responded, Okay. Thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I don't know. So, like, he and I take two alternative positions, like, the idea that, like, you both terrible, I was just like, what is your position then? <laughs> Dark Souls 2 is just okay. So I just killed Taurus Demon as well. The second fight was better. I am Venus. doing my first battle with him. I am oh, terrible. It yeah, likes Taurus Demon. I'm still not great at remembering the movesets of the bosses, to be honest. So you probably have a way easier time you played it a bunch of times now, right? Uh, this is... I did one complete... two complete run-throughs, I think. I've mm, only okay. done one where I did, uh, all bosses. Out of curiosity. Because I did... I oh my about, uh, god! Cow meat was Please better than I remember. Oh. Cow meat? Cow meat. Because I think cow meat is really excellent. Mm. Well, you know what? That's, that's your right. I'm not going to take that away from you. It's nice. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a very kind. Hmm. Metal, you have no skin explained. Uh, I left it at home in my cupboard. My skin's at home. Yeah. Uh, how good is John Wick 1? I, I'm pretty sure John Wick 1 is still pretty good. I haven't watched it in a bit, solid. but it's pretty solid, yeah. Like what a... ruins it, though. Yeah, I want to want to do a video on one as well. Uh, don't really know how to approach that, though. I have no fucking clue. But we'll figure oh, it out. Did the jump instead of roll? I let go of run for a moment. I thought it was yeah. enough, but uh, never mind. Mm. Someone said um, a way to get around that is to you hold block and then um... wait. That didn't work that time. What the fuck? Let's see if I can do this this time. It Just does run through. Work. No, that is definitely working now. Okay, what happened the first time? Hey, fuck off, I'm learning things. No! <laughs> Undeadman. Oh, that's a shame. 
Um, hey guys, I never Thank thought Man you. of Steel was a work of art, but your EFAB video really opened my eyes to the actual poor quality, even from when I perceived as the stronger points of the film. Thank you. Oh, he uh, closed the gate. Bullshit, he didn't. Sorry. <laughs> I would say that if you've seen all three of the main EFAB videos on Man of Steel at this point, you'd probably be hard-pressed to um, consider it a strong movie at this point, you know? We went into full detail. It's funny because me and the EFAP movies, I'm actually a little bit more forgiving of the film compared to now after the th watching two people try and defend the film extensively. Like the amount we found, all the details of how everything goes wrong. Because um, I put it above Wonder Woman, but I'm, I'm happy to say it's below it now. Really? <laughs> that guy was a shit. He's like, stop it. <laughs> I need to just run to Taurus team and I guess they're fucking around. Um, going back with Sitch and Adam to finish the video? I don't think so. I'm not available when they, they wanted to do it, and, uh, I was- the first one was mainly sort of like a, um, I was happy to, to come on for them, because they've come on, uh, twice now for EFAP, so it's like, yeah. But, uh, you know, I don't- I don't typically do that sort of thing. But it was fun. I wouldn't deny that. And I wish them all the best of luck, because that video is quite the journey. What are you guys watching? Oh, it's the, uh, it was the, the, the Vorsch Destiny video. Oh, okay. About, um... Yeah, I, know, I don't know anything about like, socialist about integrity, it. you could say, is the core subject. Uh, it's an oxymoron. <laughs> <laughs> Rags, do you prefer John Wick or Sicario? So, Sicario's better. I would probably re-watch John Wick, though, because it's more, like, haha yeah. -ha funsy. Uh, it's more a of a spectacle fun. in that sense. Yeah, Sicario isn't a fun movie. It's a really good one, and everyone should see it. But I would rewatch John Wick first. But Sicario is definitely better. I would say the same thing. I really like Sicario, but it's not as rewatchable as John Wick. Uh, so honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if someone said Sicario. I watched it once, so I don't need to see it again. But it's excellent. I'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. It's um, it's making a very strong point, and it does it well. Uh, that yeah. was the 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 drug cartel movie, right? Yes. So, yeah. Oh, I thought you said Drucatel. Dr yeah, the Drucatel. <laughs> Drucatel. Drucatel. You have Don't the target to the Drucatel. Oh, VTJ, thanks for the five gifted subs. Very the nice. Be poo. Rags Rags thinks dead dog is funny. No. What? It can be, but probably not. Wait, fun not and funny like... aren't the exact same thing, though. <laughs> yeah, funny. Mm. Fun, no. Um. Nailed it, dude. This race going to include Artorius and Manus mutually, seeing as you did Koss and Bloodborne. Yeah, that's the idea. You got to kill all the bosses in Dark Souls with the club. Um, and then the restrictions at the beginning is you're not allowed to do basically anything until you kill Capra with the club. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, it'll be tough. Also, I should we did not first. We did that one before for anyone who doesn't know uh, with Otia. That was a race Just, we did. Uh... Was it like two years ago? Uh, yeah. Some time. That was a good bunch of time ago. Uh, yeah, it was fun. It was pretty close up until Capra Demon. I think, I think, I don't know if we talked about this on the stream before, whatever, I'll just say it again. Uh, I think I, I was in lead until Capra, then Capra killed me. Uh, and then I just took forever on Capra and, and I Fugia beat and Capra with beat it then. Zero uh, healing left and like a sliver of health left. I remember it came really close. Yeah, I used up all my healing, even my <laughs> my humanities. But I was like, I need to be it. Aren't healing. But um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Why am I going to Andre? Well, like though, nineteen fifty nine and nineteen eighty five were excellent. Two thousand two wasn't great. Uh, right. Two thousand two wasn't great, and that twenty nineteen is awful. They were great at telling good stories which had messages that didn't come at the expense of the story itself. Oh, I love those. I love it when you can fucking tell you tell the message you wish to tell without fucking everything up in the process. Mm. Hello, Mutal Brooks and Mueller. Hello. 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 Hi, Mutalheimer. Hi, Rax. Hi, Longman. How's it all going? I, I prefer John as well. I hope you're better than the evil long man and won't kill the spider lady. Well, bad news for you. Last time I played this, I <laughs> fucked her up. <laughs> oh my god. 
But first, I used her to level up my Estus and then took her soul. Yeah, that might, might even be worse. Unless you did the same, I don't know. Oh, I mean, the only reason I kill her is for the Estus uh, upgrade, yeah. of course. I, I still had uh, one of the uh, souls in my inventory, so I up my soul, uh, my Estus count before I killed her. Um... Ask Rex if his snow collection is holding up. Yeah, how's your snow collection doing? <laughs> Uh, it's, it's doing pretty good. Thank God. Still, uh, so the thing is, the if you put the snow in the um, in the fridge, it, um, for lack of a better term, it, um, demo it it demoisturizes a little bit, mm. in that it, it turns more icy. Like it's not when I put it in there, it was powdery, and I packed it down into the um, mm -hmm. containers I had. But it sort of becomes more icy as time goes on, and you can't like break it apart. But uh, it's doing well. There's still a bunch of snow outside. I tried to go someplace uh, today, but my, uh, my 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 Miata was not getting out of the parking lot. Uh, <laughs> there was that was not happening. My I love my car, but it is it is not a winter weather car. <laughs> do the thing where you attach chains or whatever, right? That's the snow thing to do. Yeah, I, I don't have any of those. Very few mm. people do around here, I would say. But, uh, because the amount of snow we got was quite unusual in its voluminosity. If that's yes. a word. If not, I said it, you know what I mean? So it's a word. Yeah. Uh, but, like, the roads are clear. The roads are clear now. I just can't get to the roads. So, Dang. the parking lot is still very slushy and icy. Hmm. I have a Miata. It goes fine in the snow. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it is a rear-wheel drive, low-to-the-ground car with not great tires for that sort of thing. It is not good in the snow. <laughs> Especially the, 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 the when there's a bunch of it. When there's a bunch of snow. All of my Miata bunch. But it's... Uh, not a winter weather car, which isn't a problem 99.99% of the time. So I just walked. Oh. Had a little adventure. A oh little God. winter wonderland adventure time. I had which rained this year. It was like one one day with a little bit of snow, and I was gone in midday, and then it started raining, and now it's 18 degrees outside here. I was like, what is happening? Celsius, by the way. Uh-huh. Oh wait! Oh, God, what, so what, what is the what, what is the earliest we can fight Capra? By the way, like without doing any glitches, obviously. Uh, you have to get the basement key, is in the just to the back of the um the gate, right? I think. Or the gate that closes next to the the Chapley place, I think. Yeah. But uh, another way to get to yeah, I think that's the way you get to him. All right, jump is B. Okay, okay. Let me ask the question differently. Which bosses do I have to kill before I can kill Capra? Taurus Demon. Oh, really? Oh shit. Okay. How do I change this? Oh. Uh oh. This is quite dangerous without any skin. Because I'm going for gargoyles right now, so I don't even need to do that. Uh. All right. Let's see how much this improves. Rags, can you just get all weather tires? The weather doesn't get bad here often enough to justify that. Like, it is very rare. Like, I haven't seen this much snow in many years. This is very much an unusual occurrence for here, so I wouldn't buy a whole new set of all-weather tires for this car. For that, so... You need to key from behind Pumba? Oh, right, okay. I know where this. There's a lot of enemies in between. I'm just gonna run for it because I can't even spend my souls anyway, so... So, Ow. Uh, the next one said, Mole, you can rebind jump so it works like in DS2 and 3, and I just did, and I'm hoping that will now actually improve things a lot for me, at least when it comes to certain things. Thank you for that, Bounty. Uh, there we go. My experience no, with Man of Steel was when I first watched it, mm. I thought it was okay. <laughs> oh, get fucking wrecked. But not as good as the 78 film, but when I rewatched it back to back with the original Superman film, I gave Man of, Man of Steel away to a friend. Y yeah. That feels like a normal experience, to be honest with you. Yeah. The um, the old one is really kind of delightful in a lot of ways. There's a lot of good stuff in there. There's a lot of tism. I wouldn't call it objectively good. Yeah. But there's a lot of good stuff. And um, 
Yeah, like, I, I don't mind appealing to this, like, just the experience of watching the two films, like, emotionally for me was... <laughs> this is like polar opposites, it's crazy. Uh, you have these these silly but hopeful moments in, in Superman uh, 78, but... Fucking hell, Man, Man of Steel is just like every other second, it's like, oh, there goes another ten buildings, and you're like, oh. Mm -hmm. And please stop comparing it to Civil War, just stop it. <laughs> Well, they, they compare BVS to Civil War, they don't really compare Man of Steel. Oh, anymore. sorry. Yeah, I mean that. Because I rewatched Civil War today, and come on, it's... Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people do the whole, like, ah, they're rewatching it. It's like, if they did that for uh, Civil War, they would see it's like... We've seen well, I did it today. Many, how many, do, do they not think we've seen Civil War more than once? I mean, you'd think they would assume that we did, considering we put it above all of the MCU. And DCU, yeah, consistently over means. and over, and it displayed that we have a pretty significantly, you know, we we know a lot about that movie. There was a big war a about that uh, on Twitter yesterday between Southpaw and some other people. They were saying um, uh, Zemo's plan was re stupid because it relied on Tony reacting emotionally to the news. When? That his parents. At the end, when he fights. Uh, Cap yeah, like the, uh, the idea America? being that he's like, oh, you're gonna destroy the Avengers in the hopes of information like that making Tony angry. It's like, what? Yeah. That's a pretty safe gamble, I, I feel. Safe. <laughs> when you have footage of someone killing your parents, I, I'd be angry too. I don't even, I don't need footage. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> like, <laughs> <it's> okay. <laughs> if you tell me that's what happened, also my best friend has been lying about not only that they were killed rather than it was an accident, but also they know who did it, and they've been protecting them because they're their friend. Like, oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's his line. Like, he's my friend, and Tony just says, "Yeah, so was you." So was I, you mean? <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I was like, oh, damn, yeah. yeah it's a rough one. Um. Civil War EFAP movies one day. I mean, there's a good chance we'll do the uh, the MCU at some point. We'll have an arc for that because, of course, the DCU will die down eventually. We just, this, I mean, we're running. We're we're halfway through now. More than oh, are we? No, wait. I can't. <laughs> we got. Wait, what? What? what we've what? seen the two Wonder Womans, the two. I say the two Superman ones with the third one on it. Well, yeah, we've seen Ow. five. Yeah, we've seen five, and there is. Shazam, Aquaman, Justice League, Snyder Cut, and Birds of Prey. So we, yeah, we're exactly halfway. Damn. Also, I love how I did, I did way better in that fight than I've ever done on stream before, and I, I was like mainly talking about other things and doing it on autopilot. That happens to me so many times, especially in like Souls games. I'm better when I don't think, guys, alright? How it works. Thinking is gay. Do not think, it's bit. Um, have you heard? No, he did the right when I rolled. Have you heard oh. of the argument that because the voice actors for characters in The Last of Us 2 said the actions taken were what they thought should be the correct actions and only their interpretation matters? No. No. What? That's what? just another form of death of the would... author. Why the fuck would I care what they think that Joel would do just because he's the voice of him? And, and as much as someone might be like, well, wait, don't you care about Mark Hamill's opinion on, on Luke or whatever? It's like, well, no. So. I've never said that because Mark Hamill says it's out of character that that's why Luke's out of character. That's not how that works. Um, it's super interesting to get the opinion, but if Troy Baker is the name of Joel, right? If he said, like, oh, everything Joel did was in character, he would still have to give his reasons, like like Mark Hamill did. Like, it has to go way further than that. And, and if there is somewhere out there, I don't mind listening to the arguments, but I seriously doubt they're going to be anything different from what we've covered on, like, the fucking seven EFAPs on... Uh, Lost us too. But um yeah, no no no. Death Death of the fucking author, yo. Get him out of it. And yeah, it ended since they know their characters best. I wouldn't even argue they do know their characters best, nor would I argue that Mark Hamill knows Luke best. It's it's complicated. When you get people as Ow. obsessed with this content as humanity does tend to get obsessed. The people who know this stuff best is probably not even gonna be the people who wrote it. It's gonna be the people who, who. It's gonna be all the, the weird turbo nerds on yeah. Reddit who study these things and devote their lives to the, to to the, material. They probably know it better than anyone else. Where they can cite timestamps and quotes. It's like, all right. <laughs> yeah. 
You missed my super chat. No, I didn't. Yours was the one with um asking about uh, uh oh, it was it was the was it Superman related? Hang on. I definitely I remember reading it because I recommend I recognize the icon. Yeah, it was about Artorius. Um, <laughs> we said, "Oh no!" The, the, this is the thing. Anybody who's good at Dark Souls will say like all the bosses are probably easy. I, I don't know. Like, like that's the thing. It's kind of hard to be definitive. But I don't think anybody is in Finn is gonna say like, "Yeah, Artorius is one of the easy ones." Like, nah. Fucking hate Capra. Don't worry. If you're having any trouble on uh, on Artorius, he's he's not considered an easy boss. No, not he's not easy. People, Especially you know? on your first time. Oh yeah, God, yeah, definitely. Remember H Bomb guy complaining about his boss run? Like you have to walk, I think for about twenty seconds or so to get to him. Every time yeah. from bonfire. Yeah. Yeah. It was like do. it was terrible. And it's like Dark Souls Two has more of those and they're longer. <clears throat> yeah, there's like all the. It's interesting. One with an elevator, the one you have to go to the uh, the dream every time. Oh. Which one's uh, that? The, uh, the, uh, the, the samurai guy. He's going to a dream. Oh, you're right, yeah. For forgot his name. Um, It begins with an A, doesn't it? Why have I forgotten it? I mean, Alon, one. yeah, there Alon, you go. Alon, that's it. Eh, brain. Tried to also, I, I went into Capra Demon's boss room and I got immediately killed <laughs> by the dogs. <laughs> yeah, remember, Capra's not really that hard, it's the dogs that are hard. Yeah, they just one hit me, the other one hit me as well. Blood loss, dead, and with that little HP, it's like, yeah, that's mm, that's GG. Yes, it is. Alon, yeah. Oh, the frigid Jesus outskirts, Christ. though. Yeah, that's probably the longest boss run, I think. Um, to Alon, yeah. No, the frigid outskirts one. It's the one that I don't oh. think you ever did. Uh oh, in Dark Souls 2 now. Yeah, I'm pretty the, sure you and Fortier the... did not do. The, uh, with the, the two cyber cats or whatever they are. Fucking cringe boss. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I knew how terrible it is, and I was like, uh uh. <laughs> it's so unfair. I was so overpowered at that point, too. Like, I'd done all of the things. It's just like they made a boss, so you know how they do it. Good old uh, Fromm. Yeah. They want to fuck with you. Cost is like the good thing in that sort of, I don't know, design aspect, but, but those cats. <sighs> I should go the other way, so I don't need to go through all these dogs. I opened up the fucking. Uh, thingy. Go away, um, Zombaloids. So probably this way is the fastest? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Molar, explosive vaginal candles better appear in your next champed up game. <laughs> <laughs> remind me, I'll try and name my next Dark Souls character that when we do the, uh, the race. Explosive vaginal candle. Nobody fucks with him. Hello so to the Lauren Rags. Hello. I can beat Hi. most Dark Souls bosses first try now, but it took hundreds of hours between all of the games to get that good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I basically have to relearn the game now because I haven't played vanilla in forever. Part of why I like returning to the Dark Souls games is that <laughs> I know that most of the bosses are ones that, if I slow down and pay attention, I will be rewarded by defeating them instead of just running headfirst just because I'm experienced to some degree. Yeah. Damn, all those dogs are vicious as fuck. No offense, Rex. Also, hi, Rex. It's not really offensive, is it? <laughs> to be vicious, you yeah. know? That could be a plus in certain, certain circumstances. Oh my god, what a sniper. Yeah, like, we're probably much better at killing and, and completing dark, uh, Bloodborne stuff right now. And that's just kind of... Oh, yeah. That'll be forgotten eventually until we go, Hey, <laughs> wanna play Bloodborne? <laughs> Wasn't that bad when you last played it, right? Wasn't that bad. <laughs> no, no, I totally let myself die. Three thousand souls. Uh, I mean, it's not too bad if I lose them. I should probably kindle that other fire so I have ten Estus for uh wee, Capra. Wee, 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 wee. Uh, wait. Uh, wait, no. Hang on. I'm confused. No, that's um, a pop I didn't want it to. God damn it! Thank you both. You've made me look at all media I consume with a more critical Fuck. eye. Keep that's up the great work. Hey. Hey. That's good to hear. Yeah. 
you will come up with lots of unfortunate results, but lots of good ones too. For things you're like, oh my god, this was made slightly better than I realized. It was funny, um, one of the tweets I caught in the like back and Patriot. forth with the uh, South Point and those other people was like someone who's, <laughs> I guess, trying to explain Civil War. And like, the more they did, someone else was like, this conversation just made me like the film more. And I was like, yeah, it can <laughs> happen. Oh, uh, piss off, you stupid dog. Stop it. <laughs> What do you think I feel? I gotta fight rats. So little health. Oh, that. Oh, I don't even go that path anymore. I just walk through the fire. It's way faster. Walk through the fire. Um, do you mean before the, they close the, the gate? The dragon. Oh, oh. I, every time I do that, it doesn't go well for me. Like he, I can't get through him. I mean, I, I, I didn't die from from his hits. Oh, they block. Me. Oh no. <laughs> oh Jesus. Like, uh, All of them. In my previous run, I was curious about it, and I had to work my ass off to get through him because um, his I had full tisms, right? Like a mm -hmm. a full screen health bar, all of upgraded armor. And uh, late game, I was like, I guess I'll go ahead over there. He fucking knocked me out in one move when I got close to him. Yeah, you don't want to you don't want to dodge uh, or roll while he does that because then you get more damage. Oh. Yeah, so you basically just want to uh, block and run, and then you get like a little damage and you're fine. I think you still get knocked over, but then you can just go. I basically get on onto the edge before you get to the gate where the other bonfire is, and you're good. Also, wasn't there a faster way to Capra without going through this little village thing all the time? Well, you unlock, um, if you go past, it's like, you know his boss door, if you go right, there's yeah. a little staircase, and then you go through there, and then you go up. And you'll unlock the door that connects back to a uh, filing shrine. It's not this uh, one. I don't know. I don't, probably don't even know, have the stream up right now. I think uh, people will be disappointed if we if we have a full it? playthrough and none of us have to go through the rats. Like I think people will be annoyed. What if what if, <laughs> what if that gets instituted as a rule, Mel? What are you gonna do then? Uh, then I'll make up rules that I'm allowed to uh, cheat. <laughs> That just sounds like a wonky <laughs> rule to me. <clears throat> There's only one rule, you may cheat. Rats. They're much scarier early game, okay? It'd be really funny if I end up beating Capro first try, but I have so much trouble with everything else. <laughs> uh so Civil War you found movie one day? Oh, I, I kind of... Dude, why did I go this way? Was... Um, to totally off topic, I think Wind Waker <clears throat> is the second weakest 3D Zelda. What? Content is stretched thin. <laughs> Easily one of the most overrated in the franchise. <laughs> Where did you come from? <laughs> you okay, Mel? <laughs> why was he on the ladder? <laughs> Oh, that was great. Where did he follow me from? Probably from up there. Do you have my stream open at I'm all? I'm afraid I don't. Oh, man. There's this long ladder you you, you slide down. Uh, Like, right... Or, or go up, obviously, when you uh, open the shortcut. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I uh, just, uh, just went up, I was like, oh, that's wrong. I slide back down and I slide, so I, and suddenly, boom, I hit some, some some hollow in the face and he falls off the ladder and dies. Poor guy. He didn't expect that. I certainly didn't. Uh, okay, I think I didn't open up the shortcut over there, I think, because I don't know where this path is that you're talking about. The stupid fucking dogs! Stop! I'm, hey. I'm completely stuck. <laughs> Hey now. Um, hello? Cool. Uh, that didn't work. <clears throat> Isn't that, um... I'm having flashbacks here. Is it Hannah Montana? No. Hillary, Hillary Duff's one. What was her... That, uh, Lizzie uh, Hillary Duff? I think she, it was just Hillary Duff. Wasn't it Lizzie McGuire? <clears throat> oh, you might be right. There's, there's a song that you made me flash in my head. It's like, hey now. Hey now! I can't remember if that's who. And I can't remember when the last time I heard that was. Gosh, brain, you could have deleted that information. I don't need it. <laughs> you needed it. Think of all the useful things that <laughs> had to be lost <laughs> to make room for that. I guess that's really all I have left, so maybe it was, it's in the recycling bin. Like, it's mostly deleted at this point. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hurry up, Brian, get rid of it. Oi, Molly, excited for Hero Hunter Zemo on Disney? No, because I don't have faith that it's going to be good anyway. I'm not mm. sure I'm a fan of the idea that he's hunting heroes or something. I don't, I don't know. Oh, that dog killed itself. All right. We'll have that to works. see how they go. It was, his problem wasn't with the idea of superheroes. It was specifically with the Avengers yeah, for a specific thing that it, happened. You True. could stretch yeah. it to superheroes who don't take accountability, but even then, mm -hmm. like... So, ooh, yeah, you got to be real careful with what you do with him. God, the blood loss. Oh. Okay, These guys no. have blood loss too. Stupid dog, so insensitive, Moodle. Sorry. Sorry, All Rex. Right. Didn't mean. I didn't mean to offend you. I miss my shield. I miss all the health I normally have at this point of the game. This guy's beat me up. You know what I mean? Why do you die? Because I can, and because I am bad. Ooh. Obviously. I should totally be dead. Maybe I'll die anyway. I've only got one heal left. Rags, I mean, Disney handled WandaVision so well, right? Hmm. I mean, no, yeah, we, we don't think Disney's good. The only thing, well, They're pretty bad. as of the newest episode, yeah, I can't even... My main thing was I was happy with how they were handling the characters, and now I'm worried. Yeah, now I'm very concerned. So, yeah, we'll have to see until that show ends what, uh... Oh, oh see ya. What may be considered a it. But I have large concerns. Put it down. No. Do I have a homeward bone yet? Eh. Homeward bone? Yeah, man. Yeah. You like bone things Sounds with your home. Right. <laughs> Smaller yeah. streaming? Yes. Yes, he is. Oh my god. On the YouTubes.com. I should probably open the filing shrine. Oh god, this is gonna end badly. Okay, I need to get through this, like, once. So I do this slowly once. And don't be a flism. Oh. oh, I need to remember that these guys also... ...like to parry you. Mole only has Lizzie McGuire left in his head. Uh, I guess so. It's all that's left. Um, but yeah, sorry, as for the guy who said that Wind Waker is the second most overrated Zelda game, I, I just, I've got nothing much to say. Zelda was never my thing, so... I played yeah, some of them, I, I just about it. I I can't confirm me. or deny. That's one for the chat, I suppose. Um, Alright, there we go. Warner Brothers had its chance. Exactly. <laughs> hey, Mola, how do you I like will. Dark Souls 3 compared to 1? My take is very, very much the same as a lot of people's. Uh, too many bonfires, the game became too easy as someone who st still thinks to this day, as much as I've gotten used to uh, Dark Souls 1 quite a bit. It's still a, diff a game that can be quite difficult. It's kind of something I really like about it. Um, especially if you, you know, impose a couple of rules on yourself, like mm. not doing absolutely every single thing mechanically to, to help you that most people aren't even aware of. Um, but I think it's cool that those things exist in the game. Like, obviously the Firekeeper Souls and um, the locations of different shards and chunks and slabs. Um, ah, and the fact that you can farm and stuff, but like Dark Souls 3 from the get-go treats you a lot kinda. <laughs> um, which, you know, it's not th th that's not like a criticism, I guess. It's more so just a... The one with the bonfires, I think, is, though. It's, it's just like the same thing as having way too many checkpoints, I guess. That's um, risky. Then there's the world. I think the world in the grand scheme of gaming is absolutely fine, if not awesome, but... Uh, it's so linear compared to the majesty that is Dark Souls. Mm. Don't know why they didn't uh, try and recreate that, because I know that that's what Dark Souls gets praised for a lot, and that's what people shout on Dark Souls 2 for, rightfully, where the world folded in on itself. You have people defending it by saying, oh, no, nah, it's, it's fine, because it's, it's supposed to. <laughs> it's supposed, <laughs> supposed to fucking fall apart in, your, in front of your eyes. Don't worry about it. Yes! I'm gonna... Oh. Lose. Okay. How much armor do I have to lose to be able to jump around? Okay, I think the the memory is coming back, so fine. I'll just be jerky. should be <laughs> jerky boy. I'm going to be the jerkman. All right, and then this is the the the, the archer boy up here. Okay. God, it's crazy how much you forget about games. Yeah, man. Oh wait, you killed uh, Capra? 
No, 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 no. I, I made my way back trying to, fit, to remember what this shortcut is. And now I'm walking through it to Filing Shrine. Um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> Dark Souls 3 has a couple of bad bosses, but then it has loads of good ones, I think. Fuck me. Why'd you get to heal? <clears throat> it's not fair. <laughs> I'm the only one who can he <coughs> heal. <coughs> you see, I'm a jerkyman. That means I earned it. I'm jerkyman too. What else about Dark Souls 3 can be commented upon, I wonder? Uh, it has really awesome music. The, mechanics, the modding scene is pretty dope as well. The Dark mechanics Souls are much 3. more fluid. They feel less clunky than Dark Souls 1. Yeah, that's true. Though I always defend Dark Souls 1's clunk as consistent. And you oh yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely manageable. Oh, please don't. Please. Oh my god, you bastard. Completeness and completeness. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, Dark Souls 3. It, it, playing it as a fan of Dark Souls 1, you're like, oh my god, everything feels so, like, smooth. Or at least smoother. Uh, but yeah, I like Dark Souls 3 a whole bunch. And I do think it's better than Bloodborne. There, I said so it. So angry right now. <laughs> Though I probably prefer Bloodborne. That's the big controversy, I think. Oh. At least right now, if I replay Dark Souls 3, that might change. <clears throat> Bloodborne's world is so fucking cool. How to fail at the like right in front of the bonfire, basically. Damn. Just also, shove me off the fucking bridge. I don't think oh. um, I like any of the bosses in DS3 as much as I like Boss and Maria. Oh yeah, Cos and Maria are pretty good shit. Yeah, I was just thinking about it. Like, hmm. Also, I guess I was collecting humanity there. I'm not even sure why I was attacking that poor fat man. I, I <laughs> took his humanity. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, he can finally watch Metal than... poor. He can afford all that food. Mm. Well, poor in character, like this sad poor in character. man. Like all fat people, I agree, Mahler. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Not your spiciest take, but, you know. All That's right. the spicy meatball. There am I. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Jesus. Terrifying. Um, Alt-Tab, please. There we go. Okay, let's try to go through this uh, bonfire without getting shoved off the thing. Maybe that, that works better. Florps. Um. Why do you hate me? No, stop hitting the wall, you dingus. Sister Frida having three phases is bullshit. Frida is cool, but she's basically Maria too. Alright, yeah, I mean, we could probably have those conversations if we ever get around to DS3, because I, I just don't remember enough. Oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> What, oh. what is that noise? <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> oh no. What happened to you? Clutch. I I just barely survived. I I slipped some down somewhere. It's like oh shit, I fell off again. But I fell right on the thing you can stand on still. Okay. So it was very a lot lots of emotions oh, uh, God, God. at once. Come on, Jangus. Come on. Anyway, what's up? <laughs> uh, what is up? I believe there is an interview with uh, Joel and Ellie's VAs with uh, Druckmann where they go over their reasons. Maybe that could be the next EFAP. I would say we're probably not doing any more Last of Us 2 EFAPs, but if we were, it probably wouldn't be that, and that that would be stuff that I'm going to look into for when I'm doing my video on Last of Us 2. Whenever that may be. Because that sounds like inf interesting information. Mm. Mm. Hi, Rags. Oh, hi. Uh, I'm Mootle. Hello. Hello, EFAPers of Uzbekistan. Oh, that's you, chat, I guess. Hello to our Uzbekistani audience. Mm -hmm. uh, hello, people who make conversations awkward, and for once, I don't think I'm forgetting anyone. Nope, just just little old problem. Jesus, Drabus. I killed Artorius, and goddamn, does it feel good? Hell yeah! <laughs> you overcome him. You tell him no. I am the Lord of Souls. I was like when people just tell me when they beat a hard boss for the first time in Dark Souls, and like, yay! We did it. It's like a journey. Yeah.
Uh, Soulsborne series is a rhythm series. Changed my mind. I mean, I wouldn't disagree with that in in a cool way. You, it's, as as many people say, the fights are like dances. Yeah, Mel's such a wimp. Shut up, Al. My God. Be mean. Did you kill Capri yet? I'm just going back to try again. Leave him alone. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm going somewhere else now. Have you, you haven't, you're doing the, you're practicing like no leveling and stuff, is it? Yeah, I haven't leveled at all. I already lost like 15,000 souls. <laughs> Damn. Meow, meow. Yeah, I almost want I... to do that now, but I mean, I've been fucking around on this playthrough. Yeah, yeah. Do I, do I mind restarting? Because really, guys, this is just prep, okay? We're learning. We've changed the controls to, to make jump better. <laughs> That's what that's what we accomplished in this run. But um, I wonder how fast I can get to Capra if that were my only goal. Oh, you f bullshit bastard! It's all bullshit, all of it. It's all bullshit, all of it. <sighs> well, I was referencing uh, an Arnie movie, but I think that's fair too. I'm uh, like always dodging. Wait, God. Fucking damn it, I'm so bad at this game. What is happening? Vag handles. <laughs> Sex male class deprived. Gift master key. Yeah. I'm gonna go very large. Is that the largest? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Large. My face Here's your sound clip, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go the dubious Karim. And of course the bobbed hair. This is the ultimate Chad. Bad day, Moodle. No, I'm just need to fucking relearn how the enemies work because I'm trying to react in the speed of Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne at the moment and it's way too quick, so they always hit me after I dodge. So I need to I need to be a little more cautious. Ugh, look gnarly. <clears throat> Why is it so fucking warm in this room? What's the temperature outside? Oh, it's not even is there an enemy following me? No, because I'm going to turn the heating down a bit. Where are we? Uh, hello folks, just want to say Fuck I've been no. making response videos to the Atla Mini. Currently working on part 4 and I'm hoping you guys respond to them sometime, could be interesting. I'm afraid you're going to have to find someone who cares about Atla. Um, yeah, plus some people are argument. psychos, so I don't know why we want to dip our head back in that. I, I'm just, I don't care about it. I know that there's a shit ton of flaws that someone who does care about it could do, but it, it's in the same vein as like, someone could have torn apart Spider-Man 2 this whole time, just waiting for the right person to do it. Um, I got other stuff I want to tear apart. I, like, Atlas, you're gonna need a hero to rise to take down Atla, because it can't be me. But, uh, you know, one day. <clears throat> Do people who vote twice also have more humanity than everyone else? I mean, judging from killing <laughs> that guy, I would say yes. He had two humanity. How do you have two humanity? That doesn't make sense. Must have been able to vote twice. Must have been the wind! Bloodborne would be a much better game if it could maintain a frame rate of at least 30. Yeah. Come on, you... Can we vote for 60? Can we get it to 60, everyone? Let's get it to 60, come on. We can do it. Eh. Ba, ba, ba. Any rhythm game needs to be without lag so you don't mess inputs. Totally 100% agree. <laughs> More like a pet second or third century. <laughs> Caveman time. Oh, I really don't want to go into the Capra arena. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there we go. Your oh, life? Capra actually hit me. Oh boy. Oh, he hit me again. <laughs> I fucking hate this boss room so much. <laughs> so, as of now, I spend uh, like 10 seconds in this boss room <laughs> for death on two occasions. Oh my god, I forgot how f fucking shit that boss is. Alright, oh, uh. <clears throat> Ooh, DS3 feels like it wants to be Bloodborne but doesn't go far. I, I mean. It feels like closer to Bloodborne than Dark Souls 1, of course, but it still feels like its own thing. Uh, it doesn't... It's, it, like, like, the Bloodborne's a different thing. Dark Souls just has to work differently. Because the 
first of all, the rally system, the pacing, you know. Changes it all mechanically. But I can see why people would say that. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's something. Uh, there's a question from Mubshli here. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Smaller still believe Batman letting Joker live is A-OK -okay in BVS, and he just hasn't be, uh, gotten around to it after watching Suicide Squad. It even says that Harley, qu Harley killed Robin in that movie, so why would she be still alive with Snyder Bat running around mass murdering? Um, I guess we just have to assume it was a scenario where he didn't need to kill her. I, though that's a bit weird, actually. Because that Batman, you'd think if someone killed his Robin that he would fucking annihilate them. Yeah, I would think so too, actually. So, hmm. Yeah, that's probably going to get talked about. I think Fringy's alluded to that vaguely with the... When you mentioned Birds of Prey mm. in relation to Suicide Squad. We shall see. George R. R. Martin Suicide even Squad admitted, was really bad. It really was, yeah. <laughs> um, and probably the worst out of all of them in terms of like the editing, I think is probably fair. Yeah, I'd probably say so. Because my goodness. Uh, George R. R. Martin even admitted that his spin-off writing contradicted some of his pre-established lore in past, so he hired a couple of his own superfans who wrote to him all the time to fact check. Sorry, fact check, not fat check. <laughs> fat check. You're still fat? It's like, yeah. I'm so, why did you use ask me this? Yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, that, that lines up with what we were saying about the, uh... Some people will know your story better even if you wrote it. Because, uh... To them, it's, it's, it's like a... A world that they believe is true. Do you guys think someone can take down Lord of the Rings? I don't, I don't know. I mean, they could try. Could try, but it's hard. It's gonna be a tough one. There are flaws yeah. in Lord of the Rings, but I think that any reasonable person would be like, oh, compared to what it achieves and how much of it isn't flawed, it's like you'd have to start to conclude, like, well, I can't really say they're bad. Only... Yeah. Like in terms of a scale, but yeah, you could try. Yeah. Uh, I'm playing the Guilty Strife beta right now as my first serious attempt to play a fighting game. I'm rightfully horrible at it since I'm not a Mary Sue. I wish you a great hello. <laughs> yeah, hello. Yeah, good luck with that. I can't be ours to learn any fighting games. I played a fight. I think I played one Mortal Kombat online once and I got absolutely raped. I was like, that's that's not fun. <laughs> I'm too bad at this. Sailed spooky. Yeah. What is Chase Face coming back to you, Fab Anderson, hearing more of his thoughts on minorities? <laughs> <laughs> uh. So, yeah, we're allowed to use humanities, right? Uh, that's, I'm assuming, cool. Yeah, yeah, sure. Are we sure. allowed to do. Because it's funny, I'm asking this, it's like I'm partially the rule setter, but are we allowed to do anything else? Like mm -hmm. what? So, like upgrading your Estus. Oh, I mean, yeah, I don't see why not. You don't see? I think we shouldn't. <laughs> I mean, I, I've just, I've, I haven't upgraded anything. I was just using the 10 Estus no, from no, Firelink and that's it. You could have and that'd be fine, but right, like when we actually do it, it's probably that we shouldn't because uh, I'd say yeah, that I'm upgrading fine, I'm fine the Estus makes it so that the challenge is different for one person potentially. Yeah. Wah, 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 Are we allowed to cheese the dogs before we go into the camera team arena boss room? <laughs> How do you even do that? Do you like throw? You can fire throw fire bombs over the uh, over the wall and kill the dogs before you go in. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I think that would defeat the point of the. Challenge, yeah. So. <laughs> I, I just I just remembered that's a thing. <laughs> I was gonna say that would that would also be off limits for um. Yeah. Fucking what's his name? Better Chaos, because the point of that is going to be the cringe of fighting Better Chaos. Yeah. Uh, tries I might just can't get into Dark Souls 3 and try to combat pacing of Dark Souls one way more. Yeah, that's oh, fine. Dude, that's fine. Dark Souls 1 pacing totally is kind that. of why I think I adore this game. I love how slowly and, and just purposeful everything runs. Certainly in the first two <laughs> thirds. When you get to the Lord Souls part, it's a little more frantic and all over the place. And I'm not a fan of fucking many places in... Uh, uh, like, like crystal, what are they called? The Grand Archives. I'm not a huge fan of that place. I think it's fine. Like, I would defend it mechanically, but man, is it a headache sometimes. And then, of course, um, oh god, no, the undead, not undead. Fuck Hell. off. <laughs> Make that twelve seconds. 
Uh, the, I can't the... even get past them. You you just you have so little health. Jesus. I think it's Tomb of the Giants is the um the other place is a nightmare. Especially if people don't figure out how to make light, then they then they really gonna have trouble there. Mm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm trying to remember how I did it when we did the race. Did just walk past and went up the stairs? Um uh, I just have a hard time to yeah. even I just have a hard time even doing that right now. They're just either the dogs or Capra hits me. Oh yeah, it's tough. <clears throat> Metal made an O face, didn't he? Oh yeah. <laughs> Very much so. Um, X is a rhythm game is the new any game is an RPG. Any game is a rhythm game because almost every game has time mechanics. Um, yeah, but I'm sure everybody... So I would say it's not really much of a rhythm game outside of referring to boss fights in Dark Souls. Because a lot of bosses will have one of, let's say, ten main moves. And then they, they're all on timers. And you'll get grace periods to either heal or attack. And so, in a way, it just feels like you're playing some form of, like, Guitar Hero. Like, all, it's like you would... When the thing is about to connect with you, you hit dodge now. It's like it's like B coming down onto, um... You know, like the, the, what do they call it? The, uh, the, the fret. I, I don't know. You, you guys know what I'm talking about. Frets? I don't know if the, like, the, the line in which the threats are, frets, frets are hit on. I don't <laughs> know if it's called something, but whatever. Like the, the, the bar that you have to hit the buttons when they yeah, hit. Yeah, yeah, Do we just call it the bar? Um, I guess so, because it doesn't exist on a real guitar, so. Yeah. Uh, I suppose so. So, like, for example, that when he, when he's attacking me, it's like B is had in here. Here it comes B, and I hit it at the right time, and I'm okay. But there's still some, you know, option for me to do different things. So I don't mean I wouldn't really want it to be said in the same way that RPG is said about everything, because that fucking that is, that is annoying when people say that. Even Tetris is an RPG because you're playing the role of a block engineer or something. But yeah, I would want to make it a meaningful distinction, but I do think Dark Souls kind of falls into it a little bit with, uh, oh fuck, died, not bad. <clears throat> These three environments look samey like a Bloodborne light. I think that's relatively fair. I remember a lot of complaints coming out Ugh. about the um, the look of a lot of the places in Bloodborne, uh, Dark Souls 3. I think that's fair. I wasn't a fan of all the, the swamps. I remember the swamps being a thing of people discussing. Too many swamps. Enough, enough with the swamps. Too yeah, and uh, swamps, even in the, in the in the mods, like pretty much every re re revamp mod of Dark Souls, they just got rid of the uh, the speed uh, debuff yeah, you get in the swamps. It's only annoying. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's like it doesn't really make the game. Yeah, yeah. Wait, maybe. Hang on. So if I do this, yeah, like, when you uh, just. Gener just, just general advice to developers. If you have something in a game and all it does is annoy players, don't put it in. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't gotta. I forgot, we can still pick up our souls, right? We just don't spend them. Yeah. Yeah. For, for, I, I forgot to pick them up earlier because I was like, ah, the rules mm. are I can't pick them up. I was like, no, they're not. <laughs> Uh, you uh, missed up my super chat, you chungus. Oh, never mind. Take my money as an apology. Okay. <laughs> uh, are you guys ever gonna discuss cover Revenge of the Sith? Seems like you skipped it during the prequel arc. I, I have no idea. I we, wasn't part of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we, have, we have plans to do it. Um, lots of things planned all at the same time. The DC stuff is kind of in the way of everything right now. Nobody likes DC and it's getting in the way of stuffness. Bunch Ooh, of Mauler guys. and Rags. Honest question. Ooh. Did Krella DeVille from upcoming Disney movie looks more like Harley Quinn from SS or Alice from Batwoman? Please check out if you don't saw her. I haven't seen the trailer yet. I just heard that it's really bad. Yeah, we meant to watch that. I completely forgot. Um, oh, yeah, you're right. We will have to get around to it at some point. <laughs> That's what I have to say on that. Yeah. No, he parried me, you asshole. I like how I earlier said, don't forget about the parry thing, because that's annoying. And then I forget about it. The one thing I told you not to forget. Why is... why... what is... why... Mm, there is... 
forget this game exists. Jesus Christ. Oh god, what am I doing? Alright, what's worse than progress? Every every enemy in this in this thing is like faster with the attacks, so while I start swinging, they just stab me in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> Like every time. Oh yeah, that was one of the weird things about this club where I was like the heavy attack. I was like, oh god, I have to jump like every time I want to do a heavy attack. Like yeah, mm. and even if you're one-handed, it's still the same speed. Does it? I'm assuming it hits for less though. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, forty-seven. Do, 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 do. And then yeah, it's like half the damage only. Damn. Because I, I can't remember the timing to swing the fucking thing to kill the dogs before they hit me. It's, I oh, actually it's, have really yeah, it's trouble with that right now. I mean, we did it, so... <laughs> I know! I don't know how! I mean, okay, I'm 30 now, that's probably why. <laughs> I'm getting uh, old. Someone's asking, what's worse, the DCEU or the sequel trilogy? Uh, um... <laughs> So, we put TLJ and Rise of Skywalker, uh, and kind of TFA, they all float around 3-4, don't they? Or 3, really. Yeah. So, we're, they're on similar paths, I suppose. Um, yeah. I hate the sequel trilogy more. <coughs> yeah. But that's because I had somewhat of a connection to Star Wars. <laughs> I don't give a shit, really, emotionally or anything like that. I don't have any connection to the DC superheroes. Maybe um, the reason for that is because, like, of the DCEU gave me nothing to connect with. Yeah, like, um, I certainly don't care about the characters in those movies. Like, they... Yeah. Fuck them. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, yeah, the OT getting pistol over is kind of a bonus. Like, I hate them more than... I get amused by the DCEU. Yeah, it's badness as a Marvel, but... <laughs> uh, but, nice. um... The, the sequel trilogy is just... Ugh. I'm excited to see how bad the DCEU is. I'm not excited to see how horrifically bad Star Wars continues to be. <laughs> At least not to the same degree. I'm morbidly curious about Star Wars. I'm I mean, kind yeah. of excited to see how terrible the DCEU is. Like Mando season three when that finally falls out, we're gonna be like, well, here we go again. Well, just, oh, come on. Like, everything I try to not fight these dogs just doesn't work. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking suicide run for that key. Give me the key. Oh, and then they dodge too! Come on, man. Oh my god. I can't, I can't, I don't, I can't figure it out anymore. I feel so fucking stupid right now. I'm... <laughs> you okay? I, I'm, I, I, I don't get it. I know I know I, I know I did it before, but I just, I just get wrecked by these dogs all the time. It's insane. Hey, and I always get hit by this fire guy. Like, I don't... <laughs> Can I have the, the, the memories from two years ago from this game? That would probably make it easier. You, um... Are you entering from Firelink? Yeah. Hmm. Like those two dogs up there, they always either jump on my head while avoiding downstairs. Oh. Or they just, yeah, I mean, it's two attacks and I'm dead. I mean, you probably too. I, mean, I just got backstabbed. It, it hit my feelings, honestly. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty rough. Hello, chat people, Mola, Metal, and Rags. Hello. Hello. Uh. What are some tips you have for scripting a review, critique of a show, movie, or game? Oh, some tips. Tips? Uh, try not to be too redundant. Yep. Um, sometimes it's good to repeat yourself to get a particular point across. Just not, not in excess. Um. Uh, I'd say make sure you cover all the things you need to. Make clear distinctions between, like, how you, like, something being a big problem and a small problem. Mm hmm Like, may, because uh, people like to, people really, really like to say stuff like, oh, that's just nitpick, do-do-do. So really try and be, 
upfront and obvious about. Oh yeah, this is a nitpick. I'm just pointing it out because it's you know. Okay, so this works. Let's go. So that's that. There's some advice for you. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I guess um, never feel like there's no value in another reconsumption. What? If you will, as and what I mean by that is like, oh, you you you're struggling to remember a certain scene, or you need to double check if something's a thing. It's uh, it's always worth it just to make sure. Don't ever feel How like, you... oh, I've seen like five times now. How do you rebind your jump? Because that just killed me in Capra. Uh, you go. To... I went, I went in, and my guy immediately just jumps. <laughs> it's like <laughs> why? Uh, Are you even fucking. Yeah, it's, sorry, it's, sorry. it's pretty easy. You just go to the options menu and it's key bindings. I went straight. Well, it's it's in what I mean by the options menu is like out of the four main menus, you'll see key bindings in the configuration one, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mana. Even wasted a humanity because I was pretty confident. Mm. Then I got just drums. Key settings. Um. Uh, t -t 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 jump. Mm -hmm. uh, too many swamps, not enough Shrek. Hey. Always a problem if you, if you put oh. if you put swamps in your game, you're running out of excuses mm -hmm. to not include Shrek. Oh, you missed twenty dollar chat. Also high rags. Hi. Let me have a look. See. Uh, Rags just started Guild Wars 2 as an Asura engineer. <laughs> Any tips for a noob or for the game overall? Um, you picked the wrong race, but that's all right. I'll cut you a little bit of slack. Wait. But uh, let's see. Um, find people to play it with if you can. Uh, but it's also really good for just chilling, doing open world content. Uh, just learn. Just Google stuff. Google things, use the wiki a whole bunch. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that you can discover and learn. And Don't take it too serious, I guess. It's a really good casual kind of game, and, but there's plenty of hardcore or high-level content that eventually comes. Uh, most of the game is, like, level 80+. plus. Um, don't get too invested in the story. The story's fucking shit. Um, but um, That's yeah, I, I guess that should get you started. Uh, if you want to go for good builds, there's uh, good sites online where you could put together builds for different things. So, yeah, just uh, learn what things do and ask plenty of questions. There you go. Also, if you don't mind me asking, what profession is Uwu Bulge, Bulge Nuzla, if you still play him, also high ranks? Yeah, I do sometime. He is a uh, berserker warrior. Bulge Nuzzler. That's a funny name. Woo woo Bulge Nuzzler. <laughs> so apparently my key bindings were already on the stick, so I don't even know how the fuck that happened. So, uh, oh. I guess just my <laughs> stupid brain. Uh, yeah, I was heavily invested in expanded Star Wars, so Disney murdering Star Wars I take personally. DCEU is amusingly bad, almost humorously so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like I said, I... Yeah. I wouldn't want to be faced with the idea... Well, I wouldn't want to be faced with this for either of them, but if I was told, like, can you fix the DCEU, I'd be like... <laughs> so we're uh, starting over. If they said we can't start over, I'd be like, I don't think I can fix I'd it. I'd be like, I don't know how you expect <laughs> to fix this. It's kind of horrible, but, you know. Um, do you think Neil Breen can save Star Wars? <laughs> yes. <laughs> If there was Dude, I wonder man. what a Neil Breen movie looks like with a budget. Looks like fucking gold. I guess. No, 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 no. This was a really bad idea. I've entered the boss room with like one HP. <laughs> Leave me alone, doggo. <laughs> oh my god. You survived that, you. Wow. Oh, what a good stuff. Oh cool, you did the thing I've been trying for the last half an hour and just can't pull off because I'm apparently fucking stupid. I wouldn't say that about you, but maybe. That's fine, I said it. Oof, boss fell on me, I didn't take damage. I'm actually watching you, I want to see what you do, how you do it. 
Because I feel like I fucked up something, I don't know. <laughs> can't kill the dogs. <laughs> well, right now you're running in circles, that's what I would do. Uh. <laughs> yeah, my biggest concern right now is running out of health, I think. Uh, not far, but yeah. Oh, good. Yes, that was what I wanted. Oh my god, how am I alive? Yeah, the other problem with the with the club is it gets uh, stuck on the walls super easily. Like, that's the problem I have most of the time. Oh, good. I dealt damage to the boss, but... <laughs> I'm watching you right now. Ooh. Oh! I just ha I killed both of them? <laughs> just drop killed them, I guess. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, wh oh, I'm not okay. entirely clear on how I did that, but I did. That. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not either. Fuck you, Capra. Fucking hell. Like, I start playing again and I immediately get blood lost by those stupid thieves. Oh, music though. I'm gonna fall on you again, Havra. I'll do it. Oh, fuck you. Okay, this is not safe. Ooh, 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 I almost fell through the map. I even triggered up a little bit, that was scary. I, okay, in a rare moment there. The boss was unable to attack me through the wall, and I was able to attack him through the wall. Oh. Yeah. That works. I don't usually do that. Better put some armor on, you need poise. That's not the reason I'm not wearing armor. That ain't the fucking rules. <laughs> Whoa. I hit him in the head with a club as the final boo. Yeah. Alright, I got him oh, first. Oh fuck, trying. why did I stop? That was dumb. Of course you did. Because you fucking annihilate me in Dark Souls games all the time. I don't even know why I bother anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they were doing so badly this whole stream in like every other way. But that was like the one thing that went really well. Oh, these... God, I'm so sick of these dogs in this game. <laughs> Jesus mm. Christ. Like on the last try, I was like, oh, just run up. I found a way to deal with them. And then just stop midway and wait for them. It's like, okay. Oh my God, and then like 15 enemies come <laughs> smashing. Yeah, I was going to say, arena. I knew I was dead. It's like, <laughs> I'm not fighting three of the shadowy people and two dogs. That's not happening. He did it. I, which part of I was that I was watching him? Didn't you hear? <laughs> I wanted to make sure. Do, what, no. Those enemies—they just don't want me to do anything. Like I just go up here and I get hit by a fireball and a jump attack by a hollow. <clears throat> Can't believe you can beat the game as a streaker. <laughs> uh, you guys are the only ones I'm willing to simp for. Oh. Yay! <laughs> Also, have you seen Cinematic Venom's response to his own Lord of the Rings video? With all the current information, it might be the best EFAP redemption yet. Yeah, I've actually seen it. Um, it was, uh, it's actually kind of good. Pretty fun to watch. I, I, it was pretty. It was entertaining. He, um, he clarifies a lot of things that he didn't mean to go over the way that they did. He also just admits straight up that he was wrong on a lot of things, and uh, he doubles he doubles down on a couple of arguments. But uh, yeah. it's only fair, I think. Um, also, I just lost all those souls again, but you know what? That's fine. Who even is the next boss? Who'd be like trying to beat. Um. I guess trying to beat gargoyles with the fucking club. That seems like it'd be a nightmare. Why are those dogs so annoying? Like, wow. 
Can you read? Oh, this... God, man, I hit the fucking wall one more time while trying to hit an enemy. I'm just gonna fucking pray. That sounds. Why would you. It sounds like pleasure from pain. No. Ah. You should have seen the fight I just had with the dogs. Like, the amount of dodges they made by accident just now by falling down the stairs while they're trying to hit them. And me just getting stuck on the fucking wall of the, of the club. Well, I'm worried now because the actual <laughs> race is probably gonna go way worse for me. You say that now. Yeah. <laughs> I do <laughs> say that now. Well, time to spend another two seconds in this boss room. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god, they're already beat by my my record. Favorite John Favreau movie? Probably Iron Man. Probably. I hear Chef is very good. His only good one, maybe? It. Um, until I see Chef. Chef is apparently very good. Oh. How the fuck did that one miss? I mean, he's made a couple of those. I'd have to check his filmography to be sure, but... Okay, okay. Filmography? Uh, filmography. What are the race rules? Certain weapons, etc.? So, for those who are here right now... Race rules? Oh, we don't want to get that. <laughs> You have to go deprived? Deprived? Sorry, not deprived. Um, deprived. And you have to, uh, you're not allowed to, like, do fuck all of anything. I suppose you can collect items, like picking things up, but you can't use anything for anything. You have to go in and kill Capra. What? With everything I just, based I just did three damage to Capra. <laughs> wow, keep weird. at it, and you might just... <laughs> um, once you kill Capra, you unlock the ability to do absolutely anything you want. Anything you want, however, you have to use the club. So, that's your only restriction left. Um, and I think, I was talking to Fortier, like, if you want to use Pyromancy and, like, your second no, hand... No, 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 no. Oh, God, you gotta be shitting me, game. Oh, you went away. Okay, okay. You can use Pyromancy if you want. <sighs> oh. But it has to be club. And hopefully we'll all get club plus 15 by the time we kill Manus or whoever. That was... Master key allowed? What? Yes. What? Don't do it. Oh, I don't have my humanities equipped. Yeah, even I, I used a humanity in that fight. Went really well, though. That one drop attack where I killed the two dogs and hurt Capra, that was... Saminaus. DS2 mm -hmm. challenge run? The DS2 <laughs> challenge will be to complete it. Like, that's that's it. Like, the, we don't need to add anything to it. Because Dark Souls is what I call an awesome game, while Jesus. DS2 is what I call a nightmare game, so... Mm -hmm. We don't need to add a nightmare challenge to it, if it's already a nightmare game. Just basic logic, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play PS1 game Nightmare Creatures as Staff Man, please. <laughs> I... I have no idea what that is. Sounds interesting. Also, I was supposed to be getting the fucking thing. Um, uh oh. Oh. Gotta take any chances. Oh, wait, you don't even get more health in this one. Right. <laughs> it was a waste then. Please, spooky ghost, still hurt me. My greatest achievement in DS1 was killing Calamite with a, a uh -oh. bow without having Goth shoot him down. The unique dialogue was worth it. Oh, I didn't even know you could do that. Probably takes forever. I'd imagine, yeah. Got a little health. Oh. All the right ghosts. You may of course that one didn't hit him twice, just to fuck me off. There we go, I beat him as well. That was actually really good. So, remember. Pass him to the right and dodge, not to the left. And that's... Pretty much better. Have you killed him? Yeah, I just killed him. Neato. Down to my last healing as well, because I <laughs> fucked up the uh, the second to last drop attack, and he just almost killed me. Mm. So yeah, I'm out of Estus and out of Humanity. Well... <laughs> but I don't care. <laughs> we, um, I don't know, is it... Do you want to give a shot to trying to do the um, gargoyles mm. at this level? Uh, I could just try. It's gonna be pretty tough. Yes. Just a path there, because there's so many fucking enemies on the way. Did I open up the path yet? I don't even know. <clears throat> oh, I guess I you did. You did, did it, my little pockchamp, come here. <laughs> <laughs>
Chef is the king of movie that will make you hungry multiple times while watching it. I don't even know about that movie. What was, what was that? I was concentrating on, on the game while you were there? talking about it. Which one? Chef. Oh, I don't know anything about it. I just know that apparently oh. it's good. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, Anonymous, thanks for the gifted sub. Uh, and yeah, me boy, thanks for the gifted sub earlier. I, I don't remember if I said anything. Hi, Metal. Hey, Riza, how you doing? Hey! Favorite Will Ferrell and Adam Sandler comedy. Um, oh shit, that's where I want to go. Have they been in a lot of comedies together, or are you asking separately? Like, what they, what your favorites of each of them would be? Because <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, I really don't know. I'd have to look like a full list. It's probably one of the older ones. Both of them. Like Happy Gilmore. Yeah. Yeah, that's a tough one to answer at the present time, because I'm not sure. <clears throat> um, let's see if, uh, what, chat, what have you got? What are the best ones? Big Daddy? I remember that was good, yeah. Speed? I don't know if speed counts. Hello. <laughs> Alright, that's a not too bad amount of damage. The problem is when there's two of them. Let me, let me see. Oh, Dormages. Ooh. Alright, it's alright. Could be worse. Could be two of them. Oh, wait. Oh, no. <laughs> well, time to waste more of my salts. <laughs> yeah, we just add this as the second portion of the race. <laughs> when Putsi is just starting to the fuck. I didn't agree to this. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Did you kill all the small enemies on the way? Or did you no, somehow... No, fuck no, I'm running away from them. How did you... Oh. I tried that multiple times. They always just gang up on me. Because they're mean. No, but... don't burn me. <laughs> don't burn me. Sword of fire. Mm. I tried before, it doesn't work. I'm sorry. Oh, if that had hit your bastards. Stop flying. It's not fair because I can't fly as a mere human. True. I consider this outrageous. So Let's try to just run through. Oh, I immediately get hit by the first one. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Oh, no. <laughs> How did you go through it? I was what? full speed ahead. Dude, and the I got guy from the left just fucking knocks me in the face. By pure bad luck, I got four hit in a row from different oh. moves from both oh, shit. of them. It went yeah, I boom, just saw it. boom, before hey. I could roll on any of them. They wombo combo the That's shit out of you. So sad. I can't want to see you run through those. Seven enemies or ten or how many there are. The saddest I, part is that I, one of the moves didn't hit one earlier when I think it should have. He mm -hmm. was just rising off the floor. If it had, he would have died and that wouldn't have happened. So, sad face. Anyway, what are you saying? <laughs> uh, oh, when I tried just running through all these enemies on the way to the gargoyles, the first one just immediately hit me from the side while I was sprinting. Yeah, I find that's. Like, almost random chance. I don't know what, what decides whether or not he's going to do that to you, but he didn't do it to me when I was running. Oh my god, we're just going up uh, wow, the thing wow, at the same wow, time. Wow, 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 wow. I don't, how did uh, I get past this guy? I don't remember. Will you guys play online during the race? It seems risky. I don't think we are. Also, I was not looking at the thing. No. <clears throat> I'm sad now. As it should be. Whoa. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Jesus, what a leap! <laughs> yeah, I, I. How did you go? At, wow! I don't, what are you asking? <laughs> how you managed to get past them? I sprinted again all the way to the right. He leaped across the room and killed me. <laughs> Kobe! <laughs> Bro, thanks for the sub. I just heard of a. Oh, right. Uh, uh, are, you, are you automatically online in this game? I forgot. I haven't been invaded since I've played, so I'm pretty sure I'm not You offline. have to be uh, not hollowed, right? 
Oh, right, yeah. Oh, where the fuck am I going? I killed Capra already and don't need to go up there anymore. <laughs> If there was only one of you, I would have won! <laughs> they have to listen to you, you metal. I'm afraid that's not how this works. They only listen if they want to. Oh, you got burned, baby. I did. Uh, like my, my problem kind of, right now is getting ham past on, those guys. I went ham on one of them while the other one was coming, and I was like, fuck you, instead of getting out of there. <laughs> and then he peed all over me with his fire. Oh, sorry. I know. I'm sorry too. <laughs> he has the syphilis. Oh yeah. Mm. His pee pee is burning. Uh, wow, that so was a lot of damage. I've been playing my first playthrough of DS2 using the build you recommended in your H Bomber Guy DS2 video, and no matter how often I use those life gems, I never run out. Thanks for the broken build. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I want to clarify what I said was not in any way exploitative. I said it because I wanted to make sure that it, like, you understand how simplistic it is. Also, really? Okay, fine, fine, Mr. Angry. I'm gonna go down okay, here there we first. Go. Not gonna wait Doing a little, a little well-timed roll and I got past those guys as well. Not to get annihilated by the uh, gargoyles. The gurgles. Mm. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're both playing the remastered version, right? Oh, that That's disgusting yes. stun lock. That's vomit inducing, alright? Uh, okay. Is it just me oh, or is the, oh, the hitbox oh, for the first gargoyle a little bit weird when he does the overhead attack? I've always felt their um, little weapons are very long range. I've never been able to ch tell if they're longer than they should be, though. I was not paying attention. So he hit me once, and while I was trying about to heal, he just did his tail slash thingy. Um, uh, but yeah, but yeah we, we, uh, we're playing the remaster. Yes. As for the, uh, the the broken build thing, though, yeah, like um, I I don't recommend what would be an exploitative build, um, because there's different things you can do. I say like, as proof the game is broken, build normally, and that was like one point in health, then one point in endurance, then one point in strength, then one point in dex, and you just go back and forth, which is the most like normal build you could ever have. Like Lord of the Rings, the Third Age. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the point I was making was, even with the most normally build ever, the game breaks. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, I guess I'm glad that... It's working for you. Because the game is pain. But with life gems, a little bit less pain. Uh, Bajmo thinks for the sub. Uh, what do you think sucks about Code Vein? Oh man, you should have asked me that when I played the game. Uh, so, oh, whoops, I activated the thing. <clears throat> so what oh. I did when I played it, I, I was expecting some kind of more Souls-like experience. So I didn't choose any companions in the beginning because I just wanted to play solo. But the, uh, the difficulty spikes really hard at some point without a companion. So I didn't do that, but then I used the companion and I thought the game was way too easy then because they heal you and they sometimes even revive you. So I, I didn't think I didn't think it was re really well balanced. I don't know if, uh, how much that is because I was maybe overpowered for having a companion because I was playing solo all the time. Uh, I would have need I would need to replay it properly while paying attention to that, but I, I did, yeah, I didn't really like it that much. I have no intention of going back to that game. Now I know how to reliably get past that guy. Excellent. But they really do expect you to have a companion, because the heals you get are not that great. Like even later on, they're pretty weak. So you really do want uh, the heals from the companions. But yeah, most of the time, like, as soon as I got companions for bosses, it got pretty easy. I think there's one companion that's really overpowered. I forgot his name. But yeah, wasn't it might even been more a thing of it's not my type of game. 
I, I would need to replay it to tell you anything mechanically. But yeah, I didn't like it that much. I think that's as far as I could go without replaying the game, because it's been over a year since I've played it. Do the gargoyles use fire um, before the second one comes in? No, oh my god. Hmm. When you set fire, the one just peed fire and me from behind. Oh, it'll do that. <laughs> Where you at, boy? What? Whoa, what was the. Okay, that kind of worked out. Oh. oh no 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 no! Okay, do you fire while I'm on this side? Yes, yes. Oh. Mm. Also, he's using great fire support. You could say that. Oh, shit, they're both doing fire right now. Okay. Yeah. I've that's I haven't seen that a lot of times. The best meme is when you hit them both at the same time with one move. Feels good, man. No, 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 no. Oh, wow. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I'm running out of space to run. They were spamming the fire like crazy both right now. Oh, they're doing for you, Grimer. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. One from the air, one on the bottom. Jesus Christ. It's... It's like a curse and a gift, because they kind of stun themselves when they do the fire moves, so if you're in the right place. Yeah, when you're in the right place, it's pretty good. But for me, they were like both in front of me. This is really like a wall of fire. Should have rolled off. Yeah, I almost, they almost, he always fired me off the roof and I recovered, but then his fire came back. And I'm done. It was horrible. It wasn't a bad first attempt, though, I would say. It's all things considered. It's adored. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I felt like I was out of range, but I guess not. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, I thought you died. Okay, cool. <clears throat> All right, I killed him. Nice. And I was like, can you kill Quailog with this? Like, oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> why, why you do this, mutually? It's like, I don't want to have to. I don't believe you. In theory, yes. But what does that matter? Fucking dead. Uh, what do you think is worse? The DCU... Oh, yeah, we did answer that one. And it's ended with also high rags. High? Uh, we, yeah, we decided the sequels were worse in the sense that we hated them more, right? In yeah. terms of writing, They're though, both, like, tough. broken. Yeah. They're, it's all broken to shit. It's like a vase that's been thrown on the marble floor and it's smashed to a bajillion pieces. <laughs> but which one's more broken? Look, I don't, I don't know. I don't have the time to, to find out. I Even though you... there's probably a way to do it, I just don't. I just can't. Uh, fuck that. Fuck that. Yep. Um, I know you did a great job on the Dark Souls 2 critique, but you would ever brave doing a Dark Souls 1 slash remaster critique in a similar way? Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing that. That was something that was always on the cards, but... Uh, don't know when at this point. Don't know when. Craig, you mentioned you don't like the concept of the Chosen One. What do you think of media like the Wheel of Time, where being the Chosen One has massive downsides, is generally hated slash feared? Um, so my big issue with Chosen One stories are generally that they are mixed in with the concept of destiny. I hate destiny. If I ever create anything, there is going to be no such thing as destiny. Destiny doesn't exist. You're not fated to do a certain thing. Um, characters have free will in the sense that it exists. Oh. Um, you're not just you. You are not predetermined to do a thing uh, because that puts into question everything that you do and whether it was even possible for you to fail, whether it was even possible for you to have done anything differently than what you did. It was fated that you would do all of those things. Uh, it implies predeterminism. Um, if you have someone who's chosen in a different sense, what if, like if a- I was gonna yeah. say, what if like I'm, I'm a warlock in, uh, I don't know, ancient, medieval- God damn it. No, not even way super ancient times. And I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna make it so the 
this this random child is gonna have I'm, I'm cast a spell on them and infuse demonness into them or something, and they have power now. <clears throat> um, and the, the the there's like a curse or a, a provisor on it that whenever they die, that spirit and power will transfer into the next person in the right age group or generation or whatever, and they Did will stream then die? gain that or power. And so the no, idea no, being sorry. that um someone will be the next chosen one. Someone could call it I'm that. I'm fine with it in that sense. Uh, that was actually right where I was about to go, mm. where my issues with chosen ones generally deal with the, the predetermined aspect of fate, and their success is they are fated to succeed. That is their destiny. It could not have happened any other way. But if someone is chosen to receive some gift or blessing or power or curse by an entity that does not guarantee their success, that's mm. totally fine with me. Um, it's that the phrase the chosen one is it's it's a broad kind of thing like chosen by whom for what that 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 that, that, kind, that kind of thing. Um, so, well, what about Star Wars? Anakin was the chosen one, and look how that turned out for him. <laughs> so the fate of the chosen one specifically doesn't uh... have anything to do with it. Uh, the chosen one can have good things or bad things happening to them. That that's not my issue with it. Um, unless it is because they are the chosen one and they're like if there was no other way that it could have happened I have an issue with it um, Yeah, like if some book said he was always going to do everything he does in those movies that would be really lame But they're super super vague About what Anakin's gonna do um, Yeah, um like <sighs> The prophecy, like, like that that's kind of my issue with prophecies being true in fictional media. Like, I wouldn't have that be the case. If I, if I make a universe or a fantasy world where prophecies exist, it's not that the prophecy has to happen because it's a legit, pro a quote-unquote legit prophecy in that world. People can believe in it, and the prophecy can be ambiguous in nature which sort of doesn't make it a prophecy if it's ambiguous but in the sense that predictions can be made or or like the whole um like galadriel's mirror where it shows like what would happen if someone fails or if someone succeeds or if if if, if it just shows a bunch of ifs and potentials that's totally fine um but if it says like this is the thing that will happen and you can't change anything about it. I'm like, oh, well, fuck that shit. That's not going to be in my the the world that I would create. Um, someone has. It sounds like you don't like fate so much as Deus Ex Machina. I. I don't know if they're the same. Thing. No, I really don't like fate. I don't know how I could have worded that less ambiguously. <laughs> um, but the Deus Ex Machinas, oh. I generally mm. don't like them either because they come across as lazy. Um. You have to, I like it when they're established or when they, it's kind of like winning the lottery. Like if as a result of a deus ex machina, because that deus ex machina happened to have happened to a person, basically an extreme coincidence just happens to have occurred to a person, like them winning the lottery or them they, getting the secret plans for a thing from some lady or something like that. If they were to get that and that's why we're following them, that's different. Um, but, uh, yeah. uh, right, I don't, I've never seen JoJo. I don't care about JoJo. Um, let's Good. see, uh, I probably mentioned that before, but if the way elementary particles and universal forces behave is predetermined by the laws of physics, it's not predetermined by the laws of physics, it's determined by the laws of physics. Determinism and predeterminism are different. Uh, because I'm basically a determinist, I don't see how you couldn't be really uh I think but most i'm not people a predeterminist are, they just don't argue it quite you know what i mean like most people understand eventually that determinism yeah. is a thing uh let's see like the worst way to go about determinant uh, so we we briefly talked about devs and how it's one of the shittiest tv shows i've ever <laughs> seen in my life and it's fucking horrendous that's not how you do the concept of determinism it's terrible um let's see thoughts on king arthur I'm sure there's plenty of King Arthur movies that have been made in the last 10 years that are probably really bad that I'd love to see. However, one of my favorite movies is Excalibur. Uh, so that is one that I need to get this crew to see sometime. Love me yeah. some Excalibur. Uh, okay. Oh, 
Okay. I really shouldn't have gone this direction. That was my bad. Well, the whole point is to try and beat Quaylog without leveling, so fuck my souls, whatever. Also, yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing the King Arthur with uh, Clive Owen. Clive, Clive Owen? It is Clive Owen, right? Um, Clive Barker. I'm pretty sure it's bad, but but I'm curious. All right, I've got the big curiousness in it. That could be one for the um, but for like Shad and and others, you know. We'll just have a war movie vibe with with that crew. Um, how did you feel about the way Destiny was handled in Berserk, or have you not read it? That's for you. I've not read it. Yeah. Ah, <gasps> oh, fucking hell. Rags would. Oh wait, did you read this out? Uh, would Anakin be a good chosen one because he kills the Jedi, but then later he kills the Sith? So it seems like he had free will. Also, hi Rags and M. Hello. Hi. So what? seeming like free will is different than actually having it, or at least in the sense of could you have done anything else? It was it. You know, were you, were you fated to do it? Because you were the chosen one well, of a sort. That was complicated. But I think for me it's the because... ambiguous nature of like what he's supposed to do that makes it kind of hard to determine. We never find out who wrote this thing or where it came from, right? Um, and we didn't even we don't even know what the writing of it is. So we just get told that most people interpret it as there is a chosen one. He's going to be really good for the force by bringing Brad balance to it, which is another thing that people still debate about what that means. So. Um, Qui-Gon plucks him out of Tatooine because of the prophecy. Like, not because the prophecy said he would, but because he read the prophecy or he knows about it, and he's like, oh, this must be the Anakin person that I'm supposed to do the thing with. And so, like, characters reacting to a prophecy is fine with me, but like I said, if it laid out everything that Anakin was gonna do in those pages, and he just does them, and that's all the story has for us, it's like, he did them because that's what he was always gonna do. I'd be like, oh... Like, that's like the worst form. I don't think many things do that, though. At least they just seem to try and avoid it. But, um, I've always felt that prophecies in, like, in stories are usually used just to bring hype, almost. Like, hey, this big thing will eventually happen, but I'm a little bit vague about it. So what do you guys think? Speculate away. And you're like, ooh! Rags, would you be okay with fate if knowing fate lets you change fate? So it's not fate. In the sense that if you're fated to do something, I, that means that how it happened, it could not have happened any other way for the story. Um, but yeah, it's, it's different. Yeah, how? like the idea of um, knowing, like that's one of the things that devs fucks up royally, royally with, is that they, there's, they, I, 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 these people build this machine to like tell what the future is based off of like super deterministic analyzation of the universe particles and things like that so they essentially know what's going to happen however with the knowledge of what is going to happen they still do it which is dumb and makes no yeah, sense they, they honestly obviously do the worst if version. you know what the future is that will change what that future would oh, be because on. you're now acting with different knowledge this is why you shouldn't worry about, oh, I don't have, you know, so, like, true libertarian free will doesn't exist, um, but that's okay, because your understanding of that and your knowledge of that and you knowing that the things that you do affect what you do and the things that are around you affect what you do, and you can actively do things with that knowledge to change things that you will do, basically makes it, like, don't worry about it, um, what is devs? It's a terrible TV show. It's fucking horrific. It's not even worth watch watching for the memes. Not yeah, unless you want to watch it for the memes. Yeah, it's if if you're an up and coming YouTuber and you want to take a look at a show that's horrifically bad that you could rip apart, devs is an excellent candidate for that. It features maybe one of one of if not the dumbest protagonists I have ever seen in a TV show. And a plot that carries forward due to the insane stupidity of the protagonist. Dude, the damage on Quaylog is terrible. <laughs> Rex, ew. Also, hi, Rex. Hi. No. No, 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 no. Ooh. Man, Goggles is tough without health. <laughs> <laughs> They're all tough without the things. Lies. The slander. Um, Rags, how do you feel about werebears? Like werewolves, but bears? I'm fine with them. 
I don't know why you would have any issue with them, you know? Seems yeah, like they should be I have allowed. no issues with werebears. I'm fine with were creatures and yeah. conditional cur conditional curses are cool. There's all kinds of neat stuff that you could probably do with that. Oh, you I thought she was doing the detonation. Alright. Oh well, now she's doing the detonation? Wow. Hmm. Baylog being a bitch. Boo. I know, I shouldn't say that. Sagitisms. No, not a, really. Oh. Ooh, okay. I have no cell phone recommendations. I have an iPhone, but I bought it used from somebody. I don't buy any Apple products from Apple, because fuck giving Apple money. Yeah. Uh, so I, I will buy them used, and I will never pay money to Apple. Uh, okay. That That's also like... an excellent way to get a phone if you need one, is to just go through Craigslist or whatever and see if anyone's just selling their phone. Oh, yeah. um, I'm I'm lucky. I basically I just used my company phone. I'm allowed to use it privately as well. So I just basically get a new phone every two years for free. All right. I have an I have an iPhone six S plus. I think is what it is. Hmm. And like it it feels new to me, even though I guess they're on iPhone like ten or twelve or something like. I don't even know. They're on like twelve or something. Um, yeah. But yeah. my phone's great. It holds up really well. It's just the people who make it real. Yeah, I mean, the uh, only reason yeah. I have a no new phone every two years is because I just get one <laughs> from the from the contract from my company, so might as well. Let me actually ask my dad if he's still on his iPhone. Oh, uh, like... Fuck! Does, oh, th does the text, when they start going into the air, I have a really hard time timing the dodges on those ones. Yeah, yeah, Especially yeah, yeah. when it's all, when it's two of them, because you can't just look up to the to the other one. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, regarding phones, I talked about this. I don't know if I talked about this on the stream or just offline with Al, but I if I would need to buy a phone myself, I would just get like a cheap one, because there's really good budget phones out there these days. I have no good phone knowledge. I am a phone noob. Yeah, I don't know much about them. Oh, I, I basically just. When, when the time comes to choose a new phone and they send me the list like those are the ones you could get I was gonna look at the reviews online it's like which is supposed to be the best one right now okay this one give me this one it's like okay yeah, I'm gonna wait I for poison to run out <laughs> they're all probably just fine oh yeah I, mean... I think just if, if you don't do anything crazy with your phone like I only use it to well take calls and write messages <laughs> this one yeah pretty, pretty much, much every phone just, can do that these days yeah just very light internet browsing or just when i'm piddling around someplace without a laptop or whatever and i just want to waste some time yeah um, it, i don't use my phone that much really um so i can't justify getting new ones all the time pretty much yeah i use of all the communication the methods fuck? that i use texting and calling people on the phone is the one I use by far the least amount, but it's the one that I by far pay the most for. Mm. However, you got to be able to call people and text people. Like, good. Like, I have explained to my family what I could. I, I've explained. I've said. I've told my family this because there's a bunch of boomers in the family, as there are <laughs> with many families, and they're 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 wonderful and everything. But to, I had to tell them. You know what? We could make a Discord server for just family stuff. Like, all of us could be in a Discord server. We could send pictures to each other, sure. talk to each other all the time. And it's always there for you. And you could, like, it, it, it will take the place, essentially, of your phone, almost. And it doesn't cost anything. But, like, I know that that will never happen with this family. <laughs> Um, don't know if my previous super chat was seen, but I highly recommend going back to God damn it. <laughs> to God damn screen. it. Oh, okay. Uh, God. Going back to EFAP fifty part two to the one point two billion and watching it on twenty five times or point twenty five. Super Slonald is God tier, and the EFAP crew laughing is too good. High metal, Mauler, and Rags. Hello. Um, Hello. I'm pretty sure we have done that before. Like we had a whole bunch of people putting them in meme videos as well over the course. Yeah, that, that I've heard I've moment. heard that phrase many times. 
So Rex, still delightful. Where do you draw the line of a chosen one because of ambiguity, or a chosen one because of someone manipulating circumstances? So if it's ambiguous, then I can't tell. Fuck. That's by definition of being yeah. ambiguous. Wow, um, I them. <laughs> that would be Star Wars, I guess. Um, you can't yeah. tell. Yeah, someone. Yeah, like if it was confirmed in canon that. It would not have even been possible for anything Anakin did to have been influenced or changed in any way. That'd be like, oh, um, however, for people manipulating like the circumstances, I I don't know exactly what you mean by that. But if it's if you essentially by that mean other people with the knowledge that they have and their assumptions about the future can influence that through their actions uh then that's that's not fate uh my very first high rags <gasps> oh hi what uh, re-watching through all of efab can't remember where i started but i was on episode 42 100 days ago and on 76 now well going oh, the, long, the, uh, that, that live wasn't my stream a couple of days ago i remember that <laughs> it's a journey it's a yeah. Uh, just FYI, Man of Steel was right to seek cover, not overpass, that bad, but popular misconceptions, tornadoes travel 60 miles per hour, so outrunning is only a maybe, and if everyone tries to run away, accidents happen. I saw him... If you, can, if you can't go faster than 60 miles an hour on a highway... <clears throat> I mean... Okay, I don't, I, okay. But, uh, I, I can't think I mean, of a car that can't. I, I don't understand, sure. but the, the, the tornado we saw, uh, they could have outran it. with. A yeah, clearly they can. They are, there's plenty of time between them noticing it, and they should have noticed it and done something about it much, much sooner. The, the idea road that it was leaving smart the... to get out of your car and to run away from it. No, just drive away at that point. <clears throat> yeah, there is a highway to your left that has no cars on it. It is bizarrely empty. It, it, weird. Uh, well, like, just there, there was go grass over to anyway. that road. Cars can go on grass. They, they'll they'll do it. They'll nail it. And then you can, you know, like desperate times. But you, you just flip around and then get the fuck out. Yeah. Um, if, if I was in my car, you bet your ass that I wouldn't be getting out and running. Because I understand that vehicle is faster than my legs. I would be going into the other lane and I would be driving away. This is a life or death scenario. Yeah, and uh, and I've seen comments talking about how bad it is to go under an overpass. Apparently, during a tornado, apparently that's a big no-no. Yeah, so apparently that's a very works. very bad thing to do. Uh, Christmas better than Halloween. Cats better than dogs. Vampires better than werewolves. Damn, rags. That's a tough <laughs> one for you to agree with on the, for the three there. Like, <laughs> uh, if, if you so want werewolves the other two, are way better than vampires. Christmas is better than Halloween, but that's the closest of the three. And dogs are definitely better than cats. I was gonna say, like, what a tough one. If you want it, he's like saying you can have these two, but you have to have this other one. It's like, oh. Um, I have to have this, so I can what now? So which of those two do I have to be true? No, I'm saying like this guy is saying those three things. <sighs> And so if you want to agree with him, you've got to take that horrible one with it, you know? I'm just going to disagree with all three, because they're all wrong, but... Yeah, um, Christmas is better than Halloween, dogs are better than cats, and the other one was wrong, too. I forget what it was. <laughs> and he said, hi, hi, Rex, thanks for recommending Divinity. Move! Oh, are you oh, fucking uh, with me right hi. now? Glad you're liking yeah. it. Hey. Wow. <laughs> it's a good one. Did, did you see that, Mirpsh? I don't have your stream up. So when you go to the gargoyles, it's like all those guys, obviously. And there's this one guy that comes through the door in front of you. He just oh stopped in the door. He just stopped in the doorway, and I couldn't pass at all. Could you kill him through the door? Jeez. Oh yeah, I was immediately uh, gang banged by the other five that oh, yeah, come okay. from behind. <laughs> no. Unfortunate. Um. Hello, Mola. Hi, Rags. Hello. Hi. Thoughts on the Jeep truck? I find it an abomination to man. Don't know why. I've heard they're generally all right. I just don't have any feelings on jeeps. It's a jeep. Yeah, I see a decent enough amount of them. They seem to be okay. The other lane of the highway was empty because everyone driving from the direction saw the tornado and turned the fuck around. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Just see someone on the on the other lane just uh, 
honking. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? Move! Uh, why isn't Ray the chosen one? Heh heh heh. No, no, JK. I mean, uh, they, they like to argue that, right? What, is, what does Anakin say to her and Rise Skywalker, like, succeed where I failed or something? I don't know. <laughs> it's like, ugh. He was the true chosen one, everybody. Oh, fuck off. Uh, what I meant was perception of characters in world. So science can be seen as magic, but you have a deity or power that wants to be seen as fate. So I'm assuming they're saying a god that's putting things in place, but like an actual character god who's doing that. And they're asking like, I guess would that be okay or not? Wow. Like a puppeteer, I guess. I feel like that's gonna give you a completely different story. That means there's like no characters, there's only this one guy who's fucking with everybody. To some degree. I, 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 I don't know. Oh, it's Jesus. Werewolves, greater than vampires. Cats, greater than dogs. Halloween, greater than Christmas. The true list. Fucking hell, what are all these takes? They're all over the place. I can't deal with this. Bad people coming from. Fuck off. Uh, good spending I... the time. What, what, what happened, Mel? You're right. <laughs> I, I hate the hitbox of this weird X thingy. Like, it goes past me, but it still hits you. It's so weird. My attempts at Quaylog are all pathetic now because I died on that first one. I think I'm gonna change up. I don't know what I want to do now. No, let me let me see your attempt right now. Like, I'm not paying enough attention because I'm just sad that I died on the other one because I think I would have <laughs> survived had I not had lost a little chunk of health from the poison. And so it ruined the whole thing and I was like, oh. I don't want to play anymore. You made me upset. <laughs> but, um, I think I might just do a normal run from the beginning. Once again. Because this is, this is the prep run, guys, okay? We can do whatever we want. The prep run. Uh, could spending the I time... I wanna... You wanna what? Go ahead. Oh, oh, so, fuck, just, I'm just gonna... Kill the gargoyles and I start leveling up like a normal person. <laughs> oh. Could spending the time to get a black knight weapon be worth it to get the damage you need to kill the boss quickly, saving time long term? Well, but like, we had to use the club. So that'd yes. be out. Unless you're saying in general, um, I mean, getting Black Knight weapons is... What the fuck? Dude, pretty, these pretty good. fucking minions are just pranking me right now. <laughs> I will be right back. Or Alrighty. What? Hunter Bandit. I can, I can hear them tip-tapping above me. I will take a knight. And I will be gifted with the master key. <laughs> Dude, those last three or four attempts to get to the gargoyles, those fucking guys just patrolling me. Sucks to Like that one guy, the first guy that ambushes you from the left, he jumped into the pathway before I even went there and stabbed me. In the age of ancients. When's the true run? I, I don't know, probably like two um, or three weeks from now. Oh yeah, we have to sort out with Fortier as well as yeah. the time where we're not engaged with other bloomps, um, mm -hmm. so no guarantee. It'll probably just randomly come up and you'll be, you guys will be like, what? What? We doing this now? And I'll be like, yes. Yes. Get over it, bitch. Get over here. Uh, hey, e Fapper. Hmm. e Fapper, Which one? maybe? Great content. Just going to throw in my two cents and say that I really enjoyed the new Thrawn books by Timothy Zahn, especially the uh, the audiobook by Mark Thompson. Alrighty then. <clears throat> ah, controller, stay plugged in, you bastard. Don't cut it off. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I just might. Uh, Alright, am I... Oh, is the controller... Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> uh -oh. Baby. Did I cut it off? <laughs> oh, there, there we go, it's still working. Oh my god. Alright, time <clears throat> to get naked. Ooh. This time I'm, gonna, I'm just going to play and solely put points into Endurance and s see how that goes. Wah, 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 wah. Uh, Dark Souls 3 runs something after Dark Souls 1 run, right? I would guess so. 
Yeah, probably. I feel that's gonna come up naturally. See if I'm gonna get annihilated in that one as well. Even though that's the one I'm most comfortable with. I feel like <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to put much, much of a fight on that one. I, I am least familiar right now with Dark Souls 3. Outside of probably Dark Souls 2. But yeah, uh, thank you. Mole, are you still planning on reviewing The Last of Us 2? Yes. But, um, no promises, as with anything. You know what? I've been working for a while now on the boys' one, but no promises for that either. Because what if my house is attacked by an alien? Yeah. Think about that. I mean, I come over sometimes, but I'm not an alien. Come on. Yeah, Metal wipes my drives, and then I'll, I'll have to restart my reviews, you know? So blame him. Yeah. But, um, the answer is yes, though. Fuck your asylum demon. Rude. Well, I know you aren't even a whammon on Twitch. What do you mean by that? You're doing a DS1 response and this is a preparation? <laughs> no, DS1 race. Race to see who is the greatest uh, beef jerky of them all. Exactly. You guys should read Berserk. It's a Japanese manga that inspired a lot of Dark Souls. Artorius is a straight copy of Guts and the main character, or the main character. Nah, I'm good. I hear good things about that manga. Mon monkey. Oh wait, I didn't pick up my sword. Big monkey. Hang on, zombie. Uh, in relation to the EFAP movies Batman and Robin, how did you Flangus' manage to not bring up the fact that Poison Ivy makes out with one of her plants in the movie? That shit was bloody great. <laughs> um, I could have sworn either we, we were talking over it or we did comment on it, because I, I still have an image of it when she's like... It's like it's like licking the thing that it's in and then she like puts her tongue up to it, I think. The fuck? Yeah, it's a bit weird. I, I managed to cut off the tail with the club. Yeah. I thought you'd need a sharp weapon for that. I think that's a monster hunter rule, isn't it? Is it? I could have sworn it was, a, was in here too. I don't think they have uh, that rule in Dark Souls. I, I, I oh, can't okay. Well, obviously, I mean, I just got the <laughs> well, thing. Well, so. it, it could just be just with gargoyles, but yeah, as far as I know, that's fine in Dark Souls. New, new, new. Bringy is still wrong about Halo 4. Oof. Oof and Heim. Saying that he's wrong about Halo 4 and he's not even here. Is there anything more insulting? What about Schlanku? I don't know what that is, honestly. Yeah, me neither. I was just asking. Maybe that's more insulting, I don't know. Oh, da, da. He should be awake around about now. What the fuck, Bringy? Hmm? If your house is attacked by aliens, just... And cuff yourself to a tree. Oh shit! Oh shit! Reference. Well, not a shit reference. A good reference, but I meant to say oh shit. Pause. Reference. You I got it. I understood. Extraterrestrial is that really cool movie about aliens. Mm. We are not alone. When Fring oh, gets yeah, mad, it, really, it was very cool. Oh yeah, and I can't wait for Extraterrestrial too, man. It'd be great. Hmm. Um. When Fringy gets mad at Crash 4, play that clip of Wings of Redemption. I just can't take this no more. <laughs> can't take it no more. Okay, Fringy will persevere, okay? He's gonna beat the shit out of Stop Crash. poking me the bomb! Mm. Mm. Do you think Logan Logan holds up under closer scrutiny, or will it go the way of Spider-Man hey. 2? I beat him. So I'm one of the controversial lads who said for a long time that Logan is not quite as good as it's made out to be. The degree to which that is, is up for debate. I'd have to rewatch it because all I know is that for a long time it's considered a masterpiece. Like fucking amazing. So when I watched it I was like, oh, hmm. What was the first time you watched it when we watched together? I don't remember. The first time I watched it was in the uh, theater with Smiler. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and uh, Smiler doesn't like it more than I do. Mm. I just remember there was a, like uh, two or three pretty good scenes in there. I, like honestly, I like the idea. And I like a lot of the <laughs> scenes, yeah. I just wasn't happy with some stuff in that. But that's going to be a whole other arc, okay? We've got to do the <laughs> X-Men arc. The X-Men arc. So many movies. X-Men 1, 2, 3, Origins, Wolverine, The Wolverine. <laughs> 
Uh, first class, Days of Future Past, Apocalypse, and Dark Fate, and Logan. That is the Dark totality, Fate. I think. Oh, uh, wait, grab sorry, not Dark Fate, Dark Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, grab Pine Resin next time. I have Pine Resin in inventory, but I, I think we're not allowed to. I'm, I think I, that wasn't the point, right? I would assume it would be unfair. Well, not necessarily unfair if we all did it, but just, yeah, yeah. nah, probably not on the um, Pine Resin. Yeah. Because I have it in my inventory, but I just didn't use it by by, uh, by default. I was deciding whether or not we would make gargoyles part of the challenge based on how long <coughs> it takes you to beat them. What, what do you think? Do you think that's fair or do you think that's too much? Uh, sorry, say that again. What, I think having you gargoyles a part of this challenge is too much, or...? I don't know. I think it's fine. Uh, it's... I'm I okay think the only it. thing that hampers us a bit is the amount of souls we lose. I'm trying to then yeah. play the game properly. So maybe killing Kappa unlocks leveling, mm. and that's it. And then once you kill the gargoyles, you unlock everything. So you don't waste too many souls, because I think that might yeah, be a bit... Be a bit much. Meta remembered me in that super chat. I did, Dishonorable Jedi. I did. Um, also, would you rather have Baraka Claws, Baraka Bone Claws, or Logan Bone Claws? Fucking who's, Bar who's Baraka? He's from Mortal Kombat. It's like one blade that comes out instead of three, but it's thick. I way prefer Wolverine's claws. Wolverine's claws are fucking cool, and the fact that they retract all the way into his wrist means, like behind his wrist, I mean, means that they could, like theoretically, like they they seem to work better than one huge blade that goes into your arm and then your arm can bend and do whatever it does normally. And plus, you can only, if you only want to bring out one, you can. Oh yeah, he does that, true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He does it to flip off Cyclops, <clears throat> and it's funny. Heh. <laughs> How damn you guys are gassy. <clears throat> no. Lies. I mean, he's gassy. Rags never boobs. I just like the challenge, though. Dude. It's a very gratifying beating. Uh, yeah, I, I think now. it's a good challenge. We should have everybody, once we find out when we're doing it, everyone should do it in chat at the same time. <laughs> oh my god. It'll be a big community thing. It'll be great. Suddenly a massive spike in Dark Souls 3 player. <laughs> uh, Dark Souls uh, remastered like, players. I'm going to invade you. It's like, ha, I'm not going unhollowed. Ha, <laughs> ha, get wrecked. Uh. Metal and Masters, which bad Wolverine or Logan? I don't remember. Logan. I'm pretty sure. The, are they talking about. Which, what was the other option? Like the sorry? first one? The Wolverine. Yeah, that's I guess the, that's the first one. That's the one X Men in, Origins, they mean? No, that's the one where he's in like Japan or whatever and he's fighting the weird guy with the silver, silver suit. Silver Samurai, that's the bad guy. The second one, apparently, is, that is. Not. That's not. This, it goes. So, like, continuity it goes X Men 1, 2, 3, then Origins Wolverine, then The Wolverine, then uh, Days of Future Past, I guess, is the next Wolverine. Like, if you count all of them as Wolverine's films, yeah. Okay. But, I mean, I have, like, like, no knowledge of, uh, uh, of X Men, so. It's a. It's, uh, Vox, was it, once said that X Men's continuity makes a lot more sense than the MCU? They were fucking lying. X-Men's continuity is a tough one. Alright, what do I even want to do? I guess... Play the game normally? Why not? Emperor Fugi, can't believe Mola got that. Oh, yes. Uh, considered spending $1,500 on an RTX 2070 laptop at Costco. Never spend money on high-end laptop, gaming laptop, IMO. Upload some videos. Rags, Christ. <laughs> what a weird way to end that. Hey, it'll chat. happen. Don't worry. And, uh... We will get there. Yeah, I wouldn't know what laptops to recommend anybody. Let's Me say. neither. The one with power. Yeah, go with the, that one. He's right. I wouldn't recommend buying any hardware at the moment unless you have no other choice. Yeah, I'm... I mean, I'd really like these companies to start making the shit that we'd like to buy. Yeah, that would be nice. And this, this applies to a lot of my, places. You know, I'd like to build a computer later this year. It's funny, yeah, I think all three like of us to. want to do that, but um, all three of us yeah. are kind of delayed right now. Like, the only G new GPU I can get here in Germany at the moment would be a 3090, and that would cost me 
2,500 euros for the GPU Jeez. alone. <laughs> I'm not willing to spend like multiple like pay days worth of money for my PC <laughs> at once. That's yeah, it's insane. I I'll, I'll I'll just throw money on the side, and whenever I can actually buy components anymore uh, again. You can probably buy like three PCs. Because the 3090 is supposed to be like 1500, which is, yeah, you know, it's a lot of money. Mm. It's also an insanely powerful card, so. Yeah, but you don't really need it, to be honest, unless you're like. Yeah, like my computer's great, up. so. <clears throat> I mean, I'd love to have one eventually. So <clears throat> we'll see whenever that is. Hmm. Um. Excusing genocide, I can't use computers <laughs> equals Bidendorf. What? <laughs> Bidendorf. I don't, I don't, it's not even I, it's excusing genocide and then like the, the, what do you call it? The line that's not, um, Dash? like a separation. Hyphen? People use it in a lot of Backslash? videos. Backslash? Um. Dash? Hyphen? It's not, it's not a dash. Um, you know, it's, it's like a capital, or not a non-capital L, but like a, stretches from top to bottom oh uh, a i don't know what that's oh called. wait you mean a pipe is that what it's called a pipe uh, that's, that's what you call it uh in it at least it's separate commands funnily ah. enough so. i haven't seen it like in in any other usage though so the letter l yeah, Renegade <laughs> said in my chat it's called a pipe as yeah, well. I call yeah, call people in chat saying pipe. Interesting. I didn't know that. I guess I'll call it from that from now um, on and then see people be like, what? A pipe? And I'll be like, I know. <laughs> what cards do Mahler and Rags have? I have a 2080 Ti Amp Extreme, a Ooh. Zotac brand. Mel, Very what nice. do I have? <laughs> I, I did build your PC, I don't know. I didn't Ask expect Al. you to know because you built it. I expect you to know because you remember I, shit I, like this. I'd you don't know Mahler? I have no. I, I always I would... forget the specs of my PC. When uh, did you build build yours? Two or three years ago? I'm guessing you have a 2080 Ti. I would no, guess. No, I don't have that. Um, then a 1080 Ti. I think it's a 1080 Ti. Yeah. Yeah, and I have a 1080 without a Ti. Like I can't tell you what my uh, CPU is. Okay, I have to. Check the the things. I always forget the the letters and the numbers and the brands. Cause you're a dumbo. I can tell you what armor to get in Dark Souls. That's oh, something, so right? It's way more important. Yeah. <clears throat> I can tell you what the character's name was in Man of Steel. Who? I was gonna say who crashed the thing. And I was like, I don't know that guy's name. <laughs> 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 General man. General man. General man. So That's by the way, the, the, man the premiere where, where Rags is like fuck that bitch for the for saying like laughing at the guy when he's like go to a baseball game. And I saw someone in the fucking chat say, Rags, just because someone saves your life doesn't mean you owe them a date or something. Like <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is that is a Jesus Christ. It's, a, it's funny oh, to me because I'm, I'm just like, okay, you don't have to treat them like ass either. Yeah. Fuck, fuck you. What does it cost you to go to a baseball game? Jeez. The, the idea that I, my life was uh, saved by somebody and they're like, do you want to go to something I pay for? Be like, I mean... You're kind of underselling fuck. it too. That's, that's it's not say. even that they saved your life. They did it basically knowing that they would die. Yeah. And, and they're paying. <laughs> I'd be like, I mean... I'll pay, you know? Like, it's it's chill. Mm. What if they turn out to be an amazing person? Oh, wait, that's right. They already are. <laughs> and that's the thing. You, you have... have... It's not like Rag said you have to have fucking sex with him. Just, hey, it would be nice to be like, I want to hey. go somewhere just to hang out. You totally Like, my you life. could decline him politely and it would be a step up. Yeah. Just be like, oh, I... I sir, I, I, sir, I, I, let go of me. I'm sir. Even, that's the thing. I'm trying to conceive of a, a scene where she's like... Oh, go to a baseball <laughs> game. I, 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 and I, I, would, I, my brain immediately goes to she's busy. She doesn't like baseball, because I can't conceive of being like I would not like to spend time with you. 
Like, oh. Mm. Okay. It's a, it's a weird thing, but, um, you know, whatever. Yeah, she doesn't have to. That was never <laughs> in question. I can still think of her as an ass. It's gonna be funny. The next calamity to hit Metropolis. She's trapped again. Mm. He's like, yeah, maybe I won't save you this time. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. By the way, I'll put uh, your PC list uh, in chat. Oh, there you go. That'll yeah. <laughs> tell you my specs. Uh, so what exactly are the run stipulations then? All bosses are regular clear, using club the whole game, only for first three bosses, etc. So from what I understand now is we're doing gargoyles without any leveling up at all, and only the club, right? I thought from what we just said earlier, you you have you can't do anything until you kill Capra, and then when oh, okay, you kill Capra, so we... you're allowed to level up only. Okay. okay. And once you kill gargoyles, you can do whatever you want, except you have to have the club. Well, okay. There you go. That, yeah, I think that's it. Mm -hmm. uh, can you let me clean rag that my friends and I are watching a lot of Rings Fellowship tomorrow, and I won't be able to go through it without thinking Gandalf is high as balls. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> <Keep that> movies. <laughs> okay, listen, this goes out to all my German homies in the EFAP community. You know what I'm talking about. We had that for years already. I think I, I talked about this or, uh, yeah, already. Yeah, I think you mentioned it. I, I had no idea. Yeah. The, just to clarify, maybe. Yeah, a lot of the weed. There you go. There was already one <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's like a fan dub, and it did basically the same years and years ago, like in the beginning of YouTube. It's like super old already, but it's it was very funny. It was pretty well made. I wonder if it still holds up if I watch it today, but man, that was the shits. It was really fucking funny. Who, who came up with these Dark Souls rules? I think this is pretty much the same rules we made up two or three years ago when we did a race to Capra. Yeah, and I th I think I was the one who was like, this will be really cringe, let's do it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and I yeah, almost certain the main thing was just like, the Capra's already a nightmare, and so adding this to it, like, oh. Yeah. But you know, myself, Metal, Fatia, we're all kind of experts. We're well known in the Dark Souls community, so... Thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fuck shit up. We're fucking legends. We're uh, paid analysts for the Dark Souls Four. <laughs> they're gonna. They're the. Uh... They're like those guys in the movies who do the consulting. Yeah, yeah, that's what you are. You're a consultant. Yeah. There you go. Dark I almost killed myself. That was funny. <laughs> the way the, that one guy is always falls down the stairs is always funny. As the president of the Dark Souls community, I can confirm. See, Kobe said it's, uh, he confirmed it. So there you go. It's official now. There you go. That's the president. Yeah. I got the old Katana. Put it down. No. <laughs> no. I'm Japanese. Hop on us. After sending a message, you guys focus on the one blessed pipe. Here's more dough. Never change my scrubs. Pipe. Rip <laughs> rush. Pipe. Got a favorite real life warship? Nope. I probably would if I got shown a bunch of them. <laughs> like, oh uh, yeah, I could pick a favorite. Yeah, I, I just have no familiarity with warships, I'm afraid. That's my bad. Mm -hmm. I feel bad for warships everywhere. I like the gun that does the war. That's a good yes, one. Yes, the gun warship. Da -da -da. I mean, I can only go from when I played World of Warships and I always liked the Cleveland. That was a cool ship. That's a person from a show, idiot. My Sorry. name is Cleveland Brown, and I am proud to be... Metal's just the Bismarck. <laughs> back in my hometown. Didn't the guy who voiced Cleveland quit after the whole white people can't voice black people thing? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I wonder if the replacement sounds like Cleveland or not. I know that uh, Carl's replacement in Simpsons doesn't sound like Are you like insinuating Carl. that they just hired someone for the race? Um... Explicitly, <laughs> like, that's exactly oh what they God. did. And the the oh my goodness. it's so funny because it's like, uh, because that newest episode of Simpsons that we checked out, it Carl sounds weird as fuck, and it's like, oh, because it's not <clears throat> Carl anymore. So strange, Carl. Well, thanks for streaming, Mubshly. Been having a rough day and a half. Always appreciate listening to you guys. Ah, no problem. I yeah, hope you're feeling a bit better now. Yeah, we just hanging. We'll probably be here for a decent chunk of time. I don't know. When are we stopping, Mel? 
Uh, yes. There you go. <laughs> um, would you rather have Ryan Johnson remake the Lord of the Rings or Zack Snyder remake the original Star Wars trilogy? It's the latter for me. <laughs> so, yeah, these are the products we end up with, right? If if Zack Snyder makes um, a Star Wars <laughs> OT, it's gonna be fucking filled with crazy action. Um, Luke is probably going to be a like a Punisher type. <laughs> um, Leia too, and then Han might be like this. I don't, know, I don't know. He's gonna fuck with them all in terms of like making them do things that they wouldn't do, but at the same time. Uh, it could be really entertaining to watch this kid remake the OT and fuck around. Meanwhile, <laughs> Ryan Johnson's gonna try and deconstruct Lord of the Rings. It's gonna be fucking painful. He's gonna be like, "What? Think about it. Was Sauron really the bad guy?" <laughs> <laughs> I will gladly sacrifice Star Wars. Please don't touch Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Lord of the Rings is mostly undestroyed, but I say that knowing that TV show is on its way, guys. Oh, man. I don't even know what to expect from that. Are we gonna watch that? Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. I couldn't watch The Witcher one, because I just, like, not that I wouldn't, like, I still am on board if Rags wanted to, but, like, I... Lord of the Rings, I'll, I'll actually understand at least yeah. from the movies, but Witcher, I'm like, what? So he's a guy, but he's a witch? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Plot hole. TV show's going to be disaster. <laughs> Oh, Hevel, I'm coming for you without any pants on. Oh, he's into it. He's he's into it. Mm -hmm. uh, the character oh, yeah. Pipe is called a pipe because that's the name of the function it performs in a computer terminal. Yes. Yeah, you guys are talking about nerdy things, okay? Yes. I usually talk about Chad things. Like Chad flames. Things. This is a Chad things only <laughs> zone. Oh my god. We only talk about Batwoman and Dark Souls. This is a Chad only yeah. zone. Might even say Hell Bat just Souls. one hit killed me easy. Who <laughs> was like killed stop you? bother uh Havel. Oh uh, yeah, he's yeah. <laughs> he was like stop bothering me. <laughs> I honestly I'm not even sure I'm gonna attack him until I get like a plus five. It's just it's it, you can do it. It's just I just realized it's, it's it's a pointless ring to get anyways because you have no pants on and only a club in your hand. Well, so you oh, don't need true. the extra space. I thought you meant after. Oh fuck! I thought you meant after um you kill the things. Hmm. I mean after you kill the things, you probably easily get a plus five weapon. So. Yeah, but you probably still don't need the extra stuff. Equip load. That's what I was looking for. Thanks, brain. Uh, are there any Chinese movies you really like? Uh, probably yes. I just probably uh, yeah. The categorization uh, would confuse me. I'd have to go yeah, and look I just at don't lists. Know that maybe they're Chinese. Parasite was Korean, right? <laughs> I'm like, uh, uh, <laughs> I'd have to Google it. I don't want to fuck up I'm and say. Pretty sure that was the Korean not... one. Uh, Chat, recommend well, old. Some Chinese oh. movies that are popular, and let's see if we've seen any of them. It was okay. Uh, Old Boy, that was probably Korean too. Um... Oh, I thought you were talking about a movie called Korean too. <laughs> Korean too. A sequel to Korean. What's the Korean too Chinese? <laughs> Apparently, uh, Hero Mulan. What about? Oh. What about? Oh, Hero might have been Chinese. That was okay. Uh, uh don't, don't. Kung Fu Hustle? Fresh Crouching Tiger, Hidden oh, Dragon? Uh, Transformers. For the, oh, yeah. For the five Eurotisms. Uh, wait, could you let me actually and Ruth go there and watch it? Wait, I already read that out earlier without money, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, EFET movies. Also, Brutal, you are a Venus Flism. Wow. That was, that was new. That's, that's racism, but yeah. Yeah, thanks for the, the last one. Very epic. Uh, made in China or said in China, both Ip Man. Oh, Ip Man was Chinese? Yeah, that was, I really oh, like Ip Man. Ip yeah, Man is Ip cool. Man was really good, yeah. I saw the uh, first one. I haven't seen the rest. I heard that uh, it was good. The second one is still okay. The third one I didn't like. And... Looks like John Wick. Oh, is, well, no, not really. Is there, well, isn't there like a fourth one that just came out? I haven't checked that one out yet. I think there is a fourth. Yeah. 
I really like the fight, uh, the fights uh, in those movies. Those were cool. When he fights against the the ten at once and just absolutely yeah. annihilates them, it's like, whoa, whoa. yeah, it's really satisfying. <laughs> well, take the money. My stream crashed. <laughs> no worries, like I appreciate. Oh. Like, Donnie Yen is great. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. pretty cool. I can't believe he uh, and Matt oh, what about Wilson. Ong Ong Bak? I really like the first Ong Bak. That's a cool fight movie too. I don't think I've seen that one. That's some cool fights. I don't even remember the story. I think I think something gets stolen from his village and he tries to get it back, and that's like your vehicle for all the fights. I think. Also, <laughs> what is your favorite wartime atrocity? <laughs> oh, there's too many to name. To uh, I mean, how do you rank something like that, really? Yeah, and, and genuinely, like, I don't know, the one that's most interesting or whatever, it's like, I'm not even sure. I don't even know. I've not thought about that, my favorite wartime atrocity. Hmm. It's just something you don't Life. necessarily think about, you know? Life action Transformers EFA movies? Oh, man. Well, I don't know. There's a good chance we'll do a Transformers arc. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a, this there's gotta be somebody out there who is willing to defend them, right? <clears throat> I mean, yeah. Somehow, I mean, I've never, I've always seen them as like stupid fun, I guess, with all the explosions. But then it's just it gets, they get like, it get really bad, and they get super long as well. I think the last one was like over two hours long as well. I don't even remember which one that was, but it They're felt like it, it, it ended Boy. after an hour and something. And it's like, oh wait, we're only halfway through. It's like, oh fuck. He was saying, please no. I want his humanity. Give me. Ong Bak is Thai, not Chinese. All right, okay. Still really, really like the movie. I have to rewatch it. I haven't watched it in forever. I really like fight movies with, with cool martial arts that's well choreographed. Like the raid. I really like that. Oh, I fucking love the raid. I haven't seen the second one in a bit. First raid is but it's top notch fight wise. I don't think I've ever seen like a cooler three-man fight, two against one. Let's recall. And so live fat rolls, I feel bad for him. <laughs> oh no. Uh... <laughs> if your favorite wartime atrocity is the Holocaust, then you're a ra racialist metal. Oh man. <laughs> uh... War is based, Sun Tzu. Yeah. What he said. Right from him. Oh, now we have his armor. We can impersonate Soleil. No one will know. Shlar. No one will know. Huh. Come on, Drugan. Uh, I guess I'm going this way now. What do I? Oh, yeah, I have the key to the depths. Depths. Expression is good red metal thoughts. I haven't seen it. I think you watched it with South Power when I had to work, right? Yeah, it was like two days ago. Um, was any good? Yeah, I, uh, we could probably check that out at some point. Mr. I like action. You're probably gonna like that one. Sweet. Extraction-y <clears throat> things happen in it. Ah. I know. Crazy. Yeah, I haven't watched it. I'm, I'm glad. Uh, I'll gladly check it out. This is what I see when I tuned in to Ball of Flavors. I hope he loses. It's like, I know. <laughs> I showed them something horrible, but they had to see it. It was the truth. Truthenheim. Also, Mola, what armor should I use uh, in Dark Souls? How embarrassing. Well, see, I have the perfect answer. It depends on what you're building. <laughs> oh, my, 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 my. I got wrecked by a hollow with a torch. But of course, the correct answer is Havel's. You fully upgrade it and get all the things, and then you can walk through enemies as they pitifully try to slap at you. That was my first playthrough of Dark Souls 1. I got the whole armor and just tanked everything. It was pretty fun. <laughs> I have to do that again. Just tankiness, because poise still exists in Dark Souls 1, so... Yeah. Wallow was the villain all along. So true. <gasps> Truthenheim. Um, I've joined the PC Master Race, just waiting on the parts to arrive. Excellent! Mm. Lucky you got any parts. 
Anyone else remember when Elijah Wood played Huck Finn in a movie with the same director as Van Helsing? No. <laughs> mm -hmm. I do not know of that. But it do sound amuse. Musenheimer. Ba, 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 ba. Ow! Not the face! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. ah. Ow! Jesus. I have not used this in so long that this is almost scary. Come on, buddy. Or like, Bobby. Am I able to handle this yet? It would have an X on it if I couldn't, right? It should be. Gotcha. <laughs> Now this sword has reach. Halo reach. Bum, 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 oh, bum. oh, that's no good. Come, no. come, come, come. Fuck you, rats. I'm going back home. No need to be rude. Come on. No need, but all of the speed. Put the speed down. It's illegal. Rex, favorite Civ 5 leader? I can't, I haven't played that game in ages, I can't remember. <laughs> Dang it. Wow, wow. Hey, Rex, if you move to Texas, piano is expensive. Maybe they meant plane right. is expensive, for the way that's spelled. I already know how to play piano. Well, I hate piano. <laughs> and I wouldn't buy a piano. I'd probably just buy an electric keyboard if I bought something like that. Come, 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 yum. Come, 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 yum, yum. Hey, Metal, come, come. the first time yum, I yum. tried doing it the way you said, I got killed. What's that about? Let me, let me see. Running, running. Keep running, running. Huh. Let's try it a second I time. don't have an answer for that. <laughs> uh... Will you guys try out Total Warhammer 3 coming out later this year and introducing scary demon factions? I will absolutely play that game. I love Total War Warhammer. I don't know anything about it, so that's a no for me. But I'll probably watch my I even later. streamed it on my Whoa. stream. And my CPU didn't like it a little bit. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god. Yeah, also the uh, the new version of Vermintide pretty much coming out. Uh, was it Dark Tide? Dark Tide. Yeah, I'm gonna check that out too. Hopefully it's good. Yeah, I hope so too. I really like Vermintide, so I hope this one's yeah. gonna be... The same-ish, but with more things. Why are you blocking with the katana? I, I, it's not to actually block the fire, it's just blocking in general, is, is what Mel mentioned. Yeah, that's what I did there. Yeah. He <clears throat> seems much more aggressive. Like, he didn't do the fire as much the last times this I've tried it. He always acts with me. I think he just doesn't like me. Maybe it's because I kill yeah. Solaire a lot. <laughs> it's like, I like that guy. He was nice to me. He fed me rats. <clears throat> Arnold it's should so be wonderful. Saruman in a lot of the Ring TV show. <laughs> when he does the chanting to the mountain, I think that would be perfect. <laughs> Wow, the shield actually does do better. Da, da, da. Oh. <laughs> that would tag me three times. Poor shield. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. What just happened? Also, also, Mola, when are you going to give Southbourne Evan a student talking to you about their tisms on Baby Driver? They think it's very well written. Oof. Well, I haven't seen Baby Driver in so long that I can't have that conversation until I rewatch it, but I remember that once it was over, me and Smiler were tearing into that movie's writing quite a bit. Um, very well directed. That's what I think. But maybe... Is it now? I was wrong. Perhaps it is very well written. Perhaps I was wrong. What's your opinion? It's supposed to be broken. Is as cheap as Quinny's. It's only a sequel if you interpret it to be. Um, it's complete in its incompleteness. Yeah, I agree. Uh, there are certain circumstances where that might make some sense, but uh, if you wanted to defend 
a mechanically busted product as it's an art piece or a social experiment. I'd be like, oh no. <laughs> it's just a prank. EFAP is a social experiment. Yeah. It's a dismal failure. <laughs> Favorite member of the Warriors 3, you have to pick one. The Warriors 3? No way I don't, they're referring to. I don't know what that means. I think they're referring to. Oh, he came down this time. Hi. Asshole. Hello. Onions to Whoa. kill me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted my souls back, you stupid piece of shit. You're not getting a thousand, them back. really not that much of a loss. Hey, hey, Dr. Dilla, how you doing? Oh, right, I can use all these souls I picked up earlier in the game. Oh, people are saying it's Thor's friends from, uh... They were in the first two. Well, they just die in the third one. Um, yeah. Mm. I don't know the... <laughs> The, the one with the mustache. There you go. He was my favorite. It's weird how they just like kill him off just like that. I'm like, oh. It seems a little bit malicious, doesn't it? Because you could have just not had them in the yeah. movie. Yeah, they just, they're in it for a coup for us just to fucking die. And they're like, oh, they're, oh, they're just dead. Yeah. Oh. Especially they're making another Thor now. It's just like, why? Oh. oh. Why do you gotta do that? Oh, I made it faster this time. Get fucked, Drugen. Stop it! Alright, Mr. Doug. What is even in this area? Coom. Wallala. 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 Jeez, Molly, you're such a mega massive. You should be a better content creator and upload more like that Moolah guy. You damn double vote in Doom Sausage. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. Moolah's just better at uploading than I am. Fuck you, uh, Moolah. Metal of Valheim, the best game you've played this year? I mean, it's the only new game i played this year, so... Lies. I guess? <laughs> so? Yeah? Why do you think it's the only new game you played this year? What else did I play? I'm gonna let your brain get to it. No. No? No. Alright. Tell me. People your stream will tell you. Tell me, stream. Dyson Sphere. Oh, yeah, that's new. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you play um, Hades as well? That was last year. Oh, okay. Also, high rags. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. I, I started like five games at once again because I'm stupid. <laughs> Don't worry. Nobody gives a shit. Uh, I mean, it's fine. No, yeah, Dyson Sphere is really good too. Um, that's super different as well. Kind of hard. I mean, it's probably safe to say this Valheim would be a fave. At least so far. Yeah, I mean, I played it four that times. Interesting. That's pretty fun. It's chill as fuck. Oh, come on, you dinguses. And it's choices. not very pricey as well. So, yeah, I would say it's a, it's a... I would recommend it as of now. I was holding even, block. Oh, I guess it was enough it's to kill anyone. Anyway. Early source. <clears throat> uh, while I like the Dark Knight, it's got way too many problems. Here's one. Gotham City is conveniently empty when it needs to be. I don't know what you're talking about. Dark Knight's amazing. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, I have no <clears throat> idea what you're talking about. All these immense problems with Dark Knight? What? <laughs> oh my goodness, what, a, what an incredibly hot take. I think, yeah, wow. you need to chill Nobody out there. Who would ever say such a thing? Dark so Knight controversial. It's a masterpiece. Seen Willy Wonka's? Wait, sorry. Seen Willy's Wonderland? It's Nick Cage plus Five Nights at Freddy's. That is something that is on our... Have you seen Willy, Wonka's Willy? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I didn't say that. Also, I didn't sit at the fucking bonfire. Are you kidding me? Also, I thought the dragon was gone for good once he leaves. I didn't realize he came back. When you Wait. poke him in his tail enough, then he leaves for good. Well, oh, come on. Uh, 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 but yeah, we are, we are interested in uh, in going for um, for for that movie. It sounds like a fun one. Can we look forward to an end yeah. game, an unbridled something? Um, I don't think so at this point. I don't know. I've got too many other things to do, but end game at this point it would be safe to say it could probably in itself quite the rage, to be honest with you. Mm. To be perfectly honest. <clears throat> Maybe I'll give that a look someday. I don't Whoa. know. 
Why the triple? I just need to rewatch. I haven't seen Endgame since this came out. <laughs> Except with Joker. Joker's good though. <laughs> Joker's I good. Need... Isn't it? Yeah. I need more time and more days and you and you know the deal. You know what? I fuck fuck you, Dragon. You, you mean? I don't like your opinions. Whoa. I'm. God. I'm starting to hate the club. It's so fucking slow. I know that's that was the point. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Well, what would it be to complete the whole game with the club? It's like, oh. Like I don't mind it up until like gargoyles. It's fine, and now just in every every new area I go to, everything attacks you faster. It's like no. It hits pretty hard though. Yeah. Uh, Matter if you watched One Division? No. No. Just stop f uh, sleeping fixed. I wish I could. It would give me so much time. I would be a okay with that. Uh, that is not where I wanted to go. <clears throat> Mola, come on. Hail, hail, hail rags. Hail, hail. Mm. Yeah. Doesn't, I always fuck I think. this up. Really? Twice? Can you be talking about a club sandwich? I could try. Hey, don't shy away from a good challenge. Ducks of three with a club ain't bad. Don't know if it's faster, but it feels like it is. I couldn't see that being faster. Yeah, it's probably faster. Eh. Like the one-handed and two-handed animation is like pretty much the same speed as well. I wouldn't mind if the animation for the one hand would be a little bit faster. I would totally use that instead. This fucking rat is harder than Capra. <laughs> damage is pretty good on a club though still, so I'm, I'm cool with the damage. Uh he talks of a bigot sandwich. Hey Rags, since you're possibly starting up video game reviews again, can I recommend one? Wizards of Legends? I love it. Got Steam. Wizards of Legends? Very generic name. <laughs> I think I have that game. That sounds familiar. Wizards of <laughs> Randall Wizards of the West. Oh, Wizard of Legends? Wizard of Legend. Okay. Let me take a look. Hmm. Um, it's rated pretty high. Was well, that a rogue like? Really reminds me of Heroes of Hammerwatch. Hmm. Which is a game I would definitely recommend. Uh, I have that game. I played that. It was fun. Yeah, it's good. Um, let me check my Steam Wizards of Legends because I'm pretty sure I have that game. Uh, I can put it on my wish list. So I will be oh, able yeah, to access question? it later. Uh, only played 25 minutes? Did I? I don't remember that game at all. <laughs> More, I'm a Dark Souls no-hit runner. And beating this challenge took way too long. Lol, Capper is easily one of the most poorly designed bosses in Souls. <laughs> <laughs> I've always felt it's more his boss room than him. Yeah. Um, because you fight them down in uh, Lost Islith and they're much... Oh, there's like five of them. <laughs> yeah, they're very um, thoroughly telegraphed. And then you combine it with the dogs and it creates like, oh. Yeah, I don't know why they put the dogs in there. It's, I, it's a weird decision that I do not understand at all. Also, that's proof right there. I did it in first try. I'm better than a DS no-hit runner. This is the reason why everyone knows my name in the Dark Souls community. Okay? <laughs> I'm a legend at this game. And I will say that random hollows, they are much more difficult. And you, you, to no-hit these guys, that's where the true skill comes in. Skill and Heim. It's a roguelike, so you know, soon must play this. Looks neato. Yeah, I think I only played, like, the intro level. And then I forgot about it, I think. I just now got reminded of it from the... Super chat, I guess. Uh, has Rex played any of the Stalker games? I've played... Uh, let me look which one it is that I've played. Let's see if it's Call of Pripyat is the one I've played. I've played mm. it for about an hour and a half. have not enjoyed it so far. Mm. <clears throat> um, but I haven't played it with mods or anything like that. Uh, just the base game so uh maybe mods make it a whole lot better or something but did not have fun with it at all 
Maybe I'll go back and give it a shot. Uh, so I started listening to EFAP the same day you uploaded TFA Part 3, and I'm only <coughs> up to 53. I'm very slowly getting there, but it's a great listen for work. Yay. I'm glad uh, that you have stuff to enjoy in your work day. Mm -mm. That'll do now when BVS EFAP was released. No idea. No, same on my end, I have no idea. Because copyright no. is the big question. Um, but I'm glad <clears> the Man of Steel one is available still. That's good. <laughs> You guys can enjoy yeah. our perspective on it. Our very thorough perspective. We have a whole discussion at the end of it. And it's funny because um, it's already changed now as we've gone on. I recommend the Anomaly mod for Stalker if you want something that plays a bit more modern. Another Stalker is very old. Yeah, it's pretty pretty clunky. Yeah, it, but... it's very clunky. <clears throat> um, so, I mean, we'll see. Maybe it's... Uh... Maybe it's good once I mod the shit out of it, but I can probably look up some good mod lists to use. Yeah, probably. Yo, yo. Was that a... That's a pyromancy guy, right? <clears throat> Talk that's to funny. me, bitch. Who's the pyromancy guy? Uh, when you go down to the depths. Or... That's sorcery one, guy. The one that the, the pyromancy the, guy the... is uh, next to Quaylog. Near Quaylog, sorry. Not but he has a pyro... Wait, there's a pyromancy flame in his hand. Who are we talking about? The one of the barrels. Oh, sorry, that's that. I was thinking of someone else. Uh, the um, yeah, you're right. That is a pyromancy guy. Um, okay. The one I was thinking about was the one you unlock with the resident key. Nah. Uh, Near uh, Capra. That's a sorcerer guy. Or well, the sorcerer guy. I can't quite remember all of the. Options. Oh shit! Why did I go back in the water? Ah. But um, yeah, the person outside of Quelag's lair, uh, who's on the way to Quaylux Lair, rather. Um, that's another one. It's like a girl, right? Or one of his sisters, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, no. I'll baboozle it myself, I think. I like the stab move. It's cool. Put the steps up. Jesus, this dog really wants to kill me. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Yeah, it's, um... Oh, fuck. Why did I do that? It was so fucking stupid. From my last stupid chat, I find it interesting that someone's like... Someone would like enjoy the shit out of the Moolah Moolah stuff, and like they haven't started it yet, and they only find out I'm doing it because they don't quite listen to the end of videos or something. Or well, they just never watched it. and They're like, holy shit, two and a half <laughs> years of videos. Well, <laughs> so why a club? Oh, that's just the random rules we put on ourselves. That's almost the reason why the club. It's like yeah, yeah why yeah, why? why indeed. <laughs> I mean, I could change it up now. It's not the race right now. And I beat all the bosses that we want to kill with only the club, so, yeah. I wonder if Tia will be ready for this. <laughs> I expect him to be either more ready or less ready. I don't expect him to be as ready. Mm. Uh, hey, Rags, I read a book where the prophecy was made up by one of the characters in order to draw out the enemy so that they can be more predictable. Wait, start. say that again? So I guess the scenario they're talking about is like a character makes a prophecy, but it's not like a real one, and it draws people out because of its existence. But uh, I'm assuming, right. I think you've already said that that's, that's not at all the thing you have a problem with. Do yeah, it's made up. On. That's different. That's yeah. just a lie. Yeah, good old fashioned. Finally got yes. my first self-built PC up and running, got a Ryzen 7 Fire 5800 with my slaughter overtime bucks. Uh, nice. Thanks, Rags, for pushing PC. Hell yeah. No, you are very welcome. Do you struggle with Ornstein and Fat? I probably will be because I haven't fought them in years. <laughs> Did you say Ornstein and Fat? That's, yeah, that's <laughs> the chance. <laughs> can you beat Dark Souls unarmed? I probably can, but I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Play with your feet? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> also, I'm gonna go for a Lou. I'll be right back. Oh no, four. Go for a Lou? Oh. Go for a poo? That must have been what you, know you mean. mean? Go for a poo? Go to the loo for a poo? Oh, yeah. Uh, completely agree. The room plus the dogs is the embodiment of cancer. Yeah, they knew what they were doing when they made that room. They knew. The eternal quest for developers to come up with non infuriating dog enemies to fight. <laughs> Problem software seems to see it as an excuse. Like, whenever they have an opportunity to put the dog in there, they're like, haha, 
We can piss you off. It's like, yeah, maybe don't though. I don't know. I'm, I, I'm against that. I'm an anti that. Uh, if you ever have the time, watch Happy Hobbs Soulsborne No Hit Run Marathon. It is butt clenching and amazing to watch. Uh, I was uh, partially around that when uh, when I was streaming on Twitch, and uh, I can't remember when he did it, but I was I think I was still on Twitch when I heard he'd finally done the full run. I used to watch him like do them. all of the games back to back to back without taking any hits. This is a man who committed to the Soulsborne from software stuff like his life. He was constantly doing it, and it was. It, like Poor fucking, guy. it was insane. Yeah, uh, but he did it. Cause like fuck me, I'm not gonna do it even like I don't like to do it for just one boss. Oh, so wow, that's just like, oh disgusting gameplay usually. Wait up, Mr. Badman, I need humanity. There we go. I need more estos. Oh, bad again. There we go. Um, but yeah, no hit runs are very much butt clenchy because it's just, you know, no. Well, I don't think they use glitches um, at all, and they're just trying to beat the game, but without ever getting hit, which is stressful as hell in Dark Souls because you get hit a lot. Something it's known for. To a degree. Uh, top five of 2020, The Gentleman, The Hunt, Fat Man, Underwater, and Tenet. It clips there at the end, but I'd love to see your thoughts on all of them. Um, oh, it dips there at the end, sorry. So, The Gentleman, I've heard of that one, not seen it. The Hunt, I'm assuming that's a new film in 2020, not seen. Fat Man, that sounds familiar too. Then they got Underwater. Yeah, in there, oh, is that seen. the Mel Gibson one where he's Santa? Oh yeah, we need to see that, right. Fuck, there's so many movies we got to see. Um... And then Tenet, yeah, I, I need to see that as well. Oh. Have you guys heard about the six days in Fallujah being renounced? And if so, are you excited for it? Renounced? Oh, renounced, sorry, not renounced. I don't no. know what that is. I don't know what that is. Fallujah, yeah. I'm sorry, I have no context for that one. I have a theory. Whenever Rags has a spicy hot take, his mind has been taken over by his dark side, Sags. Mola, we need you to do an exorcist fast. Exorcism, I think you mean. And, uh... No. It, it's, it's, it sounds like it's just... a part of the Rago. And you, you gotta keep it in there. Even if it is a possessive demon Hello. thing. Sags isn't a great demon name, to be honest. Sags? Yeah, it's not that great. What about sand? No, not sand. You ruined it. Sorry. No, no, So, no. what about sand? <laughs> More, have you played Sekiro or Sekiro Di Shadows Die Twice? The combat is easily my favorite out of all Souls games. Oh, what do you think about that, Mel? It's pretty fun. Uh, it's very different to the Dark Souls one, so I find it hard to compare them. Mm. I would say it's pretty, I guess it's subjective. Uh, maybe. I don't know. They both function in what they do. It's much more fast-paced than Sekiro, and it's even more of a rhythm thing. I see. And you really don't want to play it like Dark Souls, because <laughs> that's what I tried in the beginning, just trying to dodge, but ugh, bad time. Interesting. Yeah. Um, I've not played it. I do kind of wanna. I don't know when I will. <laughs> yeah. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty darn good. Had some really cool boss fights. Oh, they both function excellent critique metal. Shut up! Damn, I'll get called out. <gasps> Damn, I'll screaming. I'm gonna froom the deems if you don't stop. Mm. No, put um. it down. Morning, Ephapians. Just caught the Wonder Woman episodes. I've always preferred how her personality from the animated films, like a crossbreed of Ronda Rousey and Anna Robinson from Weakest Link. Um, <clears throat> what do you guys think? How about who? Wonder Woman, I guess. Um, I don't really have any terrible movies on Wonder Woman. No, like the character beyond just the movies. Like, yeah, the... oh, uh, yeah, beyond the movies, I don't know anything <clears throat> about her. Always had a very limited exposure. But, um, I mean, I'd be cool with it being, you know, some kind of cross of those two mentioned. I know Anne Robinson. 
I is know a Ronda Rousey. Bit of a twat <laughs> though. Uh. Oh cock. Oh, that's just insta death. Oh fuck off. Uh, what's the difference between a, a whataboutism and an actual example? I you can't know. use if if your attempt that whataboutism is generally used when you try to use it in like it's not a flaw here because it's also used here. Yeah, um, because using actual example is saying, oh, also it's done in this thing and it's also bad in that thing. Or it's done in this thing and it's also good in this thing. Like it, it has to apply to both equally. I feel like this. I feel like there's got to be some other question being asked because, like, yeah, it's just if, ever, if the context of it's okay because it's in another thing versus it's also in this other thing. Um, but then of course, if they said it's also in this other thing and you like that thing, then now we've moved into a different discussion of whether or not. The person is hypocritical, I guess, which mm. what you end up having to do is being like, okay, so that's not nothing to do with what I've, we're currently discussing. But if you want to have that discussion, I guess we could, once we're done with this one. But, um, yeah, I, I mean, a lot of the time it can be done out of just confusion and desperation. They're like, but wait, you like thingy, though. So I don't, like, they're, they're in, a, in a sense, possibly appealing to the fact that they don't believe you hold to this standard. And so why is it being applied here? Um, but I suppose in the grander scheme, if you both agreed that that thing is a problem, whether or not mm. either of you believe in it, then... Uh, I mean, also, only if you, if you like the one thing where it's in, doesn't mean you like that one particular thing you just talked about in the thing you liked. Yeah, a lot of the time I'm like, I don't even remember if it's in the thing or not, and if it is, yeah, it probably could be a thing I don't like, and also, it might not... It might be couched in other things, or it's uh, not as bad because it's uh, not as many bad things. You know, there's all kinds of stuff going on when you do that. Yeah. It's a little complicated. Context is king. Who's queen? Uh, sh uh sh Trump. She is the equalizer. Yeah, there you go. Whoa. Whoa. That did a lot of damage suddenly. Um, can you... Critical hits are a thing, right? Uh, what? Like, I, I think I just critical hit him, and I've never really acknowledged that in this game. Is it a thing? Pretty sure it's a thing. Hmm. <laughs> neither thing. confirm nor deny. <laughs> Chat, what just happened? Was that a critical hit? <laughs> Bleed. Oh, it was bleed. Okay. Oh, yeah, which you get. To, yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, critical hits works on weak spots, like hitting someone in the head with an arrow. Ah, uh, okay. There you go. Oh, that. Okay. I follow. Okay, so I. You really don't want to get grabbed by the. by the slimy boys when they fall off the ceiling, because that's just an insta death. Oh, I thought you were going to say because it takes fucking ages to watch the cutscene. <laughs> well, that too. Uh, but yeah, I just got- I got instantly killed. Uh... I am so sorry. <clears throat> Hello, Andre. How are you doing, mate? Uh, Backstabs and reposts are critical hits. You can get counter hits on enemies when they have instability frames, like when you break out, etc. Yeah, I, I realized that earlier when you kick their shields away or just kick them in general and they're staggered a little bit. They... Take a bit more damage. One, one, <sighs> one two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that's how many shards you need, right? Uh, could be. Headshot hits to the head generally do more damage to humanoids, uh, humanoid enemies as well, which is what I meant. Yeah. Fair enough. God you damn it. Agreed. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it, concern it. Alright, well, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go and murder something. What do I want to murder? Uh, I'm currently on my way to Gaping Dragon. I think I'll murder gargoyles. Let's do it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> fucking club sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Get used to it, buddy. <laughs> this is so slow. 
Uh, I've always had issues with Sekiro being compared to Souls-like <laughs> games. It plays more like Tenchu games. At least that's how I felt about it. Well, I've not played Tenchu games, but uh, that sounds like it could be fair. Uh, if Mala's link bleed damage, we're going to use no. Oh, it's currently just uh, fucking about with the Uchigatana, I think. Yes, I am. I this is not the real race right now. Just oh to, god, no. Just in case. Uh, we I will just, have cheated uh... significantly if this is the real <laughs> <Yeah>. race. <laughs> I have two humanities. Hmm. Let's see if we can find my way through this. In one go. Whoa! <clears throat> Hello. Oh no. Too many bad guys at once. Too many bad wow. guys? Could have thought about that. Uh, yeah, maybe you should, but you when, didn't. When will you return to PSA Sitch Undaily? I have no uh, earthly idea. I might have a Martian idea. Or a Venai idea. But no earthly mm. one. And then it just says no J. I mean, Jay, Jay's not gonna want to be on a Dark Souls E Fab gaming, I don't think. Jay, 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 Jay likes Dishonored. His first time, just throw him to the wolves. <laughs> oh, I'd love to watch Jay stream Dark Souls. That'd be funny as hell. It's funny to watch anybody play it for the first time because everything's oh, so yeah, it's great. unusual. Oof. Reminder uh, for you boys to watch the Comedy Creation Adventure Team for E Fab movies. Maybe have logic to watch it with you. I mean, yeah, I think that would make sense. Oh, oh, Jesus. <sighs> she so is DFAP. I discovered Mola, D Day Cobra, Nerdrotic, Heels, Doomcock, Critical Drinker, Will Class Bullshitters, Just Some Guy, etc. in 2020. But Mola are the true intellectual of the fandom menace IMO. Should have spelt it into We are a very. We are a very big brain. Oh, yes. Cosmic brain. <laughs> What the hell in the middle? Are you okay? <laughs> he was like, go back to the bonfire and just fucking <laughs> annihilated me with his torch. Jesus Christ, oh, one dude. Of the, like, one of the Randys, or...? Yeah, the, the one bonfire when you go down to... Uh, oh, the I know the dragon. guy, yeah. I know the guy. I just went out, he was like... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, those ones... That's, that's what Bloodborne went into overdrive with, those types of yeah. moves. Suddenly you're dead, and you're like, oh, I didn't want to be, though. Long-brained, you might say. How did you do the game was? How ripped you go, you do? That's a good, yeah, yeah. People on EFAB were very long-brained. Long-brained. <coughs> no, evil D-man. Oh, Jesus Christ. Really should be going slower here. I keep thinking that everything's going to stagger. Um... Mole, oh wait, uh, it's not because Kyle is a complex character, it's because Rian thinks he's a complex auteur. I'm sure he does. Complexity in the art form. Very much something we oh. all want. Look out for the sleeves. So oh, big rat. Provided. My god, if he gets a trilogy, it's gonna be so funny. <laughs> Rian Johnson, as they call him. It'll say so much about Disney if, of all the people they give it to, it's this guy who has caused all of this, like, all of these issues for Star Wars, and they're just like, yeah, just fuck it. He gets to have his trilogy. But I mean, we'll watch it, right, Ryan? We're gonna check it out. It's gonna be great. Mm. See what Ryan has to say about old Star War. Hey, Slime, get out of my way. Aw, oh, man. That slime is not very nice. <clears throat> yeah, the slimes can be like butts, you know. Eric it's butts. blocking the the staircase. Go he away. Wants attention. <laughs> hey. Nobody talks yeah, to me. Whoever dickle. Dick splat. <laughs> Whoa. I know. Sorry about that. Goodbye, Messer Smell Commander Mupshti and Ragu. Hello. You're uh, gonna go rewatch all the Rings Two Towers. Have fun. Keep training on the farm. <laughs> I will. We will. <laughs> Catch you later. <clears throat> Where did you play Dark Souls? Oh no, in your farm. Room? How, why did what? Why did the red poison me with one hit? Huh? The other ones didn't Whoa. do that. I'm. What is he doing? Uh, whatever. <clears throat> yeah. What a dick splash. Now, buddy. 
Oh, Rex, we all know Kathy Kennedy is an absolute schmuck. Star Wars dead once she had her mitts on it. Mm. Well, <clears throat> um, it's useful that she's hiring like, people to keep making I'll, it worse, too. Yeah, that's the thing. She, she's, like, bad. She's horrific, sure. And it's also all of the other people, too. Like, I know saying this makes me... I got it's it shouldn't be it shouldn't it, like saying that John Favreau was putting Star Wars even further down the toilet should not be a very contentious thing to say even though it's true because but John is. Favreau is just is shit and his writing for the Mandalorian is some of the most atrocious writing for anything I've ever seen ever but people just like they love it for some reason yeah, he's getting he's getting crazy levels of passes as a writer. <clears throat> so many people are just what? adoring him. I never knew that could be. Wow. <laughs> what? So gaping dragon for the first time I just ran through without killing anything. That one wizard with the rats upstairs. He's shooting into the boss arena. Wait, you you didn't know that the dude shoots at you from upstairs? I, I, I've always killed him, like, every single oh, time, because right, right. I just ran through. I mean, yeah. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> also, don't get poisoned with th this Don't get poisoned. rule set. Yeah, that's going to be <laughs> something you want to avoid. Um, also, uh, two, my Uchi Katata three... is, like, plus two, I think, and I put gold yeah. pine resin on it. Fucking annihilated gargoyles, like... Oh, that felt good even, even though it was so easy. He buffs the boss too? Oh wow, really? Jesus. You actually died, that's amazing. What do you mean actually? I was poisoned and <laughs> I got sniped from above. I, I'm not surprised at all. Well, ever, <clears throat> if you ever die on Dark Souls, you're fucked up, okay? And now <laughs> you, you're the worst okay. person, okay? <clears throat> How it works, you know this. Melody step for you hit the thing. No, that's stupid. I hate it. Molar, I must know where is gaming 15 through 20. I'm a stupid boy and I don't know if I have to wait or if I can't find them somewhere. Oh, they're coming. The problem is like I try and not to release more than like one thing per two days on the Moolah channel because I don't want to just shove loads of things out. Um, and we had a whole bunch to get out recently, so they're on the mm. way. As this one will be unlisted for a while, I imagine. So will the actual race. The Bloodborne actual race isn't up yet. It's up on Mel's channel though. <laughs> Yeah. Just get there. Uh, oh wait, I need to go up again? Wait. Hmm? Uh, I guess I have to kill him once. Because I don't think I have to... I, when I have this shortcut, you don't need to kill him every time. Eh, <sighs> annoying. I'm gonna buy some homewood bones. I'm a good guy, and I like to stimulate the economy, and then murder <clears throat> the people selling things to me. That, that, the Bible versus Rags reads out are always just a short sentence that makes no sense out of context because he's too lazy to actually search for a good quote, and he just uses a randomizer. What? What an insanely eh? fucking stupid thing to say. What? What are they talking about when you read quotes? Oh, the Bible I, thing. Yeah, the Bible. Bible verse of the day. It's just, it's a verse of the day. I literally use a <laughs> site called verseoftheday.com. That's what I it's, thought you were doing, It's just a yeah. verse every day, a single verse. Like, what What more do you fucking want? If, they, go join a, go join a fucking Sunday school class or a Bible <clears throat> study class, you nitwit. <laughs> actually, too lazy to actually search for a good quote. I'd use a ver you'd take it up with verse of the day dot fucking com, which is the first <laughs> result that comes by when you say Bible verse of the day when you Google that. Like it has never been anything more than just a random Bible verse of the day. It's like, oh Rags is too lazy to actually search for a good quote and just uses a randomizer. What a fucking idiot. You should know better, Rags, than to trust Jesus quote Christ. of the day dot com. <laughs> how about how about how about you go somewhere else if you want in like what what do you even want? <laughs> like what do you, what do you want? He's this fucking dipshit sometimes. What do, what is it that you want? Do you, do you want a, like a like a theologian 
to talk about a whole chapter of the Bible randomly on some podcast. Like, there are people devoting entire channels to who have, who have channels devoted to that. They have, you know, they have these things called churches, and you can go to them all the time. You could buy Bibles. You could, you could look, like, you download a PDF of all kinds of different Bibles and read those. <laughs> what do you want? It's just a random Bible verse of the day. Fuck. You can't do anything without someone bitching about it. Uh, Rags, people are bitching about you in chat about how angry you are. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking used to it. Fuck! Right. These stupid drops! God damn it! It's clearly randomly done. picked by an AI. I don't give a shit. I don't, I don't care if Jesus picks the random <laughs> verse of the day or the verse of the day. I don't care. It's just it's just verseoftheday.com is just the one I just use because it's the first thing that pops up and I just press V and my search results and it pops up instantly. Yes, it does. There's not a lot not a lot of um not a lot of a competition for V in the search results on my Google history. These churches sound fun, where can I find one? They're not fun, they're the opposite of fun. <laughs> Let me fucking tell you, as someone who went to church once a week, religiously, once a week, even through college, when I was unsupervised, I still went to church on, uh, every week. It is insane, it is very boring. I never went because they were exciting. I eventually stopped going when I realized it was all horseshit. However, it it went from just oh my parents are making me do it, so it just a, just a like a thing that I would do all the time, just a a weekend ritual, to a well they say that if I don't go this week I'm going to hell, so I'd better go. It's a, quite a journey. Then I stopped going. The journey ended, and another began. The journey ended. Uh, hey Ragu, I know you don't like anime, but there's one thing about it that bugs me to no end that I don't see anyone else talking about, and it's the... That, and that's it. There's nothing else. Uh, okay. I think they're trolling. How could you? Oh my god. <clears throat> uh, raised Catholic? Fact. Yes, I was. I was raised Catholic, yeah. Fun fact, humans are not actually hairless. In fact, we have the same amount of hair as a chimpanzee. I don't, I, uh, I don't okay. think they mean we literally have um... hair when they say hairless. <laughs> if they say hairless, that is. I'm looking at a chimpanzee, and like, if we want to talk about sheer amount of follicles, I think I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. But they are clearly the hairier. I of feel the like two. they probably have more as well <laughs> follicles. I mean, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I I would believe that too. Cause here, let me get you a picture of a chimp, just to jog everyone's memory on what a chimpanzee looks like. They be right, here. Right? <laughs> oh, the damage is so bad. <laughs> I'm gonna get you a picture of a chimpanzee. Uh, Wait, you trying to kill the for... aping dragon without having upgraded anything? Oh, I, I leveled up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but still, 60 damage per hit. Not fantastic. Yeah, yeah I don't bit, know about that. Health, yeah, I don't believe you. Almost tread. Because I'm looking at a chimpanzee, they seem they seem very oh. hairy. They are covered in hair, except for their face, basically. Use it to resin now. That's actually not a terrible idea. It just uh, seems very. If I speaking of chimp, oh hey, Fringy, what's up? We're talking about hey, Fringy. Hey, Fringy, which which has more hair, a human being or a chimpanzee? Um, do we mean more individual strands of hair, or like a thicker volume of hair? You know what I mean. I know what you mean, but the person I got who... to imagine that if we are talking about strands of hair, we probably have more. Oh, really? You think we have more? Well, we're bigger. We have a larger surface area. We've oh, got yeah, I guess if... us. But if yeah, we're talking about we're... the volume of hair, like thickness per square um... or something, then it would be a chimp, I would imagine. Yeah, because I'm, I'm look. I'm I I like to think I've seen a lot of people. Um. Mm -hmm. I, I googled some pictures of chimpanzees, and I would say they, they're probably hairier. Um, I think it's easier to assume that they're hairier, but there's a lot of hair that we have that is, like, imperceivable, so... You know what I, I mean? almost say it's that. Like... I almost say it would be like, that doesn't count. Can I, can I get a clip um, of the death, I mean, Thank you. I mean, 
It does though, right? Because it's hair. I get what you mean. Like, I get in the sense of when you look at a chimp, it's like, yeah, that's covered in hair. But it's humans clearly have hair. Yes. Like, we have a lot like of hair. Like, a tribble is more hairy than an elephant, right? Um, I guess, I guess <laughs> the problem is, like, what do, what do we, what do we mean when we say hairy? Like, like I, I said, know. individual gonna have strands to... of hair or thickness of the hair? We're gonna have to, um, <clears throat> we, we get, we're gonna have to go to whoever made the statement and oh, uh... maybe get more, uh, yeah, get more clarification on what they mean. It was, uh, it was, it was Grith Phoenix Saurus Rex. Uh, he's a, he's a Mima. Um. Yeah, what do you mean when you say hairless and that'll end this discussion, I imagine? Possibly. Yeah. Yeah, chimps are super interesting <laughs> animals. Like, uh, I remember, I think this was like a month ago, I just was binging on, like, finding information about chimp intelligence. Like, they're pretty smart. Neat. Um, You're pretty smart. Ooh. Like, um, I think one of the big ones is the, it's the mirror test, where you put a mirror in front of an animal to see how self-aware it is. And, um, chimpanzees, dolphins, and magpies, interestingly, all seem to pass that test. They magpies are smart. Them. A lot of birds are really smart. Um, yeah, which is funny when we say bird brain, but no, birds are actually, yeah, pretty sm Magpies in particular seem to be quite smart because they're able to recognize themselves. Damn, in the and okay. elephants as well. The animal insult thing, there's lots of inaccurate ones. Like, isn't yeah, like, like a, a pig? Really we have wise as an owl, Pigs but are owls are very smart. smart. Yeah. And, and pigs um, can't sweat, or pigs don't do, they don't sweat like we do, or something, fuck, I don't know, I remember reading someone's I don't think anyone really sweats like humans do, we kind of well, have a... I guess the funny thing is that, um, a lot of the animals that we use as insults are, like, the most intelligent. Dogs are intelligent compared to, like, a lot of other animals. <clears throat> Cats are really intelligent, um, and pigs are intelligent, but there are a lot of intelligent birds, um... So, like, it's all the animals that we interact with regularly. Um, and then meanwhile, you know, I think we've talked about this before. Cheetahs aren't that, aren't that cool. They run really fast, but they're not super strong. But everybody thinks, like, cheetahs are these cool apex predators, and they're not. So um, it looks like sweating... Pigs don't really sweat, according to McGill mm, uh, okay. University. Um, uh, not much, anyway, they say. But it oh, says dog. horses, monkeys, apes, and hippos sweat. Uh, oh. Dogs and cats sweat a little through their paws, but I think they pant to cool off. Uh, they pant a lot. Sweating um, is a really good mechanism for cooling off, though. Like, goddamn. <laughs> horse, horse sweat contains a natural detergent called latherin, which can function like soap. So, yeah, there you go. Um... Hippo sweat is actually colored pinkish red due to the antibacterial pigments they secrete. Neato. So, yeah. Um, uh, we see have lizards. They, they will stand still um, with their said mouths. Cheetahs are apex predators. You're wrong. Cheetahs will be killed by lions. So, categorically, yeah, will, they're not. Yeah, lions lion are apex will, predators. Well, yeah, a lion will fuck up a cheetah. And just to clarify, because. They could be fishing around. Like, we didn't we go over this because of fucking Wonder Woman? Like, um, yeah, there's no yeah. place in the world where leopards, sorry, cheetahs are at the, the, the top of the food chain. No, I mean, like, resin. a crocodile <laughs> is an apex predator because, like, nothing can kill it. At least not naturally. Like, even if even if you have a gun, you're gonna have some trouble with, like, a saltwater crocodile. Well, I, I thought the qualification for apex predator was top of the food chain in the area. Yeah. Uh, that is the qual- yeah, so top of the fruit. So, yeah. interesting example, a quoll, a little old tiger quoll, is an apex predator in Australia. What's because a quoll? There is no so a qu <laughs> Let me get you a picture of a quoll. I just they picture a little ball animal. of fluff or something. It sounds like a little ball. Fluffy. It is a ball. Yeah, they, these are these are some cool looking animals. Quolls, tiger quolls. Tiger not quolls? A lot of them. Well, this is what it's- this is a tiger quoll. This is an apex predator. I can believe it. It's got. It looks minkish. Looks yeah, like but a... I guess it's worth remembering that like a tiger quoll is no bigger than a ruler. Like dash. it's like 30, 30 centimeters. <laughs> it's it's uh it's not. So a, bigger than uh... the ruler, so under a foot. Yeah, well, about a foot. Long. Or like a yeah. yardstick. It's it's not big is the important yeah. thing. But the, but the thing is, the reason why it's an apex predator is because we kind of killed a lot of the other ones. <laughs> like. 
Oh. Uh, Tasmanian tiger is was an apex predator, but it got killed off. So now the tiger quoll <laughs> is the biggest one. You know, barring the humans, dingoes apex and stuff. predators, you damn skippy. Oh, yeah, we we are like the apex predator. Yeah, that's why they do that thing in some media where they're like, "I'm gonna hunt the most dangerous game, man." Human, yeah, man. You know, they yeah. should make a story called "The Most Dangerous Game," where someone hunts men. Well, I mean, on an island, maybe. Simpsons did that, like as a just a eight minute like <laughs> three well, hour horror thing. They were making fun of what. Well, Rags the thing is that I'm doing it. here, yeah, the the thing I'm doing here is I'm actually, like, there. It's a story, the most dangerous game. It's a short story that it's, they've been, movies and stuff have been based off of where a guy, he um, he has someone, make a like a like a fake lighthouse or something. So that ships crash on this island, and he lives there, and he hunts the people who crash on the island, because yeah, he got bored of killing point. animals. Yeah. Marsupial the most dangerous game. Hmm. Somebody's saying that marsupials are proof that Australia is God's recycling bin. Marsupials are cool. Fuck. What's wrong? Yeah. What's wrong with the mars marsupial? Marsupials like I would get really it if you said like a platypus, where he just took all these different components he had lying around and put them together. But just marsupial, like that's. You know. I don't see like, why we yeah, Why we gotta show the marsupials? What the fuck? Kangaroos are cool. Koalas are cool. Oh, we can't go for the head yeah. when it's in the wall. And uh, wallabies. Cool. Wallabies are nifty. Wallabies. They're um. And what? What's uh? Ah, oh, damn! I forget it. They're in Western Australia. They live on this uh <laughs> this island. What are they called? Ah, oh, damn it! Eggs? Bil no, bilbies. No, that's something else. Hold on. It's so made up. I think that. MST3K <laughs> riffed on a bad Most Dangerous Game movie. It's I've been watching a, a lot of MST3K game. lately. It's so good. Ah, uh, uh, what are they called? God damn it. No, not wombats. <laughs> wombats are everywhere. I'm talking about they live on this tiny little island off the coast of Perth. Wombats are like wet bread. Okay, rot nest island. <laughs> that's what it's called. Rot nest island. Uh, quackers. Yeah, that's what, yeah, they are quackers. Well, I, I don't know if those. I know about those because of the internet. Yeah, look, look at Did it, you know that wombats beautiful. are the national rodent of Austria? What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's... I just know that. I think it's good that you know that. It adds to your aura. Or at least I look think they do. Awesome. They are. Maybe it's the. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, they're cute. Just sitting here drive by. Yo, what up, Bandor? How you doing? <clears throat> hey, Mola, did you clarify with Rags if he thinks Souls games are bad? I remember it was mentioned in Gaming 20, but I can't find the timestamp. I. I've only ever hear, heard Rags allude to the flaws of Souls <laughs> games. I don't think I've ever heard him say that they're bad or not, though. I I don't think they're bad. I haven't really played them at all. They don't seem like a game that I would like to play or enjoy or get, you know, a lot of enjoyment out of. But there you go. The complete yeah. response. That's all the information <clears throat> needed. Yeah, that's all I got. Um. Yeah. Souls games are definitely ones where I would be like, not everybody will be able to sort of. Yeah. These aren't friendly games, so there's definitely going to be people who are going to be like, "Fuck this." Um, not in the same way, you know, like you know, like Mario. I'd be like, "Yeah, I don't see why anybody wouldn't find Mario at least fun to some degree." Yeah, it's got an innate fun factor to it. Yeah, it's 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 not particularly difficult. It's very approachable. When you lose, you can get back to where you were very quickly. You can keep trying over and over and over again. You know. Um, <clears throat> You know, it's not like, oh, I died. How many? How much time have I lost? How 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 far have I regressed? I didn't even light the bonfire. Damn. <clears throat> uh, oh, poor Ragsy Wagsy's having a bad day. Have some scr scratches. Who's a good boy, huh? You's a good boy. I'm actually having you quite are. a good day. I um, <laughs> I went outside, got all the snow off my car. Did you put it in um, your fridge? I still have snow. I didn't put any more in my fridge. Mm. 
Uh, there's still a decent amount left, and I doubt that the power is going to go out like that. <laughs> so, but I just left what it was in there. In there. I wonder if. Um. um <clears throat> sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but just like I wonder if there's anything to the whole like. Oh wait, why is Discord frozen? Sorry. Um, maybe it's because it's not up. I, I I wonder if there's anything to the idea <clears throat> of uh, actually. I wonder how much power could be saved theoretically if you were to periodically <clears throat> replace like a um, a shelf in your fridge with snow, if it was snowing in your area. Because <clears throat> that that would like you know it's it's gonna melt eventually because I'm, I'm assuming your fridge doesn't run as cold as to be able to keep snow as snow and so theoretically it'll always. You know what I mean? Like, I wonder if anybody anybody know what I'm talking about? I uh, yeah, I know what you mean. I, I have no answer for that though. <laughs> wait, wait, say that again. I think I've lost. If you're periodically putting snow into a fridge, like one shelf, I wonder if that would actually like make a significant difference eventually someday to the amount of money you pay for your power, sort of thing. Because it's um probably of... not. I mean, um, I would, would probably pro assume not, because ultimately people would probably be doing it in some way, shape, or form if it were actually effective. It would make um, it would make a difference. Like your 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 fridge would have to, like generate, like pump on I guess and generate cold air less often, because I guess I assume what a fridge does. I'm no I'm no engineer, I'm no whirlpool maintenance man or anything like that. Um, what I assume is that there's a temperature gauge inside of it, and once it hits a certain temperature, it kicks on the refrigerator and it gets it up to a certain temperature or activates for a certain amount of time and then it turns mm. off again and just idles it's not i assume it's not constantly on maybe mm -hmm. it is um I, i'm not sure but i assume if you had ice and stuff inside of there to keep the temperature up oh that was close it wouldn't turn on as much and use as much energy because the temperature is being lowered by something that isn't the fridge itself because eventually the ice would melt. Yes. Unless you... But, um... The fridge can go so cold that it maintains ice, but at that point... Oh, you just got yourself a freezer. A freezer, yeah. And, 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 and ice itself is not going to make freezing cold air. It would cool down the air, but it wouldn't mm -hmm. get... It wouldn't put the ice at... Or it wouldn't put the air at ice temperature if it itself is ice. At least I don't think so. Um, also, while it's not, one of the most, one of the most insanely frustrating things is a loud refrigerator. Yep. Mm. I don't know if, I don't know if you've got it, I don't know if you guys have been, ever been around an old fridge or a fridge that's just fucking loud, or it has a, like a compressor or something in there that's just rattly, but refrigerators that are not functioning properly, they can be super loud. There was a period of time when I was, you know, making videos and stuff where I couldn't make videos um, because the refrigerator was so loud when it turned on that it would drive me insane um, until it got fixed. Because, damn, like, you couldn't sleep. I You couldn't sleep because when it turned on, it was so loud. Oh, oh yeah. Fuck. If, if my fridge would be, like, in the same room that I sleep, I, I would be going mad. Yeah, my, my I, fridge um, is pretty loud, but yeah, some people have loud. <laughs> some fridges are just loud, and people don't really think about it because it's in its own area. Yeah, I yeah. have a it's it's a spacious one, but I have a studio apartment, and over on that side, there's a fridge, and luckily now that it's fixed, it's quiet as the grave, which is very good. However, yeah. uh, oh man, it was it was like a lawnmower. You gotta kill the animals oh, before you put them in the fridge. That's why it's so loud. Ah. Escaping dang dragon fight takes forever. The what fight? Gaping dragon. <gasps> gaping. So you're mm. skipping it. No, Some it takes, bad dragons have takes made me forever. Gaping. Uh, what is your weapon like? The unleveled club. <laughs> yeah, that's. You don't have to do that. I know, <laughs> but I still have the upgraded. But that's just... what you just said to me was taking this tree down with a spoon is tough. I'm like, yep. It's gonna be tough. Yeah. Ow. <clears throat> and he constantly dashes into the wall so he can't hit his face that much. He's a hard Or as boy. many times as I want.
every fridge a problem. I wish Dr. Dilla would have told me about the dash move earlier before I wasted all my resins, you dingus. Oh my goodness, he's attacking. I wasn't even looking at the screen. How could you? I thought it was cheating. obvious. Why would it, why would it be obvious? I don't know all the strats to the bosses. <laughs> That's why you fail. I mean, yeah, now I'm just w running around waiting for his dash and beat him up. I beat his, his, his feet as lo as, until he dies. <laughs> well, why are you killing these other warriors? Um, why does anyone do anything in Dark Souls? <laughs> I don't know, they seem like friendly people. He's trying to kill me, you know? Yeah, but you attacked him first. This is what... What, what is this, like... <laughs> he, he called him a flangus. I heard it. Listen, okay, he... is a capitalist. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's okay <laughs> to kill him? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get there him out of go. the system before he abuses someone. Through... Systemic capitalisms. I like the idea that you're just sitting around a campfire. It's like, so, um, what are your thoughts on the free market? Yeah, it's pretty good, yo. <laughs> it's like, well, now you must die. Uh, what are yeah, your thoughts on die. oxygen? Oh, no. That's alright, I guess. That's fine. Oh. Wait, you get fuck all for killing him. I'm outraged. <laughs> this was a moderately tight ring until I came around. Hey. Ew. Yeah, this oh, boss gets, wow. uh, way less exciting. When you just know, you just let him dash all the time. <laughs> uh, Rags, deliver more blunt hot takes. It makes the subreddit go to me, and some of the posts there, when they get rolling, is just oof. Yeah, that's. Reddit is filled with, like, <coughs> confessions and honesty. Yeah, that's where the best paragraphs. of humanity hangs out, I've noticed. They're like, oh, you know what? It's time to be honest to everyone. Rags needs to mm. leave EFAP. He's ruining it. I you know, I loved the episodes Rags. back in the day when he wasn't <laughs> on them. 90 Back in the day the when episodes. I wasn't on like one episode, <laughs> it's like, it's, you know, Efab is just not, not the same with Rags. He has to go. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, all you need to do is just watch the episodes and mute whenever Rags talks. You'll be fine. Yeah, you'll make it through. I swear, even with his harsh mm. hot takes about how you can get over yourselves and absorb are. all of the wisdom. That, that is just pouring forth out of my mouth. Brain. All of these pearls of wisdom, they're just bloop, bloop, they're just <laughs> falling out of my mouth. Delivered yes. directly to you. Enjoy it. Click it. No. Uh, too constant in head talking or exposition infuriates me. If it were in any other media, it would be okay, but since it's anime, it's okay. Oh, it wouldn't be okay. Uh, yeah, completely agreed. Anime gets away with all kinds of shit, and I don't know why. Yeah. Um, because it's anime! Not fair. <laughs> no, it's like, supposed to be retarded. Genuinely not fair. Like, it's, some, it's something that uh, I think the pushback on anime from EFAP is probably gonna help, ultimately, is like, anime shouldn't be getting away with this. Not even American cartoons get away with this. Like, you'd think if it was like an animated thing or something, but... Yeah, anime gets so much forgiveness, and it's time to end. I'm order organizing the anime is gay party. <laughs> anime party. is gay party. <laughs> AGP. If you stand against us, you stand against truth. I join, and I watch anime. anime you stand for truth. <laughs> and Most of the members are actually anime watchers. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, we know it's fucking stupid. <laughs> Pretty gay, I'm gonna say. <laughs> it's fucking is pretty gay. <laughs> anime had its chance. <laughs> Where did you watch anime? On a farm? Ooh. Heavy <laughs> insults, farm? dude. Um, I think it's because they have thicker hair than us. It's the amount of hairs we have, it's just thinner than a chimpanzee. I see. <sighs> I understand. Uh, Mola, what do you dislike about Civil War and like about Iron Man 3? That's easy. Um, the one thing I like about Iron Man 3 is saying that Tony is dealing with PTSD as a result of all the things that he's done in the past movies. I think that's great. Yeah. Their execution is fucking horrible. Um, yes. Thing I don't like about Civil War, when Black Panther is fighting Winter Soldier and he kicks him off a staircase and Winter Soldier crashes down because he kind of gets beaten by him. 
and then mm -hmm. Black Panther jumps right after him and he's disappeared. And it's like, hmm. <laughs> How did that You happen? can get away with that if it were anyone else, but I don't think you're escaping Black fucking Panther. Like, that guy, you're not going to be able to, like, jump around a corner and be like, ha you lost me. I would go as far as saying there's a good chance Black Panther could probably track him. Um, mm -hmm. I was never a fan of how he sort of escapes that, but ultimately it's not the worst thing ever because um, he still gets caught by Cap. So like, Winter Soldier doesn't get out scot free or anything, but it would still make a difference if they needed to make a better reason for Black Panther to have lost him. That's that's something I don't like. Oh fuck me! My Uchi Katana think... doesn't kill these guys fast. Where? I still have no idea how, what what Ant Man's powers are. Nobody does. <laughs> he gets small, but then he throws them around. So I don't understand. <laughs> I well, legit don't understand. They say in his movie something that none of his iterations actually represent. It's kind uh, of confusing to figure out what the fuck his powers even are. Okay. They're like, he retains his mass and so he can punch like a normal person but in the small form which by the way if you have the force of a punch in the form of a needle on one part of your skin you that's a bullet yeah it's going to fucking hurt <laughs> way more they well, only treat I mean, it as it's though funny the, the the movie's like oh if you punch too hard it's you'll kill somebody it's like no i feel like you're killing lots of people <laughs> no mm. matter what <laughs> Um, yeah, so, uh, he also rides on ants. It's not a thing. Yeah. <laughs> you, can't, you can't do that if you're like that. That's just not happening. But you're Ant-Man. Man, man, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, and so you, you need to, essentially, like, you need to have some magic shit where it's like, oh, he has the force to be able to do these cool things, but he's also not very heavy. But then, at the same time, like I said, you're probably killing people when you hit them. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a, that's a tough one, and obviously some people say like, isn't that a fault with Civil War that he's represented the same way? And it's just like I don't know that Civil War just presents him as he's presented in his movies. I, I don't really. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like if we were told to make a movie with Ant Man in it, I'd be like, I guess we got to go from what he does in his movies. I, I don't know what else we could yep. do. <coughs> Frog Daddy G, do you mean that something is Apex if it doesn't have any natural hunters? Because I'm sure labeling it by what can kill it isn't a good argument. Um. um well, yeah, because right, if it was yeah. only can't be killed by another thing, then yeah, there would only be one Apex Predator, right? Or at least... An Apex Predator, um, also known as an Alpha Predator, predator or Top Predator, without natural a predator predators. at the top of yep. a food chain. Without natural yep. predators. Which means that it's not, because a lion will kill a cheetah. But something theoretically then could become or lose its, uh, uh Yeah, label. like if, um, if the other, if, the, if its natural predator dies, then it becomes the top one, yeah. right? So like I said before, a tiger quoll is an apex predator because the Tasmanian tiger was and then died out. And so now it's the top one. And I'm guessing... Unless the areas really don't have any humans in them, humans are discounted from this? Um, I think so. Just set- yeah, so it's defined in terms of trophic dynamics, meaning that they occupy the highest trophic level. Food chains are often far shorter on land, limited to only being secondary consumers. For example, wolves prey upon mostly large herbivores, which eat plants. Um... Apex predators have a long history. Humans have, for many centuries, interacted with apex predators, including the wolf, birds of prey, um, and hunting game animals. Uh, more recently, they've interacted with them in human ways. So, yeah. <clears throat> the wolf is an apex predator, according to this, even though yes. if it ran into a human, we could kill it, but it doesn't have any natural predators. If wolves were not apex predators, we might have never got dogs no yeah that's right and dogs are pretty neat it's mm. one of one of humans advantages over neanderthals is i think that humans domesticated wolves and neanderthals didn't i'm not sure if that's true but i've heard that so i've heard lots of things also, about why we falconry them. uh yeah so eagles and falcons and um 
Uh, I, those are apex predators. Mm -hmm. So, falconry. Is that line in Westworld where he says, uh, "We ate them about about the Neanderthals," and and I know that there's some people who have said that that's bullshit. That we didn't like that's not why we beat them, but we may have done that, or something like that. I don't know. There's lots of things to consider. It's one of those. They died for a whole bunch so... of reasons. Apparently. Yeah, I know humans are natural, but if we applied humans, then there would only be one apex predator, which is human beings, which means it's a yeah. Worthless. Humans are kind of they're they're in that weird spot at the at the moment where yeah. you're like, like yeah, yeah we are animals, not counting but, humans. Yeah, and I was gonna but, say like, we're already limiting yeah. by geography in some way because otherwise it's like well, crocodile versus lion, who wins? And it's like that's not they aren't in the same areas really. Well, it's funny because crocodiles do interact with lions, but like they don't. I guess the important distinction of a predator is um, predators hunt and kill and then eat it, right? That's what a pre So maybe by that definition, a cheetah is kind of- Because, like, lions don't hunt them to eat them, they just kill them if they come too close. Mm. And, like, a crocodile yeah. will kill a lion if it comes It's like, you're close. next to me, you're in my space. If I kill you, you're yeah, not a no threat. Way. Yeah. So, if croc I guess if lions eat cheetahs, then that would make- yeah, then Cheetah definitely isn't an Apex. What? I think the reason why it was important is just because Cheetahs aren't like that. They can be killed by a lot of things. <laughs> you could pick a better... If, if, if Cheetah wanted to be an Apex Predator, she should have become a Crocodile Lady. It would be cool if she became a T-Rex. Even though hmm. they yeah. might not be Apex from what I've heard, but whatever. They are, um, let's see... They're high-level Miso. Predators, which is a mid-ranking predator in the middle of a trophic level, which okay. typically preys on smaller animals. So that would yeah. be like um... gazelle. Oh, sorry, you mean like the one in the middle? Um, hyenas? Uh, foxes Maybe. and coyotes. Yeah. Uh, and they would be under bears and lions. Hmm. So maybe um. <laughs> Raccoons, skunks, would be meso predators. Meso predators, maybe. I don't know. Mm. I don't. Maybe they're. Maybe they eat soup. I'm not sure. They could be mm. meso predators. I assume they would eat soup. Delicious. Never had a meso soup. <clears throat> don't smack talk kangaroos. Uh, they're awesome and extremely jacked. They are Australia's future shock troopers against the emu warriors. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, apparently above cheetahs are lions, leopards, hyenas, yep. painted wolves. Hyenas have the strongest bite of any land animal. That's tr well, excluding crocodiles if they, but I guess I don't count. Uh, Interesting. But yeah, you're right. Hyenas are second uh, in bite strength. Let's see, the most powerful bite <laughs> is definitely belongs a saltwater into crocodile. saltwater crocodile. Yeah. yeah. So I suppose a a land animal. Is a hyena. <laughs> Yeah, because crocodiles are semi-amphibious, I guess. You know, I on it, like if I was just told to guess, I probably would have gone with like a lion or something. I would have just assumed. I feel like crocodile is really obvious. Like you see those. But I, But they're like, so big. That's kind I, of almost why I feel like I don't know. Yeah, because if you get a small like a, a like a pinch hurts more than someone just grabbing. But I I think the reason for crocs is that they don't they don't bite to kill like a hyena does. They bite it for a death grip, so they they bite and they drag shit down into the water. Yeah, you're right. To drown like a lot it. of like lions and stuff usually where they kill is they get the animal and then bite down on its neck until it suffocates. Whereas the whole idea with the crocodile is once you be bitten, it's over. Like you're Yeah, done. it's gonna pull you down in the water and drown you. Um, um I mean I saw a video where a crocodile was very easily just destroying bones, like eating bones and crunching them. Ooh. I bet a lot of animals can do that. Because they've, um, they've had to do it for so long, and they've never no, not I mean, had like, to do it, it. It consumes bones, like it'll just devour them. I don't think lions eat bones, like they'll eat around the bone. Um, let's see. Uh, da -da -da. Let me take a look. Jer let's see. Um, drawing an animal, osteophagia oh, wow. <laughs> is bone eating. So, mm. osteophagia. Um, it's been that way. Let me see. The like right now, I have like no leopard tortoises. Where I'm going. Eat bones. Just running around. 
It's funny all these terms because I just looked up Keystone. So a Jaguar, you mentioned Keystone, Flagship, and Umbrella Species. Alright. Well, so the idea of a Keystone Species is that it has a very large effect on its environment. So like, other animals will, their behavior is driven basically by these animals. So, i.e. a wolf is a keystone species because deer behavior is directly driven by wolves' mm -hmm. presence and kind of the whole thing of, um, when America got rid of a bunch of wolves, it caused massive ecological issues because the deers could just eat everything that they wanted and, um, and then they had to reintroduce the animals to make the ecosystem fixed <laughs> to make it right again. So... Hyenas will eat bones, so it's only a small part of their diet. Um, right. Let's see, we've got a bearded vultures, though they will, uh, their diet is up to 90% bone. Mm. Wow. That's interesting. That's a lot of. I yeah, guess that it's makes the beard sense that does it. Vultures, that's all that's, that's left. often what's left, yeah, yeah. Um, so it says that they have an extra long intestinal tract. Uh, and their gastric acid is very acidic. Uh, in fact, they say that its pH is about 0.7, which is close to pure hydrochloric acid. Jeez. So that's... Uh, that's some spooky that, shit. That probably helps with all the bone eating they do. That should be a thing in a movie. Someone, like, kills a vulture and takes its stomach acid to use as a weapon against another human. So that's why you you uh, like you can like in fantasy right you can ex you can say oh like uh, this fan this monster in fantasy it vomits up like acid it's like yeah because it's from like its stomach it has multiple stomachs and it can like take its internal gastric acid which is super acidic and it can cough it up on things like, like the guy okay. in Boy Season Two <clears throat> who, for some reason it burns through his face but not his clothing <laughs> I can believe that. I can believe that. Why the fuck can you believe it could burn through his face but not his clothing? Oh, the clothing. Yeah, the clothing is... Yeah. I thought <laughs> you meant, like, why... Like, why did... Like, outside of his face instead of the inside of him. But yeah, if it burns through the face, you'd think it burned through the clothes? There's it probably burns chemicals through, that... It burns through Lamplighter's clothes, but not his. <laughs> like... Oh. <a> weird. Uh, <laughs> maybe... Maybe they knew they gave him special clothes because he was, like... He's, like, a... They should have put it on his face. <laughs> Give him special. Yeah, he should have. Well, the funny thing is, we see him vomiting all over the place in his fucking room, and it burns through stuff in his room, and it's already all over his lips. Um, slash oh. mouth. So it's like, Maybe, oh, eh. it must. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like the only way it can make sense is the hyper specific. Like all of these things are the way they are because they are the way they. Are. You know, like the same logic as um, the reason Lois didn't get pulled in was because everything that was affected was all the stuff that was affected, like. Oh. I guess it just has to work that way. Mm. Even though I still don't think that works, because the pulse from the thing, she was already well in range of it, so... Another thing, um... The meme repository put in the edit that I guess we didn't really talk about. How is it the Clark manages to power up and beat the, um... The world engine when he's in the laser that's supposed to be converting it to Kryptonian-tisms? Shouldn't that just be Kryptonian-tisms? As in, he should be depowered. Uh, think, wait, but you I don't... think a lot of things, wouldn't you? Hmm. What, 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 what thing do you mean? I'm confused now. Clark is in the laser that's apparently, you know, changing the world to be Krypton. Oh, you mean the thing that goes through the through the Earth? Yeah, you'd think that means he's fucked. Oh, yeah, because it could be the atmosphere, I guess, or whatever. Well, that's what they seem to say. It's, just... mm. yeah, it's like a super mega Krypton beam. Why is it the clock gets turned into basically mm. like fucking coma patient when when he's dealing with kryptonite versus Zod getting used like all the Kryptonians have dealt with Krypton's atmosphere and they seem to just operate like humans and some of them seem yep. to operate like super strong super agile humans why is it the clock can't get used to it mm, I don't know <laughs> and I'm not you know criticizing whatever other iterations just specifically the Zack Snyder ones. Because if anything, right, he just needs to have some kryptonite and needs to sit with it for a few hours, get used to it, and then... So... Hmm. 
From then on, it'll only it's prevent him from super punching, but he'll still, he won't be, you know, doubling over and fucking coughing. Yeah. Or I don't know. Sea otters are species. <laughs> 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 Because, what, because a they, what a segue! What a sea otters. Sea otters. <laughs> yeah. They are. Uh, they eat urchins. Um, sea urchins. So that makes them a keystone species. That's nifty. Sea otters are really cool. They eat food off of their tummies. That's awesome. I I wish you would have just brought that up as an argument. Why is that? Like, sea otters. It's like oh yeah, that makes <laughs> it sense. Makes sense. I think whenever I hear the word tummy, it's always an otter's tummy. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I just they're, they're cool animals. What can I say? Let me Google the word tummy because it's almost like a not a real word, but it's it is, a, you know. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, it's, yeah, tummy ache. You it must... comes from a, cha a mid 19th century. Oh, it just comes from a children's pronunciation of stomach. Well, yeah, and it just sort tummy's of stuck. What people say instead of stomach. My tummy hurts as opposed to my stomach hurts. Still don't quite get where they how they how do they create tummy etymology? Like how do they <laughs> kids, are well, I mean, kids are dumb. Because kids are dumb. Belly, because belly kind of is the same thing too, right? It's almost like just stomach, I, actually, yeah, tummy, I, I stomach, etymology. tummy. I get, but belly. Well, let's see. Let's check up the etymology of belly. Oh my God, oh my God. Well, it's funny. It's also a 1989 I look, it's film. Just, the abdomen is colloquially called the belly, the tummy, the midriff, or the stomach. So it is the abdomen that we are talking about, I guess. So belly comes from uh, the Old English belig for bag of belly. Germanic origin from a oh, base okay, meaning swell that. or be inflated. I can absolutely see how that makes sense now. I want to see where cum comes from. Where cum comes from? Where does no cum one? come okay, from? I think that's a fair question. Where does cum come from? I'm gonna grab something to drink. I shall be right back. Don't let it be cum. Uh, and I'm not talking about, like, cum. Because cum, C-U-M, in Latin is with. Um, mm -hmm. But I assume that's not what it comes from. Um, let's see. Where it is? Maybe it's from like C O M E come, like it comes from that. What is this boss that you're fighting? You just have to keep running away from it. Like, what, what's well, this is like on? the almost the secret way of beating him. Oh. The normal way is not yeah. this. So yeah, you just hold the tan there for like ten hours so that you can hit it, or yeah, yeah, just oh. beat beat it a couple of times and he oh. dies. Yeah. Oh, wow. What an idiot. Poor guy, you just didn't see the floor, you know? Yeah, but when yeah. you die on the on the first attempt, uh, you have to go all the way to the uh, altar, I think it is. Okay. And then run back. I figured it out last time because I was confused. I died on the first attempt. I was like, oh, no worries. I just go back and let him do the thing. But then he just stands there and launches fire at you. So you have to do the whole thing. <clears throat> It is, in fact, an altar. Nice. That's a time for some, uh, oak heart. Yeah, right. Bacardi oak heart. Spiced. Neato. I that will is see. a spicy Let's see oak heart. Uh, cum, C-U-M, verb and noun, seems to be a modern, by 1973, variant of the sexual sense of C-O-M-E, <laughs> cum, that originated in pornographic writing, perhaps first in the noun sense. This experience sexual orgasm slang, meaning of come, um, perhaps originally come off, is attested from 1650 in Walking in a Meadow Green in a folio <laughs> of loose songs collected by Bishop Percy. Uh, as a noun meaning semen or other product of orgasm, it is on record from the 1920s. The sexual come, C-U-M, seems to have no seems to have no connection with Latin cum, the preposition meaning with or together with. Um, so, there you go. I got another seg. So, you guys watched um, WandaVision now, right? The last episode? Yeah, the latest uh, one. Yes, yeah. we saw the, we saw, I think we saw the last one, yeah. Episode 7. 
front. It was bad. Yeah. yeah. I don't think the Rock. show's good. Uh, well, it's funny, right? Because they have their reveal at the end. It's like, I don't... <laughs> what? You, you think that this is something, but it's really not. Like, obviously, she was significant, and I still don't understand what her plan is. So, like, what... You know what I mean? Like, almost like, what am I meant to take away from this? Yeah. Like, yeah, I knew that she was important, but you didn't, like, what is the reveal? Oh, she, like, appeared in the 50s. She made a rabbit <laughs> pop out of her hat. Um, she... I don't I understand don't know, any of that. Was... Like, when they were when they were like, oh, look, she was here the whole... I'm just like, yeah? Wanda has power yeah, too. Is it just to set up know. a villain? Is that it? It's like, we need well, to have she... a new villain. So she's... Agatha Harkness is a villain from the, um, from, from, uh, from the comics. Um, so yeah, like I'm sure witch, of that. Basically, yeah, that's that's. I don't. I don't know what. I don't know. So, like, because the problem is, I sit in here. I'm like, all right. So, what? What? What is your plan, right? Like, am I? You know what I mean? Like, what am I? Um. What yeah. Is your what's plan? your game here? All I can assume is, well, this is a problem. Like, I, they think it's like a big reveal, but it's not really. <clears> like, I don't. I've got nothing to latch onto as to what the plan is. Is she trying to like just screw with Wanda? But to what end? Well, um, I guess we'll find out. And I guess it's- it's- I, I find Monaco's starting to really annoy me now. Like, I can walk through this force field. How could you possibly know that? Also, don't you think it might be worthwhile to have a conversation about it before you do it? <laughs> Why did you think that your rover could get through? Oh, this is a space rover, so we could drive it through a weird interdimensional, like, portal machine thing. You know what I mean? Like, what? Yeah, it was definitely a weird one. I... It kind of lost me. Like, when I was watching it, I just became really, really uninterested and disappointed. Uh, yeah, well, I think that's how the next episode for me is going to start. I think I'm it was only... making me too upset to not care, as odd as that sounds. I yeah. think I just, um... Vision is kind of like the thing I'm really interested in them exploring, but like we got very little of that this episode. Like he's the most interesting character at the moment. I think um, they, with Vision, they totally wasted the like the whole conversation he has with that fucking annoying Darcy. bitch in that car. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah they wasted like where that he learns hard that hard. he died and everything like that. Like what happened to him. And like mm. she's the person he had that conversation with, mm. and they just squandered it, and nothing and became of it. And he just. A lot of it. It, let me tell you, I'm surprised that for seven episodes it feels like so little has happened, and that most of that has come from the later episodes rather than the first couple of episodes. Like this show was way better when it was the sitcoms. Yes. And like it's much, begun to much deteriorate better. rapidly now that we've gone into. I'm just. I don't. I. It feels like. Like, when we look at Monica, it's like, she's already got powers now. It's like, I feel like I barely even know you, but that's weird. Yeah, who are you? Like, yeah. You had four episodes, which is, like, as much screen time as any character would probably get in their movie, right? <clears throat> like, she seems like, uh, she seems like they're bringing, it feels like they're bringing a bunch of intruders into this universe. It does, doesn't it, in a certain sense, yeah. The way that they do it, the way that they execute this story is, like, the, the people that they, they feel like they're butting in to a world that isn't theirs. They don't feel like they're naturally a part of this world. It's it's interesting now when I think about it. It's like, we don't have that many, like, main female heroes. And, like, both Captain Marvel and her <coughs> got their powers through really retarded things that kind of had nothing to do with them. It feels yeah. very like, artificial. Cap Captain Marvel got her powers by shooting a machine, and she got her powers by walking through a force field. As opposed to like, how'd Wanda get her powers? She was experimenting on with the Mind Stone for like several months. It's like, goddamn, we got something there. Well, how did Cap That's do it? He, to, he made the sacrifice to be the guinea pig for um. Yeah, how did Iron Man program. do it? He built his machine after being held hostage for like several weeks in a in a in in a tunnel. It's like, how about Thor? It's like, well, Thor lost his powers and he had to earn them through rediscovering, I guess, altruism and selflessness. Yeah. Um. And then, you, yeah, you keep going through the list, and it's like, god damn, exactly. whereas here, it's like, okay, so she shot you just an got him, and she you basically you didn't have force field. Yeah. You inexplicably threw basically nothing to do with anything, you just got to have them. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, but the, it was funny because the show would be like, well, no, she earned them because she went back in. It's like, yeah, but that was a really <laughs> stupid scene because she didn't have a yeah. conversation with anybody about any of this. She just rushed back through thinking that she could get through for no reason at all. Yeah. I went what was through and went plan? out so I can get back in. What was her plan? Yeah, what is her plan? Hey, Wanda. All right, you got to help me out. And also, like, I like how Wanda's, like, just leaves her to walk around, like, when when uh, Agatha comes over, it's like, oh, hey, let's go. It's like, don't talk to me or I'll hurt you. It's like, but you're gonna let her stick around? Clearly you don't want her here. Why are you letting her stay? Just toss her out. Yeah, that's another issue. Yeah, she got rid of her without a problem the first time. and now Yeah, but I guess the logic is, hey, look, she did a superhero landing. She can't be thrown away. It's like, well, it looked like it was working when you threw her out last, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. last time. And also, you picked her up and she couldn't stop you, so... Yeah, I don't also, know, like... <laughs> Now she's just powerful enough to resist Wanda? Like, most powerful fuck. fucking good, well, person. She's supposed to be one of the most powerful in the MCU. Call of Witches, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I don't, I don't even know what Monica, like her powers are that she sees electricity and when she hits the ground, little shock waves come off her. <laughs> and then her mm. eyes glow blue. It's like, wow. Dude, they can do whatever they want. She's gonna have all well, kinds of whatever. Well, let me let me look her up. Sure, she'll be amazing. What, what they'll be. Oh amazing. yeah, I mean, I saw a lot of people on Twitter like, Ooh, oh, powerful no, 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 women. No. It's like, guys, what is this? All it takes, like, you just <laughs> women have glowy eyes, and then you're like, look at how powerful they are. So powerful. They have glowy. Uh, let me okay, look. Okay, Krylock, you need to chill out. There's too much magma on the on the, in the arena, all right? And it's still like, I don't know, like, what's. <clears throat> uh -oh. Yeah, so her powers are energy absorption, generation, and manipulation, ability to travel at speeds up to the speed of light while in her energy form, convert her body into any form of energy within the electromagnetic spectrum, and travel in energy form through the vacuum of space. Intangibility, right? so she's electricity no. lady, basically. I did a mistake. She's Electro from <laughs> she's, um, she's Spider-Man 2. She's Spider-Man 2, Oh, no, she's What's Electro! <laughs> he's Electro. She's Electra. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Electricia. Um, Electricia. I just... Electricia. That sounds like a, like a, like a hood name. Yeah, people say oh, okay. she's Captain Marvel powerful. Oh, right. <clears throat> that was a waste of they wouldn't dare yeah. make a strong female character who isn't insane. Well, it's just fucking... funny because we have like we got two good examples from before. We had Black Widow who has no powers but is a really good fighter, and then yeah, we had she's very Scarlet Witch smart. who's incredibly powerful but very nimble and is yeah, fully in cannon. control of her powers. Really good. Then you have Captain Marvel who is impervious to Thanos head butts when he has all six Infinity Stones. Yeah. <laughs> um, and now we're gonna have Monica, who's like impervious to damage, seemingly. Woo! -hoo. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not looking for like I don't even. It's funny, right? Because the show is meant to be taking advantage of speculation. It's like I got nothing anymore. Like I don't, I don't even know what I'm supposed to think about well, anything. No and of course, her personality in. is just the the cookie cutter strong female. Cookie cutter good guy. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, she's uh, she is identical to Captain Marvel and everything. It's just there's there, like if you saw both of their words in text form, they'd be indistinguishable from one another. Tunnel's done. All right, gotcha. Um. And it sucks that the person I'm most invested in is probably going to be dead for good at the end of this season. Yeah, because I I see like Vision is probably that like that'll probably be the end, right? That he he recognizes that he can't exist anymore, and that's okay for the sake of all these other people, which is a great arc, but <clears throat> like it's surrounded by a bunch of all this other crap. Yeah, I, I'm um, I'm sure I'll feel something when he when he says you have to let me go. I know it's going to happen, and it'll be sad. <clears throat> I guess. I'm just like, I don't know, I when I look at this Agatha thing, it's like, what is her plan? I'm, all I've got is she wants to make Wanda, like, go insane for some end, but I don't know what that end would be and for what purpose. What is she, um, who does she typically work with or for? Scarlet Witch. Oh, she usually, so, when I looked her up, because I didn't know who she was, her main enemies are the Fantastic Four and Scarlet Witch. Like so I saw some people tossing people. around Mephisto, um, in relation yeah, to Yeah, but they've this. been saying that all the time. Mephisto? Everybody's been talking about Mephisto, and, and I don't- I don't know about that. Hmm. He's like Devil Man, I think. Yeah, um, he's like Satan. Devil Man! I guess my question would be like, 
what is that because that seems to be what people think pietro is supposed to be right that he's like obviously not who he, he seems but um my assumption is that that that's not the case and that it's just this woman i don't think they have time for extra stuff they got a lot of work to do to like fix up these problems <laughs> that they have of it being really unclear who is what yeah um it's gonna she really be disappointing if okay. scarlet witch gets bailed out by this woman being behind all of it um oh you mean like bailed out of accountability yeah like if she's like i didn't want any of this to happen really um, I, I'm very concerned that that's what's gonna happen, but I'm still kind of think that she could end up being the villain in some capacity going forward. Like, um, I guess one of my two working theories is like either she goes insane <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> like, that's not off the table, because again, the writing this season hasn't been very good. Yeah, yeah um, that's better. Well, the second one is, like, that, I don't know, she'll either be under the control of or, like, possessed by Agatha, or if she's, like, a witch, maybe that's something she can do. And maybe that was, like, a plan It's like, I don't have really cool powers like you, I want them. Oh, you've got my turn, you back, nice. But again, to what end? Like, mm -hmm. for what purpose does it serve? Uh, I don't know. Lori to our Stotska. Hey, baby, please. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why my mind went there. <laughs> don't ask me, I don't know. Somebody's saying they should have introduced AIM. Oh, I don't care about, like, these fictional organizations. Like, it's a little character, right? And right now we're in a really bad place when it comes to that. Yeah. Well, AIM they're get, they're making the sure They're making it easy for us to remain objective as possible with this show by just destroying everything that we loved about it, so it's not even there for us to care about anymore. Go in I fresh. think AIM might be in the MCU. You're right. I don't know. Um, I guess I'm just, like... Because what I'm starting to notice is, um, so it seems like that the MCU going forward is going to have, like, these sort of almost, like, sub-stories in this bigger story. So, like, you can see how they connect to each one. And my impression is that one division is, like, the first part of either setting up, like, there'll be the multiverse strain That's thing really like spider-man and, Do and dr strange but then there'll also be like the captain marvel strain because she's going to be in that and they got that miss marvel show as well and like i don't i don't really see that side i see both of those going really badly potentially like hmm. at the moment i'm very concerned and then i guess you got falcon and winter soldier gonna be doing your like gr you know we're doing our like real world superhero stuff I'm super worried about that too. I'm just worried about it all. <laughs> Eternals, Eternals scares me a lot. The idea, hey, we've been here all along for like thousands of years. It's like, oh, and I guess you just decided not to show up and help during Endgame, yeah. really? Yeah, I'm just saying, <laughs> uh, it, Infinity War, like half of the universe dies and you're just, is that not serious enough for you? <laughs> also Avengers, like even that was probably enough to maybe well, help out. it'll depend on what the fuck <laughs> Well, I was asking myself during this last episode of WandaVision, <laughs> like, where are the Avengers? Hello. Hello. This um, is a big deal. Well, I guess all we've got to work off is what we saw in Spider-Man, which is that Doctor Strange is unavailable and that Captain Marvel is unavailable and Thor is unavailable. But, still a lot of other people who could stand to show up and help. Yeah. Like, maybe Ant-Man could be called in. Maybe he's small enough that he can get through, like, the They could put him in a little something. tiny capsule and shoot him through. Oh, and he can I, I mean, even more than that, just go subatomic so that you can pass through the alternate dimension molecules. Maybe that's yeah, worth maybe, a try. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I guess I'm curious what their plan is. Are they like just going to kill Wanda well. and assume that works? Yeah, he's still around. He's, he's a, a big scientist. Brain. He's probably a good person. Shuri? So I'll be right back. She's really smart. Yes. You could give Shuri a call. Wakanda. Maybe they could help out. Hawkeye? Is he around? Is his daughter? Well, Hawkeye's too busy with working with Kate Bishop now, right? <laughs> so uh, he's doing. Well. well, he just did the same thing. Uh. I hope that Guardians 3 is good. Uh, we all do. We <laughs> all do. And, and oh. 4. And Thor and Spider Man 3, but otherwise, I'm not super optimistic about everything else. Like, I'm uh, I feel like anything with multiverse <coughs> is gonna be real. Where's Aquaman? Uh, I'm uh, gonna have to run all the way and probably gonna die. Oh, fuck me. I forgot about that attack. I feel so stupid. 
Thanos is an Eternal. Oh, I assume he was just a regular person, but maybe that was wrong of me, seeing as he lived on a planet with a bunch of other people who were also of his race, but I guess not, maybe. Always over the Yeah, I, I know he opens up with the attack, but I was just listening to Fringy and I wasn't paying attention, so yeah, that was my, like, my why bad. Why did they call Doctor Strange? <laughs> like, unavailable? It's like, really? No way. He's definitely well, if he's in a different universe. Off. Is he? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna say he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like I just, uh, I get really worried about all of this. So yeah, I'm not super optimistic about one division at this point. I think um, it started off strong and it's kind of fucked. <clears throat> what boss are you? What are you doing, Mel? Out of curiosity. See, uh, I'm seizing this, this charge. I just forgot about his initial attack when you waken him the first time. He just mm -hmm. instant nuked me again. Like last time, I just forgot it was just really stupid of me. What this show probably needed to do if they wanted this Agatha thing to actually work is to have there be more weird stuff going on than what was shown. And also like, I don't know, fuck me, like it's just... The format I would have <laughs> done was only one episode with answers, the rest of them were all sitcom, but they all have a little bit more off and uh, on top in terms of like, clues. Yeah. But I guess we need to make major changes to the outside world plot too. We gotta like fix the writing there because they've gone so out of their way to make this... Is it Harwood? Haywood? Guy? Like just to make him the bad guy. Mm -hmm. It just feels really weird. Like, hey, shoot her with a missile. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? The idea that you didn't <laughs> inform the pilot that that was something that was about to happen is absurd to me. I, I do love that, um, that they... What was it? They had, um... Oh, you need to get off my base. And then they just beat up the people who were taking them and sneak around the base. It's like, are you... Come on. What are you doing? Yeah, that was really bad. Is this writing? <laughs> <laughs> Is this writing? Or just follow that meme with the butterfly? Um, everything oh, in the MCU falls apart if you say, why didn't X shop? No, not Civil War, because Civil War made sure that the most powerful forces were out of the picture. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's just not, that's just categorically untrue, and it's a flaw in a lot of MCU movies, because they fuck it up, like, Winter Soldier fucks it up. And a good example, again, like, Spider-Man doesn't fuck it up, because Spider-Man's doing low-level threats, and Iron Man is there, and involved. Iron Man Nobody else another film that fucks it up. Um... Well, I guess I'm just citing the films that I don't think, and of course, Guardians is safe because they're. Yeah, I was gonna, way there's out a lot of them that don't fuck it up, and then there's a lot that do. Like, or I don't safe. Know why. It's funny how all the good ones are safe and all the bad ones aren't. <laughs> Weird, huh? Because Ragnarok. But we love all the MCU movies, right? Ragnarok is safe. Awesome. Ragnarok is happening, yeah, like while Civil War is happening, in it. <laughs> um, no, Civil War happens after. No, Civil War happens before Ragnarok. Because remember, Ragnarok happens no, right before. No, I'm not Infinity being literal. War. I'm saying that that's where Hulk and Thor are gone for now. Is like the plan. oh yeah yeah yeah. That's the idea. They're both off world. Thor's busy doing his thing, and Hulk is um on the planet. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I wouldn't presume. I don't think any of the films take place at the same time. You only ever have like. No, I, I get you now. Um, but of course, yeah, now when it's like WandaVision, there are a lot of heroes that are worth calling here, but I guess you don't have the budget for that. Well, this show only costs like $200 million. I was say, this show's super expensive, <laughs> though. I, it's funny, because I'm not seeing it yet, like that money, almost, you know? It's like $200 million for all of the stuff. I'm guessing it'll be like, there'll be some crazy finale or something. Maybe. Well, because I don't see the $200 million yet, let's put it that way. <laughs> for WandaVision? Yeah. Not I, yet. well, with going through these Mandalorian episodes, the uh, at least for season one, I don't know about the second season, but each epi episode of the first season of the Mandalorian, eh, about fifteen million dollar budget per episode. Yeah. And then Which you mean? go through and you look at all the details, and you're like, how are these like obvious continuity errors like here? When you're spending fifteen million dollars an episode, like That's all these. Right, because... I get you, right? Because, like, the Pacific costs $10 million per episode, and that shows attention to detail is, like, crazy, especially with everything that's going on. Um, I legit think they just hire whoever to do these. 
but they but like the directors are like not small time directors right like robert rodriguez like these are directors of films coming into their episodes of tv shows well are those are those the people who well i guess if it's a director it's it, if it's all you know it falls on them but you think somebody like during production would say oh that's not how we left it last time we were here <laughs> which is doubly yeah. odd because i i want to know how those things happen because you you're at a set like um in episode three, Mando, um, the the stormtrooper, he 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 shows up to the compound to save Baby Yoda, and he breaks the little doorman droid that pops out of the wall, and it's just hanging by a wire there when the stormtroopers come and investigate it. We never see that place again until Mando leaves out the front door, and the <coughs> robot's gone. It, it's just not there anymore. Hmm. And you're like, why didn't you just leave it where it was, and not touch it? It's I I don't get it. You know, it's like they fucked around with the with the set for some reason. Yeah, well, yeah you have to imagine they clearly fucked around with the set. Yeah. It's like, oh, we can deconstruct because we're not filming anymore. And they're like, no, 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 we we, meet, we might need one more shot. And then maybe some guy just took that one thing and it was like, oh, it's like all the back. resets um, that they have in the the fight scenes in the Mandalorian are really bad. Uh, they have a lot of these cuts in the action scenes when there's no they, there's they, they, no reason to have these cuts in these action sequences. And you could tell that they just reset it in between these cuts because there's just differences, like Baby Yoda swaps hands and things like that. It's just, I, just like details you just think the fucker. people would know. There should I be guess just a guy on set whose job is to notice continuity errors. Yeah. <laughs> And I just think these problems wouldn't exist. If that hallway scene. I I guess I don't know if Fringy was there. Fringy, were you with me when I was showing that episode three hallway fight with the stormtroopers? I can't remember. No, it was no, Jay. So. Uh, Jay was there and Mahler. Jay and Mahler and I. Metal might have been there. I, I forget. It was a while ago. But I don't remember. They have like a 10 second quote unquote fight scene. And it's mostly CGI where Mando walks mm. to a hallway. A stormtrooper shows up, shoots and misses. And Mando shoots him back. And then another stormtrooper shows up at the other end of the hallway, shoots and misses, and Mando flamethrowers them. And all of the action that happens is in post. It's CGI, the blaster shots and the flamethrower. Right. But there's like three cuts. There's like a cut every three seconds on average. And that's what <laughs> creates the continuity issues. So like if, if they just did it in one one shot, which is generally regarded as good when you have fight scenes, the jokes, it would they wouldn't have even had the opportunity to make these mistakes. Yeah, I think a lot of them just don't fucking care. Which is weird considering that like I don't know, it's just why are you in this profession? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you don't care. You know, when you just slow it down a little bit and look at how things happen, you're like, wow, just... what happened between this cuts? Because when you think about it from a production standpoint, how did they make the show? How did they make these scenes? How did they film it? You know, when they, how did yeah. they get into position? Uh, you know, what, what was the actor actually doing when they made this? It, it's kind of, I mean, it's very interesting. I like, I like that aspect of filmmaking. I like it when, like when Red Letter Media talks about um, how I, you would do a thing and how you do stuff and you do this and you get that and you do that. That's really interesting to me. I wonder so how many seeing... things, how many of those things were recognized and seen, and they gave it to the I don't know next person that's responsible, and they were like, "Yeah, nah, that's that doesn't matter." Nobody and cares just, about this. Nobody cares about Honestly, this. Honestly, I it could be all of it, and I'd be like, "Yeah, it's just it's just Disney Star Wars. They just they don't actually care mm -hmm. about these sorts of things. Like the people who they have on the ground to do this stuff. I don't know. Maybe they're just not passionate. Maybe they don't care." Maybe they just imagine that no one will notice and people will like it anyway. I mean, certainly now they know that people will just <clears throat> love Eat it. it up. Yeah. Yeah. People adore the Mandalorian. So they just like, we don't have to care about continuity issues in our fight scenes. We don't have to care about basically anything because people will just eat it up. Yeah. Just a side note. I've never been so fast in and out of Light Town and killed Quillock and Caesar's charge before. <sighs> I know, right? Wait, why, why is she dead? What? I, I, what? Well, I guess I'm not getting any SS upgrades anymore. I guess you didn't stop, um, Cage Man? But it didn't get him out of the cage as well, so... Yeah, you don't have to. Oh. I thought if I just don't... Oh, well, whatever. Ooh. No, you. 
You must beat DS1. With oh, a fuck. No, this one fire is gone too. Shit. Uh, cock. I actually. Well, you killed Fire and Shrine, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, balls. I was about to say, man, this is going kind of well right now. <laughs> and I come back and the fucking thing is. Uh, he escapes eventually and murders her. Damn. God, I totally forgot about that. Shit. Uh, was there a way to re. Five? No, there wasn't. <laughs> I think. Well, you can find him in an Orlando, right? I. I don't guess? remember what the quest line entails entirely, but you do have to fight him. Yeah, I remember that. Can you revive her then? I don't remember. Chat might be able to help you on that one. I'm not sure. Do you feel good now, Metal? For shame. For shame. Shut up. You get her soul back. Okay, so, but can I revive her? I do not remember. I mean, I'm. I'm, I'm <laughs> mm -hmm. I have a plus one Estus, and I, I killed uh, Quillock's sister just now for the extra soul. Obviously. Yeah, <laughs> only, only went yes, she also thirsty. gets to talk again. Oh, okay, so as soon as I get to Anno Londo, I can fight him. I think I just have to be human again. Yeah, I can't remember what the requirements and are. And then yeah. you can... Oh, I think you have to invade in there. Someone can tell me when it gets there. I don't know if I even get there today, tonight, whatever. Mm. <clears throat> uh, uh, if you get her soul back from using the Black Eye Orb in Anolanda, you can revive her so long as you don't consume the soul. Yeah, okay, that's cool. We'll see a pop-up, you then use the Eye Stone that you picked up on her corpse, kill Lautrec, and then you get the souls again. Okay, cool, yeah. So I, I remember it at least a little bit. You must beat DS1 with a herring. I feel like I could do it. <laughs> uh, I'm not, you know, not one to shy away from a challenge. Pretty good builds on Buffy Season 7. Um, I mean, I like it a lot, but it's got problems, but I like it a lot. Uh, shit, where's the next bonfire then? Oh, this is like the. It, it's kind of cruel that they make this a thing. <laughs> I don't know to think about this. This is like. Basically, the hop on fire gives you like three ten esters without kindling it. I mean, yeah, you feel that loss. <laughs> yeah. I guess it only happens once you've killed both, uh, rung both bells, is it? Uh, I guess so. I would imagine at that sense, point the have, player uh, is going to be able to survive the loss of the filing shrine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Zens. Yeah, I could probably go to Zens, Zens now. That's probably the next step. Oh, Fremp is here. Hey, Fremp. Fremp. I forgot his name. Go kill Pinwheel and make a better bonfire. Oh, I don't want to go through the stupid catacombs, though. <laughs> catacombs. If that movie Shoot'em Up would be great. It's ridiculously over the top and knows to not take itself seriously. Oh, I, I love Shoot'em Up. <laughs> we'll probably do that at some point. There's no way we That's won't. That's such a fun. Is that a story of, like, a meth addict? Yes. <laughs> I mean, it could be, when you watch the whole thing, you'd be like, this could be going on just a meth addict's head, I'm thinking. It's like, yeah, mm. The bonfire had its chance. <laughs> I love that that became a meme. That's great. Thank you, Man of Steel. Yeah. Comic books do it too, but you don't read those. I'm assuming they're do talking what? about the, um... When we were saying anime get excused, I'm assuming he's saying comic books get excused as well. Hmm. That's probably true. Yeah, yeah that's funny. Because uh, I've started watching JoJo again. Because I, I just need something to watch before I go to bed. Because I just chill out. And man, they do the whole... You see what is happening, and then they just talk, Oh no, this just happened! I was like, stop. <laughs> The kind of writing that they, they do the and then thing and just this this just happens now and like, oh it's just so weird the because snakes. it already happened like wh why why is the character saying it again it's like yeah i saw it thank you but shut up well what if you missed it metal what if you missed it well then it's my problem <laughs> oh wow the sludge straight up did kill me it's terrifying uh if anime has any interesting story elements, you can bet you're behind. I'll take 50 episodes that didn't need to get there. Yeah. Anime um, likes to take its sweet-ass time. 
makes the payoffs. Then again, when half of your episodes are close-ups of people eyes of people's eyes and like weird grunting noises that people never make, then yeah, it's hard to get a plot going. So Attack on Titan season two. That I already knew what's happening in a third episode, and they take the whole season to say, "Oh, actually, this happens." Like, yeah, okay, I got it from the hints you gave me. Thank you. Hmm. Bring your thoughts on the reboot Ratchet and Clank from a few few years ago, and thoughts on the PS3 games compared to the original. So, uh, I think the reboot's really lame. I don't like it. Um, it's fun, but I don't <laughs> like the story or the characters or the world. I think it's way inferior to what <laughs> came before. And uh, the PS3 games, yeah, I really like them. I really like the crack in time. Um, I still don't like them as much as the originals, though. I think they definitely lost their harsher edge when they moved to PS3. It was trying to be more like Pixar when that was kind of never what it was trying to be ever at the beginning. It was meant to be like satire. Um, well, it's kind of, I don't know, Pixar's probably not even like that because Pixar's always kind of being a little bit more interesting than like, you know, standard Disney. It was trying to be more like Disney, I think it's more apt. Hmm. And it's not. It's a game where you go around and blow things up and kill lots of things. It's not exactly congruous with Disney. And uh, Gaming Brit Show has a good video on the, the remake. Yeah, yeah, his, his video, that like two hour long one is really good. I would recommend it. Um, EFAB gaming, more like EFAB laming. Haha, <laughs> checkmate. <laughs> Whoa, racism. Yeah, so what do I need to do again to get more than plus five weapons? I probably need some ember for him, I'm guessing. You need the large ember from behind Butcher Man in the depths. You might have picked that oh, one up randomly. I've thought about that while I, when I was there, and I didn't pick it up because I forgot while I was dying all the time. Not too hard to get to it from the bonfire in there that you can... Well, I was gonna say you can warp to it, but you haven't unlocked warp yet, so. Yeah, it's kind of... I don't know, what, what have you killed by so far? I haven't even looked at your stream for a bit, I was just um, concentrating on I'm gonna own. kill Gaping Dragon next. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this has already become significantly easier, just having a club plus five and leveling up a bit. <laughs> yeah, I don't Going know why to you didn't do it. Because <laughs> getting plus five is pretty easy too, because you can buy the Titanite. Oh yeah, I know, I know. I just, I was just hell-bent on going to Gaping Dragon at that point for some reason. You Which actually is actually not a problem. Non upgraded item weapon. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so boring. Diddler told me how to basically no hit run this bo uh, the, the boss. Which is basically just waiting for him to do the dash attack and just hit him while that happens. Mm -hmm. And gets a, becomes a pretty boring boss fight then, to be honest. Yeah. But it works, works pretty well. Oh shit, there was a second one. I forgot about you. Much obliged. Uh -oh. Much obliged. Uh, Jeb has done the math. Ant-Man going subatomic should create a black hole, which makes the time travel in Endgame even worse. Also, high rags, good boy. Hey. I don't, I don't know about any of that, but may very well be. I should probably kindle the for Ser serpent boy. Let me. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> what do you expect for the next Ratchet and Clank game? For, oh wait, didn't you just answer that? What's up? Sorry, what was the question? Uh, what do you expect for the next Ratchet and Clank game? Did um, you just I talk about? To be... Oh, well, we're talking about Ratchet and Clank, so I guess I expect it to be fun, gameplay-wise, oh. but story's probably not gonna be what I want. But I'm pretty sure this one is, like, um, ignoring the 2016 one and just going back to the main continuity, which means it will be better poised. It won't be ruining things I like. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, it'll probably be really fun. I think that's th these games tend to be fun, so... That'll be one that I will get whenever I get a PS5 at some point. Yeah. I guess you're racing, you have to balance the safe route with playing at Riskia for more damage boost to Gaper. Well, Gaping Dragon is already after uh, Gargoyle, so I can just level up then without any problems. I just didn't do it for stupid reasons. So it should be fine. Also, I know now just to use the resin while not getting hit by the boss pretty much all the time, any time. It should speed up the the boss by like double, I would I would guess. This damage is pretty good with the resin. Uh, it's actually is, really good. How is War Machine injured when he crashes in Civil War, but Tony is fine after being shot down by a tank and crash landing? Was it because Tony's suit was still functional? So, this is a problem. 
they show it to work that way once in Iron Man, but then at the same time they show how limited the suit is in every other instance of battle and wear and tear. Mm. So Civil War has to choose between those two for what is the truth about yep. the suit. Yeah, the outlier seems to be that tank shell. That tank shell, that shouldn't yeah. have happened. That's, that, that, that was a fuck up. It looked really cool. It was a cool scene, <laughs> but yeah. It shouldn't have happened. So Civil War said, nah, uh, that's not a thing. If you fell that far, it's even worse in, in Iron Man 1 than what happens to War Machine. But I think part of what they try not to like, show with War Machine is that his suit is like unpowered. Like So whatever yeah, it's completely offline. may have, I don't know, helped to absorb the damage they were off. Yeah. And yeah, they, they even show like the, the, the like a little inside view, and it's like completely uh, black. Like yeah. you can only see a little bit through the through the eyes, which I'm not actually sure how that works because it looks like there's no visor in front of the eyes in that shot. So yeah, if you desperately want a satisfying and satisfactory sort of answer from in universe, the best you could say is that his like power core was off or destroyed, and so whatever that would have done made the difference. But I would rather just say that it's a mistake in Iron Man, and they didn't mm. go through the mistake again in Civil War. Well, I mean, it's interesting, right? Because in Iron Man 1... Sorry, I, I zoned out briefly, so you might have actually... Did you mention the scene where he fell out of the sky when he was trying to fly really high? <laughs> you can yeah. say we mentioned it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Briefly. I forget what I, forget yeah. what I was about to say. Then. I was just going to repeat the same point. <laughs> uh... Ostiches are apex predators, I think. Um, Ostiches? Are they? are they? I don't know. I don't know. What? Holy shit, he's get the fuck out of me. <laughs> okay, mortal. Uh, one of those scaly guys. I don't even know where that one came from. I forgot. Man, he, he scared me. That ragdoll backstab. Yeah, I heard some 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 steps. It's like, oh, this is a ragdoll, and then I get fucking stabbed in the back by someone. Uh, so this is a. Why did you lock onto that one? That almost killed me. Oh. Oh god. Get over here. Mm. Not so fast. See ya, bitch. I don't have any poison cures. I lost all my Capra money that I was going to spend on them. Sad face. <laughs> That's how it be. That it do. Whoa, Mr. Rat. That was a bit much. I don't think anyone liked <laughs> that. Everybody does like that. Yeah, you can dance if you want to. You can dance. You can dance. Everybody Rats. Mm -mm. Alive, and that's what matters. Rats are pants for rats. So I saved it. Uh, Neanderthals job. and humans actually reproduced with each other at various points. Pretty much, pretty much every European has between one and three percent Neanderthal in them. Yep. Neato. No, you. Yeah, okay. that explains a lot about Europeans. Oh, I thought you said Europeans. Oh, hey, that's me. Boo. I'm also one of those. No, you're not. I'm glad I was never a European. Wait a minute. I've been European cringe. Stop peeing. You're European. <laughs> Put the pee away. Uh, Rags, tell Fringy that it's his fault for bringing in creationist Ken Ham to America. Oh. So if oh, I don't, I don't think I want to get into a point scoring exercise with who has the weirdest creationists. Weirdest Christians, yeah. <laughs> well, Scott Morrison is like a weird Christian, and he's the leader of this country, not for long, maybe, but yeah. Was he? Was he streaming? Uh, who I'm streaming? This is Baller Rags Friggy. Yeah, idiot. Whoa. Sorry, it just slipped out. Is there an idiot? Hey! Stop it! Uh, the guy who made Shin Godzilla is making a Shin <laughs> Ultraman movie, but I doubt that you guys care much about Ultraman anyway, but I hope you're interested. I'm afraid I've I'm not. I've never heard of Ultraman before. 
Is he like a, a dude who's just pushed to the limits? Like a super kind of guy, but ultra. That's what oh, I think it is. Super ultra man. How much do you think the intended audience affects the standards of storytelling? What if an autistic audience needs more exposition to understand? Um, I don't... So... This you don't even need to cite autistic people. <laughs> you can just cite regular <laughs> people. Um, the problem isn't usually that the information wasn't there. It's just it wasn't um, either comprehended or even perceived. Like we we get to the point where it's like, I mean, like this isn't in any way meant to fucking dick on Wolf. Yeah, I said it, dick on Wolf. But Ew. in our first conversation about Civil War, he said one of the bigger <laughs> bigger oh, problems with Civil War was that they never even tried to tell. Tony, that Winter Soldier was uh, brainwashed. And it's like, oh. Which they clearly do. They do like three, I think it's three times. Yeah. It's, I know it's twice at least, but yeah. Like, and, and this is the thing, you normal people will watch a thing and they'll completely miss stuff that you think would be obvious. Like we, the well, show I mean, has it, been about a lot of that. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting, right? Cause when, when you talk about like the standard writing advice, show don't tell, a lot of books tell, despite that, and a lot of the books that tell are the books that people think are really good, because you can't misunderstand it. Whereas when you show instead of telling, you're not communicating something in a way that is <clears throat> unmistakable. You're kind of trusting that people are going to be able to either figure it out or infer something or put a couple of other clues together. Um, and you create better work that way, but... You know, there's a good chance. I mean, Bly Manor is a great example. They rely on you figuring certain, like, all of the information is there, but it's not told to you. And because of that, a lot of people probably didn't get a lot. Well, not get it, but missed it. You know. I changed the jump button to the other key binding, and it just cost me big time. <laughs> oh, look at you go! I was supposed to jump <laughs> over that gap, but I forgot that I had changed the binding. Books yeah. can't show. Yeah, they can. What are you talking about? Books can't show. What are, what can. are you talking about? Oh no, you have set to Fringa. Um, so, so like, uh, here's well, a good. I mean, you can example. you can do yours if you want. Oh. Uh, I guess the example would be so. Here's here's telling. Uh, I don't know. John cast his gaze towards the window. Wait, no, hold on. Let me let me. Th I mean, I've I've got one that's a real you just, one. Yeah, you would just assume John's gender. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, yeah, you got a real one. Bro. Yeah, I've got a real one. So, um, Barristan Selmy in Game of Thrones, the show, he is removed by Joffrey, and then he saves uh, Daenerys' life at the beginning of Season 3. And it's like, oh shit, it's Barristan. That's cool. In the books, Barristan Selmy is, is booted from King's Landing, and then a guy who's really good fighter and wears a hood and people don't recognize in another part of the world is helping her. And so all the fans are like, that's Barristan Selmy, isn't it? The book isn't <clears throat> saying his name because it's a cool little secret. But um, because you can't actually see it, you, you, you we can't tell straight away, but other people know him there, or at least they can't recognize him with the hood and everything. Like, and someone in chat's gonna be able to correct me on this. I'm, I'm being very uh, scattered about this, but y it wouldn't matter if the example's true or not. The book is showing you something is happening, it's not telling you that something's happening. I like, feel um, like, I mean, when it comes to, because with books, I guess it's the whole thing of like exposition versus description, right? So like, I dot e, I don't know. He met this character. The character. Was wait, can like, I pause you there? Um, yeah. Do you always say I dot e? I don't think I always say I dot e. I sometimes, I'm pretty sure I say I e. This is the, this is the second time I've heard it. And it's just, I find it so <laughs> strange. I, I you know I've that, only know ever known for... people to say I e, not. I dot you. Someone might just have said yeah, he does. <laughs> you might as well just, you know, you don't actually save any syllables by saying IE instead of what it stands for. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, um, I guess either I, in I English or Latin. Would be like, um, I don't know, guy meets John. Hey, John, uh, guy said. John, I don't know. Uh, hey, hey, John said, as he scratched his, I don't know, as he scratched his, like, you know, thick stubble. Bald. Uh, or, or, I don't know, John croaked as he scratched his thick stubble. Say bald. Um, and then, like, Do how, you mean, how you been, John? Um, guys asks. Mm, 
John mumbled, rubbing his the, his eyes. I don't know. It's like, all right. So what can we infer that John's probably not having a good time? You can infer that, or it could be, "Hey, John, how are you?" Guy said, "I'm doing shit." John said as he rubbed his shitty beard that he had <laughs> shaved in weeks. His shitty beard. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, if Seems Brooke like the said narrator's... he had a shitty beard, I'd be like, "What do you mean?" Like, is it I, I actually, think the narrator though? has like... a has a bias against this man. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's what I mean, right? It's like sh telling is when it's when the narrator in a book just tells you the important information. Like this character felt. I think the clearest example is if the narrator tells you how a character feels, you've kind of screwed up. Well, I guess like, you shouldn't be telling me how they feel. The simplest way to put it is just like inference is absolutely in books. You infer a lot in books. Oh, of course. Well, in good books, yeah. <laughs> in bad books, not so much. And, uh, yeah, that's the simplest way of like translating it probably because of course an image compared to writing i could see why someone would be like isn't the writing going to be far more definitive than what is on the image but it's like i mean it's like it depends maybe depends on the narrator though it depends like in theory the text is more accurate because it it, it couldn't be another way like the text is you you can't really if the text says it is a thing in a lot of instances, you can't interpret it as any other way. It is what the text says that it is. Well, it, it depends. You could play around with it, right? So, like, if you had two you different could. POV characters in first person, and then you have their yeah. first person narration reveal how they feel about maybe X character, and they both have very different uh, descriptions of that character, you could... I mean, that's a, that's a fun thing you can do by playing with POV, and that's something that books can do that films aren't quite as well poised to do, <clears> just because... You, you're not you know like a, a films almost have like an omniscience right like a, a sort of omniscience that a narrator doesn't necessarily have they can but they might not bringy just lost 50 percent of my respect for nine likes and 11 uh in two minutes i, I don't know well I'm... in my defense i was inventing something off the top of my head um while I was trying hmm. to make a point, so yeah, maybe forgive me for that. Were there any likes or ahs in that sentence? There was like, there was, there was, uh, there was, I think, uh, I think there was, um, there was, I don't know. Uh. <sighs> but yeah, if you just have a person talking your whole book, they can tell you everything. Um, well. Happened. They could, but you could do better than that. That's all well, I'm advocating this is the thing. For. If you had, like, a guy telling a story, what he makes explicit and what he doesn't is part of what would make for what's It's part of the story, yeah. yeah Why does when a it... character mull over this specific thing and then gloss over these other things? Why does this character describe things in the way that he does? Yeah, and um, some people are like, you know, you, uh, so, someone said you need explicit information, and sometimes it's like, well, yeah. Uh, th this is also dependent sure. on how much we need to follow versus what we can guess, I suppose. Um, <clears throat> and you get that done. Like, you know, for example, someone bursts into a room, someone's dead, someone's standing there with a gun, they're like, what happened? And then, what they say, uh, you could you could make many different decisions about what they're gonna say. But that doesn't mean there's nothing to infer just because it's written. That's, um... Well, I think that's a really narrow view of what you can achieve in a story. <laughs> You know, especially when talking about a book, there's there's a lot that you can pull. That's from what is, yeah, from like you said, what is said, what is unsaid, what they focus on, or how they describe things, how their thoughts coalesce in their head, and how they communicate them. You can achieve a lot. Um, that is something that books are uniquely positioned to do in a way that a lot of other things can't. But of course, you know, think, um, film and TV and, and everything have their other advantages. An example. Um... I would pull from WandaVision. When when Vision is like realizing he's disintegrating in this dome, he doesn't say help me, he doesn't say like you guys need to figure out the fuck's going on. He just appeals straight away to you have to save the people, the people who are in here. Help. Says a lot about his priorities. Yeah. And I like that. I like that a lot. It's great, yeah. It might not it's even be on purpose, but I like it. <laughs> then he fucks him? around in a zoo instead in, in, yeah. a, in a yeah, circus yeah. instead of flying back to Wanda and asking, What the fuck? Yeah, it, yeah. Yeah. It also takes ages to knock stupid girl's brain out of whack with her tisms when he knows yeah. at this point very well what it is. He's trying to appeal to her when she's clearly under the mind control. It's like, what are you doing? This is the first episode where Wanda and Vision don't have any interaction, is it? 
isn't it? I think so. And two, like this there's a significant, no sense. There's a significant thing we learn about both of them that annoys me. <laughs> so, yeah. Hope we do better. And it's already sad because I know the show could have been way better already. Oh yeah, easily. Save the people, also Martha. Yeah. Ready, Ready Player One writes like how Peter Griffin writes his eroticas. Yeah, I mean, on the when we finished the stream the other day, I was reading some excerpts from that book. Uh, Rags, have you heard of Ready Player One, the book? I have. I've heard of the have book. You, have you ever been read any excerpts from that? No, I have not. All right, let's. All right, here we go. Gracious. <laughs> 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 I made a big entrance Whoa, when I uh, arrived. Don't move your fucking microphone all the time when you try to speak. It's really annoying. <laughs> you I also blow the ears out of your all voice my viewers. Your voice makes a big entrance. You don't have to do yeah. it, Friggy. I swear. It's I, like I'm in no, a prison I was, cell. I was <laughs> trying to quiet down. I was trying to quiet down when I got closer. I'm didn't. sorry. I was trying to be dramatic. It scared everyone. I did. <laughs> See, look at, look at Thunder S. What the fuck, ear. Friggy? Now I'm just See that? Sad. You've upset oh, everyone, right, you've ruined the vibe. Look at Metal, <laughs> he's crying. Okay, alright, look, I'm sorry, alright? Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> fuck you, Iron Golem. You're dead all as right, fuck, boy. Hold on. I'm gonna turn my volume down. Now I'm gonna get- is that better or is <laughs> that- someone, you, you don't have to do <laughs> So, someone in chat just said, ah, people scared, ah. So, see, like, I'm all the way back here, and I can just lower my voice down when I get closer and closer, and then I can do this, and it doesn't hurt your ears. Okay. I like all it right. a lot. I don't all right. Point, 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 man. I'm, I'm very sorry. I was about to fall asleep. Well, look, now you're awake now, so I guess you got something out of it. Yeah, you have to wake you up for this. It's, a, it's incredible. You're falling asleep. I'm going to Anna Londo. I have 60,000 souls, I'm kind of scared to be honest. I'm fine, a giant rat, I'm very scared. Is it a good rat? I, well, I don't know if you see the stream rag, would you call, if you were to prejudge this rat before getting to know it, would you consider it good? Prejudge the rat before I get to know it? <laughs> yeah. That does not look like a good rat. It that does, rat it does is, it. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. It's a zombo rat. That rat looks very... <laughs> Main also hollow, but that rat looks very <laughs> diseased and mm -hmm. mean. That is an angry feral sewer rat. I Bring the approaches my... mic, audience flees. Mala approaches mic, audience unzips. <laughs> uh, Alright. Can we get the blessed pipe meant to read it instead? <laughs> oh no. I'm so sorry. You don't me. want that to happen. Bring I wanted to hit the excerpts. Oh, I kinda got Push the mic from doing it now. <laughs> now I'm all sad face. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'll find it again. Alright, here we go. Uh, I made a big entrance when I arrived in my flying DeLorean, which I obtained by completing a Back to the Future quest. Attained? On the planet. <clears throat> I'd obtained. Oh. I'd obtained. Oh, okay. by I, like, I made a, a big entrance. It's like, oh. Uh, we already have uh, an issue. <laughs> <laughs> By completing a Back to the Future quest on the planet Zemeckis, the DeLorean came outfitted with a non-functioning flux capacitor, but I'd made several additions to its equipment and appearance. First, I'd installed an artificially intelligent onboard computer named Kit. Springy, before you go any further, is it is it bad that I moved my mouse over to Discord looking for a pause button? <laughs> <laughs> Because without thinking, I have moved my mouse over to Discord, and I like like I was expecting it to be a pause button that would just make you stop. So you could talk about how bad it was. Kind yeah. of. Like I got um. sucked into watch together EFAP mode. I'm about to say like this is shit. <laughs> there is no pause here. There is no pause in this debate. We have to go through the whole thing. Oh fuck! Um, it's terrible. It's like so a twelve year old he... is writing his fan fiction. Yeah. So he purchased a computer named Kit. Which he oh, and he also bought kid. a matching red knight, uh, not knight, red knight, a red knight rider scanner just above the DeLorean's grill. Then I'd outfitted the car with an oscillation overthruster, a device that allowed it to travel through solid matter. 
Finally, to complete Damn. my 80s super vehicle theme, I slapped a Ghostbusters logo on each of the DeLorean's gullwing doors, oh, then ugh, added personalized awesome. plates to that red Ecto-88. It, I'd only had it a few weeks now, but my time-traveling, ghost-busting, night-riding, matted-penetrating DeLorean had already become my Avatar's trademark. Mm. Uh. And that's not even the worst one. I remember there was a paragraph, I think I read it, where literally the paragraph was, I have, I have watched all of the movies ever made that this guy said, and it's like, what are the list of the films? Oh, you know, all the things like Kubrick and fucking um, Spielberg and like all of the directors that are standard and also like I read all the books he suggested too all of them until I could remember them off by heart it's like dude no you didn't please stop oh well he said that he, he'd watched war games and stuff all 80s movies of course because that's I guess that's when Ernest Klein was hold on when, when is that prick born um Ernest Klein he was born in yeah 1972 yeah Don't, don't do it. Don't. Oh, okay, that was close. Whew. All right. Yeah, it's real bad. I remember Ready Player One being real bad, too. <clears throat> the movie. They made a second one, right? Or at least there's a second book, sorry. I don't know. Maybe. Yes, I believe so. <clears throat> um, well, you believe anything. If you ever cover videos on WandaVision or anything MCU and need an expert on the subject, let me know. I've seen each movie three to four times and have miles of complaints about WandaVision and Endgame and other films. P.S. Civil War and Homecoming are objectively great. Fringy, you're speaking my mind. I'm assuming that's in regards to uh, one of the many subjects that we've covered. And, um, yeah, that's the thing. Like, we're already stacked up for MCU people because we're all MCU people. <laughs> <laughs> what you snooshlin at? You I just lowered the the elevator, and one of the, the those those guard guys, those white guard guys, just fell down with it. It looked really funny. White like, guard guys. Yeah, I so, don't remember how they called the painting dude, bros. Paul uh, Blart. Oh, so they're it's, called it's funny Blarts. because they're white. Okay. So I said Will Wheaton does the audiobook. Ugh. <laughs> uh, the, the, the little... It's like the the cherry on the turd sandwich. Uh, so I just stepped out for a second I heard cherry on the turd sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, apparently Will Wheaton narrates the audiobook. He did. Yeah, he did. Ugh. Um, well, because... Yeah. In terms of the, uh, the the bibliography, right? So I've read two out of three of his books, Ernest Klein's books. Will Wheaton. Ready oh. Player One. <laughs> well, I didn't do the audio book because Will Wheaton was narrating. <laughs> so I read them. Um, uh, oh God, and he's written screenplay. Well, he wrote the screenplay for Ready Player One. Um, but yeah, so Ready Player One, which is basically <clears throat> just eighties references over and over and over again. Um, and then How Armada, clever. which is like. Ender's game, but with pop culture references, so that's super fun. Um, all of the characters, like, I, I don't, this is not how you write stories, but like, but clearly it is because these books were incredibly successful. And I guess it's really frustrating because, like, yeah, so was Twilight. Like, but, no, I know, that's kind of what I'm getting at, right? Is like, when it comes to the forefront media and uh, the forefront in this genre, it's like, I, I guess the genre of like video game books, like Ready Player One is the most successful, it's crap. It's just really shit. Um, and, it's, and then it got made into a Steven Spielberg feature film, which is just like, are you kidding me? Like, come on. Really lame. You could have better stories like this. It's too reference heavy. Yeah, it's, it's all reference. <laughs> That's all it is. Does he only know how to reference these? Well, he grew up in the 80s. That's the problem. Oh, he grew up in the 80s. He watched Ready Player One. I mean, I'm, pretty sure he, I'm pretty sure he owns a DeLorean. Like how a real life DeLorean. How does he have the rights to do it in the, in the movie, I guess, as well as the book? Um, I guess, I don't know how rights work when it comes to references. Like, do you right. have, I, I feel like you don't have to pay somebody to just name the war games, you know what I mean? You know, like Iron Giant turning up in the movie, is oh, that just... Well, Iron Giant is, um, Warner Brothers, I'm pretty sure Ready Player One was, um, I'm pretty sure it was made by oh, Warner I didn't, like, to... 
I didn't ma it didn't matter if they owned or not. I was mostly like the concept in general. Like so, he turns up as a thing they made in reference to a thing that exists as media. So is that okay in context or no? Well, what do you mean? Like it's like in terms of the story or the rights? Yeah, yeah like, like if they didn't own him, would would that I like in and of itself? Um, I'm not sure because they got like I saw Tracer and like Master guy. Chief and stuff in that film too. They had a lot of references to like a lot of other properties, and I'm and all I can imagine. I don't know how it works. Like I don't. Mm. I don't know if you can. Did get they away pay with a that check for each one of them? Well, I guess that's what I'm saying, right? It's like, did you or or, you know, like short. Sure, I don't know. I don't know how it would yeah. work. Like, if you have Tracer, it's like you must have had to ask Blizzard if you could do that, right? Or like, if you have Deadpool, it's like, well, you surely had to ask somebody permission for that, right? <clears throat> I don't know. Hmm. Oh, the Silver Knight's arrows curve just to get you. Yeah. <laughs> But I guess in a book it's okay because you're not using visual imagery, which I think is the most important part, right? It's like the design of Tracer is like an oval is not is owned by Blizzard, but like the concept of Tracer existing kind of doesn't. You actually have glowy feet. Yeah, I um, I picked up the ring that says uh, you don't make any sound if you put it on, and it's <clears> funny, it's changed a couple of encounters already. Oh, okay. Like, I never tried that. Yeah, I figured. We haven't really ever tried it or really even heard of it because it's just yeah, not that good, it. but like it's interesting so far. You can't Enough see to make cam your... camera? Oh, okay. Thank you, camera. Thank you. Enough to make Ernest you. Klein oh. also wrote a slam poetry, which isn't real poetry, where he was talking about how. This isn't real girlfriend. poetry. <laughs> yeah. I said it's not real. It's not real poetry. No, I don't. Fuck Maybe, if it doesn't like, rhyme, poetry. it's not poetry. Fucking fight me. Well, I mean, I, I feel like it's even more than that. Not only does it not rhyme, there is no structure. Like, a haiku has a structure. It doesn't need to rhyme, but it's, you know, isn't it, like, five syllables, seven syllables, five syllables? That's the haiku. Like, at least there's a rule there. But slam poetry just seems to be, a, like, a I don't know, an essay, but you yell it. God, that's um, so scary. Well, so, yeah. yeah, but here's the thing. I yell my McDonald's order in the drive-thru. Another mega poetry, yeah. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm but, so um, fucking dead. The poem was just about how he likes girls who read, basically. Like, that was it. Okay. Like, I don't want a girl who's, like, really hot or anything. I want a girl who, like, goes to the library and, like, watches Back to the Future. It's like... <laughs> I just realized I've been upgrading okay. strength for no reason. Sad face. You are no a 40-year-old man, but, alright. Man, and Orlando with all the arrow guys. Gotcha, oh, that's pretty scary. I forgot how... Yes, it is. Crazy it is in this one, Jesus. I want a hot, curious bitch. <laughs> Alright. Look, poetry. I like that. <clears throat> yes, I am eating. Uh, who would win in a Godzilla vs. Kong? Godzilla, the normie choice, or Kong, the correct choice because monkey? Um. No, so, Godzilla unfortunately, would Godzilla would Z easily beat King Kong. Their power levels aren't even, like, Close. designed to work with one another. Godzilla <laughs> shoots lasers out of his mouth. Kong can't do that. Yeah, but he Kong melts has, has cities a... with his sheer radiation. Remember, it's pulsing, yeah, Kong... and he's just tearing everything apart by walking around. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But Kong has, like, a But a, I'm sure a, a big gorilla a could beat him up. Well, yeah, so... of course. Rod. I suppose the question becomes is just like which which one are we dealing with for both of them? And uh if it's literally just a lizard who's large versus a large monkey or ape, whatever, um like big gorilla versus big lizard. I guess the gorilla would probably win. Um, yeah, just through well, sheer no, strength. The lizard, but the lizard has really hard skin. Yeah, shit sure, I yeah, but I feel like the blunt trauma that a Maybe, gorilla would yeah. inflict would just it just yeah, pound I wouldn't, it. I don't want to, like, understate gorillas are fucking, you know, beasts. They will fuck you up. But, I mean, yeah. the problem is, the current iteration of Godzilla's mainstream that I assume is being referred to in relation to the film that's coming out, that one, oh, he's already died and come back to life. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you just set up a nuke next to him and he's good to go. He's powered by nukes. It's, 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 he's a tough one. He's a tough cookie, you know? Yeah. Now, um, someone has asked, oh, um, you who would you choose, uh, or if you had to choose between Kate Kane Batwoman and Man of Steel Superman trying to save, uh, trying to save you, who would you choose? It's obviously Kate Kane is Batwoman. She cannot um, fail. I'm trying to think of the universe has, has will she, bend has to she her failed will. failed to save people before? 
Not the mm. people she's trying to save. I think, yeah, whenever she puts Ooh. her mind to she wants to save a person, they will be saved. And whenever Superman wants to save someone, at the very least, everyone around him will die. Danger. Yeah, everyone. He saves yeah, if I'm going to get I'll saved either way, forward. I still only want Kate Kane to save me because I don't want, like, a city to be destroyed. Yeah, I, was gonna say, I actually think hmm. Kate Kane is the answer. Pretty much even if someone proves Superman's more likely to save you, it's like, yeah, but the city gets to live if Batwoman does it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, unless her saving you means that Alice gets to blow up a train or something. Still. <laughs> Still. <laughs> well, a train is less than a city, you're right. That's you guys seen DCEU that. did great. Yep. That's such a good <laughs> I, uh, I saw, I watched some, there was footage of Diablo 4. That game looks cool. I don't know anything about Diablo, but that game looks really cool. I like the art style. Another one they pissed everyone off with, um... Oh my god, they killed a bad guy for me, thanks. Uh, the mobile Diablo whatever, didn't that happen? Oh, I think Diablo Immortal pissed people off, but Diablo 4 made people really happy. And yeah. I think the big thing that made people happy was, and this is something that I thought for a while until Diablo 4 came out, which is that Blizzard, there is kind of like a Blizzard art style, and it's, it's unfortunately it's one that has been kind of ripped off by many, 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 many other games, including a lot of mobile games, which is these really bulky, almost like everything is exaggerated further um and i think that was what diablo 3 like what a lot of people didn't like was that it was almost like made to be like world of warcraft in sort of tone and style whereas like diablo 4 looks really sort of uh lovecraftian and like gothic and macabre and it looks really fucking cool like it, it looks like a really cool looking game um i don't know anything about the gameplay but it looks fun at least in that trailer i saw hmm but then with Overwatch 2, they're kind of like trying to- it almost feels like they're trying to justify it to people. They're like, no, look guys, that has a lot of content, oh, you... really. Oh, <laughs> I, I see that that up- I really- I see that that upset you a lot. <laughs> the realization that there is Overwatch 2. <laughs> uh, AKA know. story mode for Overwatch 1. <laughs> well, yeah, it's um, <laughs> it's kind of weird. They probably- it looks like because they said that there are hundreds of story missions i'm like what do you mean by hundreds are you are you screwing with me or are you like are you messing around with the numbers here like yeah you it's having a giggle a hundred but it's really 20 or something and a london 50 metal zero yeah and Lono's kicking my ass right now this fucking walk this through the archers jesus that last one up there that's that one is a fucking dick Can't even Overwatch kick him off. Nothing. Um, I mean, it looks like they're adding stuff, <clears> and I guess it's just there's a there's it's almost but you have to oh. because so much of it is clearly like you are just copying over the work that you did in the first game. So it's almost like you have to go out of your way to be like there is a lot of content because like I do otherwise this? why didn't you just add it as an update? Why am I paying for it? You know. Because we're gonna try to get as much money out of Overwatch before people just stop playing it. Mm. I mean, I'd like to give it another chance. Like, there's wrong stuff wrong. I like about Overwatch. Like, I like yeah, the, like, I've fun I've games. mostly enjoyed playing it. I just I just haven't played a Blizzard game in a long, long time, and I don't want to ever play a Blizzard game again. And they're never gonna get any more money from me. Fuck like Blizzard. Oh, I didn't sit cool. at Firelink. Oh. <clears throat> Somebody asked, how would you guys fix the DCEU? Would you continue it or reboot it? Or not bother Reboot? With the why would we ever continue it? Yeah, <laughs> how would you? Yeah, are, I don't even know how you'd start to continue again. it. We are done. We are not doing our Flash reboot either. We're just going to pretend. Absolutely. To You've destroyed Batman, over. Superman, and Wonder Woman. <laughs> like, yeah, what? <laughs> There's no like, way. The most important character now is Aquaman. We're done. We gotta start Complete over. Complete and total reset from the ground yeah. up. Or we're, I'm gonna. No, we're going to salt the cast earth cast. where the original yeah. EU was made. We're not having any returning cast. We're not gonna make it confusing at all. Sorry, Henry. Sorry, Ben Affleck. Like, nah. We we gotta start fresh. Totally fresh. And we're gonna start by taking our goddamn time. We're gonna have our solo movies with Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman to, that actually have it all make sense and be coherent and they have an arc and grow and they don't cause so much collateral damage and they have like values that they want to adhere to. And then slowly start building that team. And then start adding your extra characters like Aquaman. Oh, you fuck! Yeah, some of our superheroes are gonna be good people. <laughs> <laughs> Piece of shit up there. 
Cast Ruby Rose Rose as Superman? Fucking done. (laughs) He just bolted me in the face with the dragon arrow. He was like, nah, mate. (laughs) He disagreed with your opinions. (laughs) Fucking hell. I was so happy I didn't get hit. No, continue the DCEU. (laughs) So frustrating. No. (laughs) What's that? Somebody said start with a new Snyderverse. It's like, no, no. he's not No, anywhere. fuck Snyderverse. <laughs> fuck Jack Snyder or whatever his fucking name is. No. Jack Snyder. Jack. <laughs> Are you trying to tell Jason? me you haven't been impressed by Man of Steel? Zach. BBS? Zach Snyder. <laughs> fuck Zack Snyderverse. Right, give him one it's more shit. chance. One more chance with Snyder Cut. One more chance. That silence means yes. <sighs> Definitely. <laughs> That is Suicide to Squad me, part of the Snyderverse? This guy. Uh, well, or... yes, but he didn't. It's not his fault that one technically. <laughs> it's not is his it... fault. He's not responsible for that. <laughs> not one. like it's partially his fault, but not like that. Crime time. against art is not his. I, I think that's what. Yeah, he's a producer. <laughs> many, many, many of these films. Well, yeah, like, it's still kind of his fault. Is a oh, okay. And I, I want everyone to remember that uh, of all the ones we've seen so far, apparently according to like Patty Jenkins, they're all like on each other's team. They're like, "Yay, we're the DC creators!" Woohoo! Joss Whedon's the one who fucked it all up with Justice League. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder Woman 1984 is incongruous with Batman v Superman. They're all <laughs> fucked. <laughs> it's just <laughs> funny. My God, I've never they had didn't so care much about trouble anyone else's movie. movies or their own other movies. Which is funny considering that. <sighs> By this point in the MCU, there had been no, like, crossover of characters. This series has already had characters crossover into other ones. And, like, even still, none of it is dangerous. Someone said, like, what do you want? You want JJ to take over if you get rid of Snyder? And I'm like, out of those two, I don't sure. even know who's who it is. I just, out of whatever. those two, like, why, would, why are they assuming that that's what the dichotomy is? Them or JJ Abrams? It's like... How about I mean, if I had to choose, it'd be JJ. I mean, it, it, it might be a hypothetical JJ. rather than them saying that's what's going to happen. <laughs> well, no, it's because JJ Abrams is doing a Superman movie. I don't think he is so anymore, he... is he? Dump it, I game. I can't remember because I got all that info from oh, Fandom Menace side of things, and I don't yeah. know if they if they've told me recently like it's not happening anymore. I can't remember. I think I think it's Justice League Dark. I think that's what he's doing. Yeah, now that I think. Yeah. About okay. It. So like, Snyder Cut's probably going to be. I hope it's not as bad as I worry, but... You got to fucking shit at me! You got to stop! I gotta watch this VOD. Did someone, <laughs> someone clip that? <laughs> what just happened? Twice in a row, that last archer guy, <laughs> instead of taking out his weapon like he usually does, he just <laughs> continued shooting me with his dragon arrows while I was standing right in front of him and yeets me off the fucking yeah. ledge. Uh, I'm keeping your stream up on my screen so that I can see what's happening. Every time same. I close it, they yell again. <laughs> I'm gonna try to pull it back. It's up. the same guy. That guy is like this guy is, has like high kill count. This KD is insane. I can't even kick him off. He's such a dick move to place him there by the devs. <laughs> <laughs> line strudel. Yeah. Oh. Could cut me some slag. I'm not wearing pants or anything. Like, come on. <clears throat> I keep forgetting what I'm even trying to do. I'm like, wait, where am I? I Sands Fortress. That's where I need to go now. <sighs> EFAP 36 is objectively the best. Praise the Dawn <clears throat> and Heil Rags. Spell actually Heil. Yeah. Um, <gasps> I'm getting sleepy as well. My God. <clears throat> Only three, four a.m. Idiot. <laughs> Shut up, nerd. Um, E536, is that the birth of the dawn? It probably is. If I think I'm more like the people who run at me if they're not wearing pants, that's because you're a coward! <laughs> if the Agatha Dragon Knight made... goes to bed. Go ahead. Uh, the Dragon Knight goes to bed every night knowing he killed one more nutty undead running on the side of the building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Protect Anna Wanda. God. I forgot how annoying he is. Um. If Agatha brought, uh, made Pietro, then why was he the wrong person? I don't know. I don't know what they're going to argue for that. <clears throat> I don't know how all that makes any sense. 
Um, I personally don't mind the Avengers and such not being involved. WandaVision takes place two to three weeks after <coughs> Endgame, still recovering from that. I don't care what you're recovering from. No, I, Do no. not give a shit. There's people getting kidnapped en masse in a... Like, the... <laughs> in the, a potential alternate dimensional portal world. And at the very least, you owe us that. You owe us a line where they're like, the, they're recovering. The, like, the idea that Professor Hulk is like, nah, I'm oh, not going to help God. you with that. I'm busy yeah. with my... I'm Reef. resting. I'm busy resting. The guy was like working hard on shit when half his face no, arm was burned off. Over here. Thing. Oh, that's like, just yeah. more death. Okay. Uh oh, that was a mistake. I don't believe it for a second. Yeah, bullshit. Oh wow! This time, this time when I you bastard. He's, <laughs> he's, he he knows yeah. what I'm doing. I was like, I'm just gonna heal real quick. He's like, oh, this time I'm gonna get out my sword. Bounty, thanks for the reset. Yeah, that, that looked like you're not having a fun time there. Remember when oh, I did he's it? kicking my ass. Remember when I did it, it worked the first time, and then I fucked up, and then I couldn't do it yeah. like 17 more times. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's an absolute chad, yeah. There's like no way to dodge him as well. He's just standing there, it's like, you have to go through me, you have to do something. And I don't think my the, the, cl uh, the club is good enough to stagger him back. Uh, Maybe with a with a oh this is risky though, like with the jump attack. Oh Jesus! Uh, someone in chat says something interesting. Uh, have you guys got to Suicide Squad yet? I still think it's the worst of the bunch. And uh, their qualification was at least Wonder Woman eighty four is a complete film. Now what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Wait. So what's interesting is there's uh, in that comment I believe they are saying, you see what Suicide Squad's the worst because it's clearly like edited like a jumbled mess. Now. What editing like a jumbled mess actually does is essentially create like loads of problems. Not just in terms of your emotional experience, but like plot. Like there are several times where Rags is asking us where or what stuff is, and having seen the film, yeah. we're like, there is no answer for that. <laughs> Sorry. And of course, there's a good chance that resulted because they've cut scenes out that may have explained things better. And so the implication I'm giving right now is that Suicide Squad is as complete as basically all of the fucking films. <laughs> like it's, yeah, they're, it's, all... they're all filled with absolute garbage nonsense. We only assume that Suicide Squad is bad because it was torn to shreds okay. when edited. I have, I have a plan. Um, there's also redundant scenes. Oh, fuck off. There's, yeah, there's lots of things really, really wrong with uh, Suicide Squad that you could probably attribute to oh, having gosh. been edited wrong. And then the breakneck pace, oh well. Let's just say the pacing being fucked is, is something. But yeah, we uh, we do not conclude that Suicide Squad is the worst. No, it's not. It's yeah. not a high bar, but it's not. Yeah, it's a pretty bad movie. <laughs> There's no doubt. It's all bad. What if I... Uh-oh, don't get hit by that arrow. It has... Oh, I would up. say that... It has, like, I maybe of all of them, it has the least amount of redeeming qualities to it. Uh, yes, no, it worked. I, I yes. would disagree with that. I'm a fucking genius. I think Where, which would you say has Man the? Of Steel would you say one. Wonder Woman? One? No, Man of Steel. Oh, but what about like the soundtrack and some of the cinematography? Hmm, I guess, but that's. Uh, so yeah, I guess. I don't even think Suicide Squad had like a good, like no, anything. No, I don't think it did either. Um, so I guess uh, Butterfly wasn't here. I think. Because I I can't I'm not giving nope. the soundtrack credit because they just took other people's songs. There it is. Well, wait. So do you get like because it's not like the use <clears throat> of the songs in Man the, the songs themselves <sighs> in Man of Steel are really good and that's what we like about them. <sighs> yeah. Like the 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 songs are really good in Suicide Squad, but they're just thrown in. Yeah, they they weren't made for Suicide Squad. They're just a compilation of. <laughs> songs that are outside Fuck you, of Chad. Itself. Fuck yeah. you. <laughs> but I guess then, then the question becomes, well, we give credit to, like, Guardians for its really good use of outside tracks. So there's something there, right? It's not, no, yeah, it's I not agree. Do, are we complimenting Man of Steel for its use of those songs, or just those songs? I feel like um... it's just for the songs, because I feel like the only... You know what I mean? Like, it's, I guess it's, it's almost like, <laughs> oh, it, it really matched him flying. It's like, well, it was made for that. So, you know, like... It, well, you yeah, but that. some people... But but you you would expect... Yeah, but that's like saying you you would expect quality. Right, like, you, yeah. you would expect a song made for a yeah, thing think, to go well with that thing. I think I can concede that 
I like not only the songs themselves, but they do help the movie in that they're in the right scenes at the right time. <clears throat> Definitely. You know? So I, I can agree with that. Um, I guess what I was, I was kind of not even thinking that far ahead in terms of like, I was strictly talking about writing, and I just don't find there's anything I like about Man of Steel's writing, but in Suicide Squad there's these tiny pieces. Um, so for example, would probably, what did we, because we, we talked about all of this, but was it El Diablo is like the closest to anything? Or is, or is, was it someone else? I think so. He was the most, yeah. he was the closest thing that we had <clears throat> approaching, like, a character. Because he has some kind of an arc with his uh, family. Yeah, sort and of. like he, this is, it's so funny because I treat this like a child wrote it, and I'm like, it's really cute because you had a really cool idea. Um, being that he sees now that his family Shit. is the Suicide Squad, you know? And he's willing to fight for them because he doesn't want to fight in the first place because it, causes people to die and he killed his family by a dude. You know, there's... I can see what you're doing. Look at there's that. There's something there. There we go. <clears throat> you want to pat him on the head? And I think there's a couple of... Was there a couple of lines we liked? I can't remember. Like, um, literally a couple, I think. A couple, yeah. Like, in, in this, this two-hour-long movie, or however long it was, six-hour-long <clears throat> movie, no, yeah, there I'm were, not, like, not... a couple lines that I liked. And I was going to say, like, we might be able to say the same for Man of Steel, because I do remember we did, like, the, uh... The soldier guy and yeah the soldier man was cool there were some like uh, there's the little big details little tiny details um but uh yeah like i can't escape this overall sense of like i look at man of steel <laughs> and it's like this sludgy water that i have to just like it's definitely look. sludgy water yes mm, sludge. it's a sludgy um, water movie suicide squad is like a fruity drink filled with it's just like someone mixed a whole bunch of drinks and it's kind of muddy oh really because i was gonna go with it was like um like how because suicide squad to me if if sludgy water is man of steel Suicide Squad is like the colorful, oily film that's on top of a puddle that's been left in a parking lot. Mm -hmm. Yes, I oh, totally don't believe that shit. too. Yeah, that's how I see it. And it's not just the puddle, it's that it's very humid and it's summer and it rained overnight, so there's still a little bit of water left on the parking lot, but now it's sunny and it's really humid and it's miserable on that parking lot. And you couple that with the colorful, oily, surface of these little puddles that will almost that that are close to being you know evaporated away it, it smells bad and it feels Definitely hot smells and muggy bad, yeah. yeah that's what suicide squad is it's not pleasant like wonder woman 84 if it was a drink it would be a very fruity cocktail that's just wild and crazy <laughs> like Almost... it's not even good it's just bizarre tasting and you kind of want more I think the most redeeming things across all these movies, like Wonder Woman was um, Steve Trevor, Wonder Woman 84 was Max Lord, and then I think that's like it. <laughs> BVS was Alfred. Yeah. Oh, like, uh, oh right. It's a man to save these movies. But I, you know, it's a it's a fair question, and uh, the debate portion of the Man of Steel, the fact all of chat was suggesting their own sort should of like rationale first? for where movies should fall. It's like it's going to change over time, and it's really hard. Because like we said, you have to <laughs> zoom into the scale and look at like the 3.1 through 3.9 down to 2.5, you know, whatever. Like, the, we're having to really notch them because, fuck me, are these movies bad. It is interesting to see people <clears throat> and to hear, like, our conversation at the end of the Man of Steel EFAP where we try to, like, how our brains try and rationalize in the moment which one is worse and for what reasons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because Just, if someone said that they thought Wonder Woman eighty four was the was the best, you know, <laughs> I like they're they're all so <laughs> terrible that I would be curious to see why. I could I could see it. Someone would probably say like it had more heart than all the rest of them or something, and I'd be like, hmm, I can see why you may have gotten there. Yeah, I can see why you think. Because there are legitimately that. things about Wonder Woman eighty four that are actually kind of like, for instance, right. So this is such a low bar, but it just goes to show when um what when she do, when what's her face when she Barbara when she beats up that guy when she gets her powers mm -hmm. the film treats that like it is a villainous and evil thing to do and it is absolutely a villainous evil thing to do but like the film gets that right and that's kind of like amazing yeah because of how morally up. skewed mm. like these movies are like all of them are that's kind of incredible 
that they got that right. Chad is not happy with how I dealt with an Orlando rooftop guy. What did you do? Rag sure likes using well, I, I, this parking I, lot pedal I'm, analogy. I'm, I made him get a sword out, I walked back down, and he just walked off the ledge. <laughs> oh, that's the way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, also skipped basically all of Anno Lando because it just jumped over the, the stairs. Hmm. Str uh. Speedrun strats. <clears throat> and now I'm gonna go fight Onstein and Smo and gonna get annihilated. Probably. Yeah, that, that fight's tough if you haven't done it in a while. <laughs> I also only okay. have plus five club still. I don't know how bad this is gonna be. Yeah, plus five but I'm, be tough. But I'm here now, and I, I'm not going to walk all the way back. <laughs> Fat man and little boy. I yeah. Like the oily puddle. yeah, I think the oily puddle is a good analogy. <laughs> Where it's like, it's, this thing, it's colorful, but it's nasty and gross, and it, like everything about it is bad. But when it comes to visually, there's a tiny little bit of just like color, you know? Like it, it, in a very strange, twisted way, it's pretty. Hmm. But you have to twist it strangely to come out with prettiness, you know? Uh, but the, um, what, what is the favorite out of them? Is it 84 still? My favorite's 84. Crazy. <laughs> it, yeah, that movie is crazy. What an adventure the DCU is. Sure, let's call it an adventure. It is metal, you racist. Woo. It is like, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna try out Sin Smoke a couple of times, but it is getting, actually, it's getting early again. <laughs> if you catch my drift. Ew, I caught it. It smells. <laughs> Sorry, I guess it's what a is, poopy. What's your team name, Rags? It's Rags. Uh, I'm not accepting your friend request. Sorry. <laughs> person. I, for the most part, video games are me time, but I, it's hard enough to play with my <sighs> friends as it is. On Students Mo, it's been a long time. It well, really what's has. more epic, you battling on Students Mo <clears throat> or Tarkus fighting Iron Golem? I already beat up the Iron Golem. You Go didn't away. use Iron Tarkus, so you're not cool. Nah. The fans, uh, the fans want okay. Iron Tarkus, okay? Look at chat go nuts when they see him. Here he comes, the champion. Oh, he's so casual. He just, he knows oh, he's damage gone. is not bad. Oh my god, the damage he deals to me is not bad as well. <laughs> oh no! Did you get that guy to let you have the rags username? <gasps> um, That's the first death. Uh, let me see. I've got all of the moves that he has. He dashed me and deaded me. Hey, don't fight me. That's all wrong. You gotta go fight him. Come on, Tarkus, you can do it. <sighs> it takes a while to just get to the boss as well. I'm gonna. Use just one fire because it gives me 10 Nestas. Iron Tarkin is bad at <laughs> Barely touched him. I touched him once. He didn't like it. <laughs> oh, well, he grabbed Tarkin. <sighs> Whoa, Tarkus! I just let him fight on his own. <laughs> I always do. This is, this is one of my favorite parts of a Dark Souls playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> These two epic monsters <laughs> battling each other for the fate of the universe. Uh, thoughts on BlizzCon, if any? Oh, I haven't, I haven't seen it. About that, like, 20 minutes earlier, yeah. before, before. I have no thoughts on it, I didn't watch it. I'm, I'm one of them BlizzCon noobs I know nothing about. I was doing my own superior stream while that happened. Uh, mm. What's your favorite joke from Monty Python and the Holy Grail besides the whole film? <laughs> uh, the, the the other part that's not the film. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not sure what a favorite joke would be. I'll, um... I'll say I didn't forget the um the question and answers like portion on the bridge for a really fucking long time when I was a kid. I was like, <laughs> yeah. I lost my shit with that whole sequence. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's it's honestly it's probably something subtle like when um when the prince gets uh, casually pushed out the window and he goes whoop and makes that like weird kind of noise it, it would it would be something like that that i just that makes me laugh at like a throwaway line or just a the way something's delivered um piece of shit. uh no 
trying to think. Um, uh, yeah, it'd probably be something like that. I don't. <clears throat> not sure specifically. It's something like that. Did you hear what happened to Metallica during BlizzCon stream? No. Yeah. No. On what, what happened? So. Did they get a DMC A strike? They got a what? It, uh, <laughs> Let me get an article so I can report it accurately. Tacos got robbed. Robbed! So... Twitch dubbed, Meca Twitch dubbed Metallica's BlizzCon performance to avoid a copyright claim. <laughs> oh my god, really? I was joking. I don't understand. Like, what? Um, Twitch is more than a little jittery about. So this is from an Engadget article. Uh, Twitch is more than a little jittery about copyright, and that's having an effect of even for events where you think it would be safe. Um, Twitch abruptly cut off and dubbed over Metallica's BlizzCon 2021 performance. As Enter Sandman got underway, the streaming service abruptly replaced the performance with a wildly out-of-character, accordion-driven folk piece. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? The greatest You troll. can still find clips from the performance without dub mute. That's, that's duh. Um, you can still find clips from the performance online without the dubbed music, but even observers like eSports consultant Rob Breslau were hesitant to share full recordings to avoid copyright claims. That's so um, insane. Holy fuck. Uh, let's see. It's not surprising that Twitch would squelch Metallica's performance. Streamers on the service received a flood of DMCA takedown requests in spring 2020 over music. So, okay, so... I've heard stuff about this before, where mm -hmm. streamers have buttons and things that they can press to like mute the, like mute the stream and things like that, and how sometimes, um, yeah, like police and, um, like I've heard that during That's like wrong. demonstrations and riots and things, people will play loudly copywritten music over these loudspeakers. So that it can't be posted in places because the, the the robots will pick up the the copyrighted music, like the like the um like it's literally it's difficult to share the original because of the copyright issues that it would cause. It's kind of crazy. Mm. Copyright robots is shit. Yeah. Yeah. Or are shit. They the the ways the way that a um. Like the links that people go to to avoid it, um, and, and just how horrifically bad these, like the the system is for copyrighted music. It's horrifically bad. So I'm um, I'm in fine Iron Golem because he fucking Iron Talk is lost because he got stuck. <laughs> it was very sad. Everyone in chat was very upset. Um, I've been battling him with a fucking weapon that's essentially broken. I think I could probably do more damage if I swapped it, but I'm not sure because this one's at risk, but it's plus five. Either way, his, his health's going down, guys. <laughs> nice. Slowly but surely. Oh, that was a bad grab. That was a From Software grab right there. <laughs> TM. I'm very good at that. We need to be patient in this fight. Hell yeah, you do. Oh yeah. Wanted to do two hits, immediately got punished. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Look guys, Iron Tarkus was avenged. Nice, and Moth Tarkus. The, uh, the Iron Tarkus sounds like a, like a ship. <laughs> Maybe it is. That's some, that's something you'd name a, like like a battering ram. Yeah, I'm on board with that. Sounds like a pretty cool name. Uh, more what would you rather from <clears throat> a soft make? Oh, what would you rather from soft make? Um, a jungle game full of only animal insect themed enemies, a technologically advanced setting in a city, or a magic only game in a large sprawling vertical tower? Uh. 
How is it sprawling if you're only in one tower? I'm presuming, presumably in the whole game. Pretty impressive. Going up levels. Oh, shit. Yeah. Because in like, a fantastical setting, you could make a big fuck off size tower. That's just. Yeah. It's like a city you know, tower. Like a labyrinth. That's a cool idea. Make a city tower. Or it could be a reverse tower, like a big labyrinth, catacombs, where you descend deeper and deeper and deeper, and it just gets darker and more demonic as you go. Call it the like Dark Descent. Layers of Hell. Wait a minute. Dark Descent. That's a dumb name. That No one would ever use that. Oh, man. <gasps> I thought it was I cool. One S to slap me. You got what? I have one Estus left. I believe in you. How much health they got? Um, it's, um I don't want to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, uh, they're both still alive. So. <laughs> Anime gay Ragbo busting nutkins. Oh my god. Busting them nutkins. For a better example, oh. show Jack clenches his fist as blood rushes to his face. Tell Fuck, Jack is there angry. There we go. <sighs> no, he's not angry. He's just upset. All right, you're inferring wrong. But uh, you're wrong. Yeah, that's the basic idea. Good stuff. Rags, have you ever seen the movie Mud from 2012, starring Matthew McConaughey? It's set in Arkan. I nearly said Arkansas. Damn, Arkansas, and has some really tight writing. Also, have you ever seen a Cottonmouth? Also, Hi Mola. Hello. I have not seen the movie. I have touched a Cottonmouth. Oh my god. Um, so cotton mouths, I think they're the <laughs> the only venomous water snake. Um, I'm not sure though. There's only like 21. I think it's 21 venomous snakes in North America. Cotton mouths, one of them. We have them in Arkansas here. Um, but I was uh, I was by a lake, by a pond, and I was just going down, exploring mm. as a kid, looking around. Check, looking in the water and stuff like that, and I put my hand down on a rock. There was a bunch of rocks near uh, one of the sides of the pond, and a cotton mouth. I, I think it was. I only saw it for a brief moment, but it looked like a cotton mouth. It was like a dark brown with like nearly blackish, faint, subtle blackish stripes on it. Gross. Shot right out from between some rocks, crawled over my hand, and plumped right in the water. Damn. Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Did you name it? I named it. Holy crap! The snake. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, was uh, yeah. I'm I'm gonna end my stream here because I am tired. I am in trouble. <laughs> wait, wait, I'm sorry. I forgot. The people in chat warned me. I should have. I needed to fix my weapon. I completely forgot. It's my bad. You oh, got me. Oh well. I apologize. Okay. Well, you can go to, to the giant here, you can probably... What the fuck was that backstab you just got? <clears throat> I mean, I turned around and then he got me. Like, oh, did, okay, I, I, I must have blinked. He gave me the big old phone. Uh, I usually yeah, buy a gonna, repair powder because I know that this can happen, and then I didn't. Yeah, God just gonna damn add my, it. My, my stream, uh, I'll, I'll still hang for a bit, so give me a second. Okay. Uh, I agree with chat, metal is a quieter. <laughs> he is a... yeah. He, he's a quieter. Can we die now? We die now. Their word's not mine. We've died a lot. This is Dark Souls. I always forget questions when streams come up, but here's some monies. Um, thank you very much. And then this one just says message retracted. I'm sorry. It's gone. It's to the wind. It's escaped the world of men. Uh, oh. Alright. Did you watch or hear of Gravity Falls? Um, I've, I've heard of it. Seen something to do with? I can't remember if I've seen an episode or two or not, but uh, very, very little engagement. But I have heard of it. Yes. I've sent the people over here. My God. Yes. To get past YouTube censors, just go to the small text generator and choose this font. Fuck shit, piss twat, Eric <laughs> accent C. Everything gets through. Oh my God. It's true. Um, it, it posts in really small words or letters, but uh, or both. But but yeah, it's, it's pretty neat. Now, can I get past all of this bit without killing anybody? I'm not even sure I can. I think they're in. They just get in the way, no matter what. We will try. Oh well, that's probably not a good start. Hmm. Apparently, the Monster Hunter movie is up on Amazon Video, so 
Tis indeed. We gotta watch Monster Hunter. We booked in for like several movies already, like coming mm -hmm. in the next few weeks. It's like, yeah, Monster Hunter's it'll it'll come. It'll come all over. Mm. Gross. <clears throat> this one just says cream. Mm. Um yeah, I'm on board. Nah, oh. cream uh, cream's good. On a uh. scale of TLJ and Crystal Skull, how bad will the Mortal Kombat movie be? I, I think it's gonna be really just good old fashioned type of bad where it's just really like cheesy, I guess. Like Yeah. It's probably better than the DCEU. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Go to watch more animus. Even more? Stop it. Uh hello Mubes and Raglington Lington. Hello. hello. Any thoughts on playing Near Automata? Easily one of the best games I have ever Sorry, best games I've ever seen and the music is god tier. Um, yeah, I mean, I only hear good things about it. I might play it someday. Don't know, though. <laughs> Don't know. Oh, oh. What about you, Rags? Um, For Mortal Kombat? Near Automata. Oh, I have not played it, but I've heard many good things about it. You ever intend to play it? Uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. So, like, at the moment, no, but at the same time, it's definitely on my list of maybes uh, mm -hmm. to play. I think so. Let me check. Because, um, unfortunately, I say unfortunately. I say unfortunately in super big gamer quotes. I have so many games that I own that I haven't gotten into yet. Mm -hmm. um, let me see. Do I have that game? No, I do not. But yeah, there's so many games that I want to play that I just haven't gotten into yet. I'll have to get into them once I get the videos rolling again. Just don't want to start anything new. Um, apparently, uh, Monster Hunter director claims it's one of the most accurate video game adaptations ever. I've actually, someone in the Discord server who I know is a big fan of Monster Hunter said that, um, they were pretty happy with a lot of the stuff in there, Monster Hunter related, so it's kind of funny. Okay. thing is, Monster Hunter's story is either non-existent or so terrible no one talks it's, about it. It's... Like, it's not so much stories, it is lore. Yeah, I guess so. And right. so, I wonder if it's because there's like barely any like characters, and so, like, as long as they portray everything accurately, like swords and monsters, I wonder if the Monster Hunter community will be relatively easy to satisfy, because, uh, technically speaking, I should be a part of that one, in a way, because I played a whole bunch of it, but I wouldn't be able to tell you where they fuck up, because that was never why I was playing Monster Hunter. I just like the mechanics, and so it's like, did they adapt the mechanics? It's like, mm. <laughs> can't say. So he nearly got me. Eh. This has been, uh, this has been quite tense. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. I did not like doing any of this. Stop <laughs> it. Yeah, don't, look, don't look fun. It was just stressful as hell, but I did it. Oh my goodness, he wasn't even done. I'm gonna knock him off the ladder just because it's satisfying. Get off, bitch. <laughs> the way they fall is really funny. He's going, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, even with a busted weapon, I can backstab you. And think about that, did you? Stop teabagging him on the ladder. It's so rude. I didn't do nothing, Bob. <laughs> uh, hello, Fappers. Have any of you watched any terminal montage videos? It's no Flash Kits, but great animated parodies of popular Nintendo games. It's better than Flash Kits. Wait, what are they called? Sorry? Terminal um, montage is better than Flash Kits. I, I have not seen any of them. Never heard of it, to be honest. Or are you Franny? Terminal montage is really good. I've never heard of terminal montage. Obviously, go um, kids. go watch them and then review. <laughs> <laughs> I think they make the something about series. No, I don't. I don't. And from what I've seen of them both, I think that terminal montage is certainly more entertaining. Like I don't want to. I think I don't want to put anything against flash kits. But well, I just yeah, think Toronto really Montage's like kids, editing right? is just more, it's more funny. It's, it's, I think it's way more entertaining. I'll do a hot take if you want. I think Flash gets a hit and miss. Their animation's fantastic. Their jokes are okay sometimes, and then sometimes really good, and then sometimes, ooh. 
Yeah, I've seen like uh, the last the last one I saw from Flash Kits was not very funny at all. Which so, one was that? Yeah, it was the 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 furry interrogation one. I thought that one was okay. Didn't think that I, was funny at all. I didn't laugh at all at the Among Us one. What do you mean you? Lo I showed you that one. And you oh, the Among Us the one. Day. Yeah, I didn't. I saw that one. That was not funny at all. No, but I showed you the the furry one, and you laughed several times. I yeah. remember that. Maybe. Well, not maybe. I mean, definitely, it, I remember. Yeah, if I've laughed a few <laughs> times, like I, I still feel like my memory is that it wasn't that funny. I guess those two parts were, those two parts I laughed at. Right. Okay, but I was, I, I laugh a lot more during the terminal montage stuff. They're hmm. like seven minutes long. They're long. Oh, dude, yeah, these aren't oh. short. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. <laughs> Mel, I'm, I'm doing the gonna... thing. Oh, Look at this oh, fucking shit, I'm... torture. I'm, I'm, I'm looking. <laughs> I can't believe this is the game, though. Like... Uh, oh, he's doing the thing where he doesn't get out a sword. <laughs> he did that to me, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Just, there you go. I'm uh, just watching one of the videos. Yes. Jeez, yeah. Damn. <laughs> nice job. You just gotta stay God calm. Damn, guys. these That's are fast moving. Yeah. <laughs> uh, would you consider watching or have, do you have thoughts on the series Mr. Robot? I would love to hear your thoughts on the writing. Um, Ringy's probably the best person here to ask about it. I tried I've to watch it. Three seasons, I get a little bit yeah. too off-put. I wouldn't go as far as saying it's bad. Um, but the two times I've tried to watch it, I've, I I don't know. It's, it's, it's really off-putting, and I've been told that it gets much better anyway, but... um. Hard to put into words, we'd have to rewatch it again to be able to tell you exactly why it never continued. It's been but... too long since I've seen it as well, so... I um, don't know. I, I might... yeah. But like, like, yeah, I wouldn't claim at all that it's it's bad. I've not seen um, more than... I can't remember how much of season one I saw anymore. I think it was, it was either two or three episodes, so... Not much. Mm. But I heard that, like, the latest season when it came out it impressed a whole bunch of everybody's, so... Oh, nice. get out of the way. Yeah, I'm gonna pop off. I'm gonna go to bed. It's uh, it's late. So Good yeah. night, sir. I'll catch you all on the flip side. It's been fun. Goodbye. And, yeah. You bet. Prepare Good yourself. Good night, Heimers. We're do the race for real, these metal. Oh. Yep. Gonna be a nightmare. This Yay. has been really hard with the club. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> mm -hmm. Getting really yeah. hard with the club. Catch you later, boy. Oh boy. See ya. Uh, so Thaden King or Boromir for best character? Uh, I gotta... That's the thing, man. I guess Boromir edges it out because Thaden's great. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't... I I would. I don't think it's... Like, you could choose between them. I, I wouldn't say that either. Like, There's so many good ones. I prefer Boromir, but, like, they're both great. Why can't I give the large ember to Mr. Chungus here? I thought I could. Maybe I'm forgetting. That means I gotta go all the way back, which I am not willing to do. Which means I might just uh, sort of line it up to end here as well. We still got plenty to catch up on in our main overflow, but I'm up to date with most of the ones That's on the That's a good idea, I'm getting tired. Um, Alright, well, the last few. Uh, do you have any advice for starting YouTube animators? I, I, starting YouTube no, animators, that's, I, no, that's... It's not my area. Uh, I'd YouTube ask some league. YouTube um, animators. Yeah, probably a good idea, I've but I guess the, the best thing would be to start very, very, very small. Like, don't do anything too big. It, like, Well, I guess the first thing is, do you know how to draw or animate? Because those will be the first things you need to do <laughs> before yeah. you start. Uh, step one, learn to animate. Um, by the animators, oh, god damn it, where I have a copy, um, animators, wait, hold on, yep, you, what you should buy is the animator survival kit by Richard Williams, it's great, that's like the, that's, buy it, if you want to do animation, it's a really good resource, um, yeah, I don't know, look up some flash tutorials, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, else I, I wish I could say something, but I really, I, would, I don't have anything to recommend, just, you know, 
Um, any Toy Store stories, Dad? <laughs> um, none that are coming to my mind in, in, in general, but the EFAP that I told a few of them on, they're the ones to, to stick in time forever. Just put them on replay. The further I move away from remembering even that I work there, the better. Alright, that's how it works. Yeah, that is about it. Thank you all so much for hanging oh out. Boy, it's been fun. We will once yeah, again. Yeah, that was. You know, continue this this whole the big payoff for the Dark Souls race. Don't know when it'll actually be yet. We're gonna find out. And of course, um, some people might be like, "Wait, isn't this supposed to be an EFAP? I'll probably put it out tomorrow. It was a it was a meme fap. We've already recorded it, and um, we need to record another one as well for the copyright end of things, I suppose. But we've also got. Batwoman to watch. We got Justice League to watch. Um, there's another movie we're watching on Wednesday as well, I think. And then of course there's um, just the general getting on with the uh, the boys and Rags is equivalent. It's all been rather wonderful. I look forward mm, crash. to completing. Yeah, Crash for, for Frongo. Me too. I'm so ready to be. I I'm I want to get done. I want to be finished so I could go on to smaller things again. Um, so yeah, more things are coming. Thank you all for hanging out with us. Thank you for the kind donations. And we are going to, like I said, we're going to get there. We're going to answer all these Super Chats one day. Overflow is just a big text uh, file of questions. And that is okay with Rags and I. Um, are you done, son? Yes, we are. Again, uh, we will catch you around for whatever the next thing may very well be. All right. Yeah, everybody, we will going. see you later. Good night. Bye-bye.